hold on. I have to, I have to scroll all the way up here. I have to, okay. Hold on. Amanda's messaging me. Give me a second. Fuck. I should have checked this beforehand. This is already a disaster. Over here, let's tweet fucking Gundam stream twitch.tv slash Tolomeo. Tweet that shit out. Um, yeah. Let me know if you can see shit properly. I have to adjust the window. Now I have to take my headphones off and sit down. Hey, thanks for the nine month resub, Monarch Me. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Okay. Put my fucking tea down. That's my teacup. And I'm gonna have to sit in my chair without accidentally showing my face. Oh. Hello. It's me, Tolomeo. This is my fish tank. I have Sif here with me. You can't see her right now. And today we're gonna be building fucking Gundams. Hello everyone. I my chat is fucking weird. Thank you for the resub Primer Nova. I appreciate it. So I've got chat like fucking going a mile an hour and I'm all zoomed in. I can I can only see like the last seven lines. Oh hold on. Check this shit out. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the people what they demand. Let me go ahead and put this here. I, 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 oh thank you, Whopper123 for the sub. I appreciate it, dog. Come here. Come here. Hey, Sif. Say hello to everyone, Sif. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Is it you? Take the ball. Take the ball. Good girl. Good girl. You fucking spilled your food. How are we supposed to run a stream like this, Sif? What the fuck? God damn it. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm not going to be able to individually greet everyone today. So thank you for showing up. I hope everyone's having a great time. Thank you, Cerulean Blade Master, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. As you can see, we got the fish tank here too. You got my fucking manlet soy boy hands. Um, if you look closely, my school of ghost catfish are staring at me thinking they're gonna get fed. Thank you for the sub, our noodles. Thank you for gifting a sub to Rhyme Scheme, Jezel. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sir Battle Pants, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, like, look, look at this shit. Look at my little beta hands. Like my little stinky fingers. These are the fingers I, I use on your mom. <laughs> and thank you, Jaywash1141, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, alright, we got two motherfucking Gundams today. We're gonna hopefully build both of them. The first one is an HG, which is a high grade. That means it's for fucking babies. Uh, this is the goof. I, I, sorry, I'm, I'm not good with this camera thing, so give me a second. Alright, you see he's got a big old fucking Gatling gun. He looks like the kind of dude who would fuck your mother. You know what I mean? So this is our baby dick, Mac. It's not particularly complicated we got this 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 it's it's kind of small so and then we have this one which i haven't even gotten the uh the shrink wrap off this is the buster gun as you can see he has in the gundam series gundam seed he has the bbc cannon which is this right here you can see it's big it's black it's ready to fuck and, oh, oh, I almost hit my teeth. Look, look at this shit. Look at this son of a bitch. He is ready to fuck your mom or your dad. I don't really know. I really have no clue. Thank you for the resub, Pyro Man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And our, our tools for today, we'll be using these. These are the, uh, the, the castration clippers. These are what we use to snip the fucking parts out of the model. You're gonna have, this is my first time being on camera. I'm a little bit nervous. You're gonna have to bear with me. I'm not good at showing for the camera and for uh shaving shit off we have this exacto knife i'm probably gonna cut myself with it just go fuck me oh i can't I'm, I'm twitch i'm just joking it's a joke i'm not actually doing anything um don't don't ban me please i'm i'm 100 good uh i'm fine 
So, why are all Gundams ready to fuck my mother? And Gundams are promiscuous. Yeah, don't don't ban me, please. I'm all good. And thank you for the 5,000 bits, Royal Gauss. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll let chat calm down a little bit, and then we'll start. I don't even have the instructions out. And uh, yeah, so I built several of these motherfuckers. Like, let me rotate the camera a little bit. See, over there we have our perfect grade red astray. He's a big son of a bitch. He's that is that is that one's expensive, and you can see my my prime from my fish tank and my fish food and all my Gundam cement and shit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna. Oh god. I'm gonna. Ooh, now this is scary. I shouldn't have moved it. I can't get it back to how I want it now. Son of a Sagrit. Oh god. Oh no. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Let me rotate a little bit more. Sif really wants to play fetch right now. She's up in my shit right now with this ball. Sif, come over here. Come over here. Hey, thank you, X Duel, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Come get the ball, Sif. Sif, go get the ball. Go get the ball. You can do it. Look at those little eyes. Look at that little coconut child off in the corner. See how good of a girl she is? She won't even jump on the table <coughs> to get the ball. She'll just scream at me. What's good, Russ? Hey, hey, what if I put it on the very edge? No, she won't. She won't unless I give it to her. She's very well behaved. Okay, Sif. Here. Here. There you go. Mm -mm. Looks like you spilled. No, no, I like the reflection. It's dope. Hey, thanks for the resub. Tim is really bored. And Brew Rip, I appreciate it. And Pansu, hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to uh, the Gundam stream. This has been talked about for well over a year at this point. I bet you guys thought it would never happen. But here we are. Here we are. We're ready to fuck. Our suit's very tight. Thank you for the resub, Zell4. I appreciate it. I need some sippy. See, look at that manlit arm. It's like a fucking retard tentacle. Mm-mm-mm. Ah, this shit's good. As you can see, I don't have Diet Coke, which is unfortunate. Camera's peeving me off? Oh, no. Don't, don't complain about the camera. It's all good. See, you can see what's happening. You can see the fish tank. You can see my manlit hands. You can see this fucking asshole over here. And if Sif pops in, you can see her too. And so much ice. Yeah, look. If you guys don't believe me, I tell you that I fill my shit up with ice. That is, If I don't have that level of ice, I'm fucking pissed. Thank you for putting Vlad in the cuck shed, Road Dark Jedi. And thank you, Chromatic Crow, for the Prime sub. And Kiranti for the Prime sub. Thank you very much. You have some salad fingers? Yeah, look at these. Look at these salad they're all fucking nasty. And thank you for putting fried potato in the cuck shed. Appreciate it, dog. Whew. I'm here for the Zoids. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is overwhelming. I'm nervous. I don't know where to start. I have no idea. I've never done anything like this before. So, let's look at this shit. We've got the fucking instruction booklet. See, look at this asshole. He's, all, he's a nice shade of blue. Very nice shade, if I do say so myself. Oh, they even got a nice little picture of him, like, standing on the cliff, ready ready to do battle and shit? Oh. Alright, so what the fuck do I do here? See, this is the instructions for a Gundam. As you can see, they're very simple and easy to understand. Um, very, uh, very flow chart. And pretty much a, a three-year-old could probably understand these directions. Um... So yeah, we might not be able to do both of these tonight at the rate I'm going. Thank you, Spade Seth, for the three-month resell. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if I missed anyone, I'm sorry. Just yell at me. More Seth. All right, we got to give the people what they demand. Hold on. Oof. I got to make sure I don't show my face on camera. Okay. Seth, come here. Come here. She knows something's up. She knows I'm trying to bamboozle her. What's going on, Vinny? Seth, come here. Come here, coconut child. Come here. 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 Come here.
tell anyone, Sif. Don't tell anyone, Sif. Hey, hey, who's a good girl? Who's a good little doggy who likes the marshmallows? Is it you? Is it me? Hey. Hey, who's a good doggy, hey? Good girl, who's a good little doggy? Hey, you like being on the table? You wanna play, you wanna build a Gundam Sif? Here's the exacto knife. All right, good girl. Stop torturing the dog. Thank you for the host, Mr. Money. Oh, 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 all right. I saw the shoulder, yeah, you can, I don't, I don't have a problem showing my body. You can see how uh, morbidly obese I am. Look, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Like, look at this shit. I'm fucking... I'm a fucking fat ass dog. Thank you for the $10 donation, Kryson. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Fucking... I'm not gonna get banned, dude. I just gotta show tits. And they'll be like, alright, Sloan, man, we're gonna let you off with a warning. Uh, see chess creator? That would get me banned. That would get me banned. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Hello, Megan. Ruby. Thank you for the sub, one R. I appreciate it, dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. As you can see, I'm obese. I'm straight up fucking morbid. Okay, so I'm not gonna be very good at talking with chat when I'm actually building this fucking thing, so you're gonna have to bear with me, because this is a learning experience for me. Hopefully, if people like this, this will be the first of many. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is where everything's gonna go horrifically wrong. Alright, that's not obese. It's pretty fucking obese. Come on. I, I'm 180 pounds at 5 foot 10. Like, look at this. You can tell how fat I am from my arm. Look at this. Like, this is Lardvark technology. Thank you for the sub, jcornel 51 I appreciate it. And thank you for putting infinite failure in the cuck shed, Rogue Dark Shadow. I appreciate it. Fucking meth arms. You look emaciated. Can I show feet on stream? Okay. Twig arm. Yeah, dude, I got little manlet arms. Uh, uh, uh. Is that a scar? Yeah, look, you can see my scar here. This is when I got into a fight with a, with a wild badger. The badger said, hey, bitch, I don't like your nose. And so I punched him in the motherfucking mouth. And then, then he scratched me. Uh, so that's what that scar is from. See, look, look at it. You can get right up in there. Delicious, right? Hey, thank you, K Animate Vinny1829. I appreciate the subs. I, I'm almost certain I've missed someone, and if I have, I apologize. <clears throat> so that shit's already almost gone. Hey, thanks, Salt Juice, for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. What's going on? I am about to start building a Gundam. All right. Without further ado, I, don't, I actually don't think anyone cares to see me open plastic. You're right, a modder. Put it over there. Okay. So, thank you for the sub, Shh, Pam. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. So. If you're not familiar, what we're going to be doing is building Gundam models. They come in little uh, runners like this. You use the nippers, these right here, to cut the son of a bitches out, and then you snap them on. Uh, you have all right. Now let me give you some perspective. This is a little one. This is this looks like it's like five or six runners, and some of the little ones. Then we have the big one over here in the corner. And all right, so. You probably are thinking, you know, that one looks a lot more complicated than the little one that you're using. Hold on. I need to... Give me a second. I need to show you show you something I have in my, in my backlog that I have yet to build. Give me just a moment. I need to clear shit off of it really quick. It's very exciting. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's uh, building virginity protectors. You have every... Every right to be excited. Okay. I, I'm using it kind of as storage, but I want to show you the fucking box for this. 
Thanks for uh, the sub, Rogue Dark Jedi Triple X. ASMR, I'm sorry. Give me a second. It's gonna be worth it, though. The payout's gonna be worth it. My room is a fucking disaster right now, by the way, in case you were wondering. Alright, alright. So this is the fucking Gundam Unicorn, or the Banshee to be specific. This is the box for this son of a bitch. Can't even fit in the fucking camera. <laughs> Look at the size of that son of a bitch. That's one of the big ones. Thank you for the 1,000 bits, Usagi Shiro. I appreciate it. I haven't built this yet. This is, uh... This is unfinished. Sif, we're showing off the Banshee right now. All right, let me put this back here. Something fell. Some parts. Okay. Finally, gonna gonna start building. Don't worry. Don't you worry your heart. We just gotta get the normies out. Only real Gundam enthusiasts are allowed in this stream. Reflection? No, no, no reflection. No reflection. What's going on, Spirit Away? Okay. So, look at this shit. These are our instructions. Simple, right? Whew. First ever Gundam stream, indeed. What's going on, Hypnotic? Um, so, we need PC, and PC and Gundam does not stand for politically correct. Thank you for putting the walrus in the cuck shed, Rogue Dark Jedi. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. So first order of business is to sort out all of these runners so we know what we're doing. And the PC section of a Gundam are these little bastards. These are essentially the joints for the Gundam. They're the sockets that little sticks go into and... That's what holds it all together. Okay. The sockets, yup, yup. And we have two more bags of shit. Sis, stop eating that. Thank you for putting Chryson in the cock shed. I think that was Chryson. And Artemis2799 for Rogue Dark Jedi. So we got this. This is uh, this is probably A. The multicolored one is usually A. So you, you, if you look really closely see the A right there. And so that'll probably be the uh, the body. Gonna be a Sif can? Yeah, we already showed Sif. Hello, Vel. Dude, it's hot as fuck. These, dude, look at all the sweat. You can see I'm drenched in sweat right now because I have these fucking stage lights. If I were to turn these bitches off, it would be pitch black in here. Also, these appear to be the only stickers we have. I'm guessing this is the eyeball. Or eyeballs. Thank you for putting the Royal Viking in the cuck shed, Rogue Dark Jedi. And Shadow Wolf Ariel for putting Fedgill in the cuck shed. I appreciate it. So your fish is, they're tropical fish. They like the heat. Um, it's me and Sif that have to worry. Alright. HG. We're doing the HG and then we have the MG back here in the background. And hopefully we will get around to doing that. So... Mm -mm -mm. All right, fuck. Like I said, I, I'm going to go ahead and apologize preemptively because this is my first time doing a stream of this sort. I've never used a camera. I've never done something that isn't a video game. So I am going to have an immense amount of difficulty actually putting this shit together and talking to chat as well. So I apologize for that preemptively. Um, I hope that doesn't bother you too much. You can see right here, you see this fish? You see this fat fuck? That is my blue garami fat princess. And thank you, Death980711, for the sub, the resub. I appreciate it. We get some music? Oh, dude, my voice is the only music you need. Come on. I don't like music. I want to I wanna talk enough to uh, fill the void. All right. How's your new fishies? The shrimp is exuberant. He is. <laughs> he he's he's already been getting into trouble. He he'll go and uh, congregate around where the bubbles are, 
But right now, I think he, he fucked off to his little cave in the back. Show the shrimp. The shrimp, I can't find him right now. And thank you for the prime sub, Sukin. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Long time no see. Hope you're doing good. Hello, Spinetto. Whew. So, yeah. Um, today, I got my shrimp and three peacock gudgeons. The peacock gudgeons, however, are maybe like yay long. They're really small. I was actually worried the Garami fat princess was going to eat them, but she doesn't care. So, because I thought they were... Thought they were going to be bigger. The website told me they'd be bigger, but I got babies. And thank you for the $3 donation, Infinite Failure. We can see your porn playing in the background. Awesome. Good shit. My fish porn. Hello, Taki boy. How's the eel? Mm, we had to put the eel down today. The eel was not doing well, and it didn't look like it was getting better. So I had to euthanize him today. It's first on the par list. All right, so we need A and PC. We're going to build the chest right now, so... We need A12. There's All of these parts are numbered, so you know which one to clip. And, ooh, okay. I'm having trouble seeing. This one right here is 12. Oh, right here. I have, to, I have to get better at this. I'm sorry. I just assume you can see what I'm talking about. So what we do is we fucking clip these sons of bitches. We snip them like this. All right. Let me show you. Okay. So. If you look at these, you can see, if you look really carefully, I don't know if the camera quality is high enough, but there's little, like, there's nubs. When you when you cut them out, they leave these things called nub marks, which are basically leftover pieces from the little plastic things that hold them. So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take the nippers and cut the nubs off. I know you can't see very well, and I'm sorry. I think if this is something people want to see. I might get a second camera just for the hands and put it in the top left corner, but I'm not sure. Uh, and thank you for the bits, just a gamer, John. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And in event that, in the event that the nubs, uh, the nubs are not sufficiently ground down by the nippers. That's what we use the Exacto knife for. We go chippy chippy with these, but this is this is a high grade, so. It's usually not really that big of a deal. Oh, what's good, Scott? So I, I, I'm a complete beginner with uh, the camera side of things. So I apologize for that. So this is our little chest piece. We're going to put him right here. And then we're going to, we need now to get A18. And thank you for the putting nubs in the cuck shed, Christ. And I appreciate it, dude. All right. So I'm actually having, I need glasses. God damn fucking blind as a bat sometimes i swear all right so this little orange piece right here is 18 and thank you for putting scott jund in the cock shed tan man i i appreciate it dude all right so the camera's at an odd angle to show the actual building process that's something i can improve on what's good hang all right and so we we'll snip this little son of a bitch out and we fucking pull it out and then we got we got this shit. See, look at this little orange piece. Doesn't it look edible? You just want to eat that fucking thing, right? It's delicious. Hello, Coyote. Wanderer. Just, mm, mm, mm. Reminds me of when I ate fire ants in kindergarten. What is that orange thing? Presumably, it's the glass for the cockpit. Hello, Akio. I had to cut costs. Oh, it's all good, dude. Fuck Twitch. Fuck the police. Twitch is a corrupt organization, and everyone should unsub to me. And thank you for the eight-month resub, Ithias. I'm an asshole and use wire cutters and sandpaper. Top-down camera. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, for sure. Galf Custom. Yeah, it's the Galf Custom. I have the Galf Custom and the Buster Gundam in the corner. It's been a long time since I built an HG. Usually, I go for the bigger ones, but... uh. Yeah, all right. So now, I'm going to take a quick break. And ask the question how do you guys feel about the lighting setup is the visual quality okay do you can you see things clearly like I think I have trouble showing you guys shit but does the stream look presentable All right. seems fine okay keeps auto focusing yeah it happens when I put it the something in front of it like the pieces it'll auto focus all right your hand looks weird and lengthy. I have short fingers. Though. Like, look, 
my my palm is long, but my fingers themselves are pretty stumpy. Like I'm I'm, I'm just a fucking creepy man. That, like look at this. Look at that bicep. Look at this fucking musculature. God damn. I have sharp elbows. I can poke your fucking eye out with this shit. Reveal face? No? I'm not gonna do that. It's long though? Yeah, the palm of my hand's really long. But my fingers are... are weird. Okay. Put your hand behind the piece? I don't know. Like, So, these are our two pieces for the, uh... for the fucking cockpit. Now we need... Now we need to get the polycaps. Anime girl fingers. My anime girl fucked your mom, asshole. All right. So now we need the two number fours, which are right here. Move the camera over to the left just a little bit. I don't want to accidentally have my fucking face. That'd be weird. I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to where my face doesn't come into the equation. You'll never finish it at this rate. We're going to get into the mix. I'm just explaining everything and acclimating everyone to the process really quickly. Okay. And I'm, I'm also really clumsy. You're going to see how fucking clumsy I am with my motor skills here. T-Dog face vomit emoji. Exactly. Hello, Beepus. Bodies on Amazon. Yes, sir. I need a sippy. See, I'm all nervous and shit. Reflection? No, I like the reflection. Fuck that. I'm a fish enthusiast myself. What type of fish do you have? I have five ghost catfish, one blue gourami, three serpe tetra, a vampire shrimp, three peacock gudgeons, a dojo loach, and a clown pleco. Camera over the shoulder work? Maybe, but then if I lean forward, you see my nasty ass hair. How many stains are on your mouse pad? It's most, it's not even stains, it's just dust. Something about mantises? Did the stream name not change? I should have changed it. But Tolo does for living? Streaming. This is what I do, baby. Alright. So, now we got our polycaps. Why are you named after tables? Where did you get the shrimp? I ordered it online. I just got here today. Okay, so now let me see, let me see this shit. It didn't change? Alright, let me... See, I actually have my mouse right here. So I can go and change it. But I don't have my keyboard. Fuck. All right. Well, that'd be that's gonna be pretty weird. I have to change that because that would be be quite weird if you were just perusing the creative section and it's that fucking drivel about mantises. Oh, so give me a moment. Let me maneuver my ass over here and change the fucking title. All right, Twitch Television. Just ask us what you want the title to be, and we'll write it for you. Okay. Let me left hand my mouse here. Oh no, Twitch is playing. I hate how the front page autoplay streamers is fucking annoying. Okay, reflection. Cry host. No, I got hosted by Cry. I don't get like more than five viewers unless I get a host. Are you playing Hollow Knight later? Not tonight, no. Um, Alright. Building virginity protectors. Okay. Got up in time to get your fish? Yeah, I was, I was actually jacking off when they knocked on the door, so I didn't get to bust my nut, but whatever. Unfortunate. Oh, look, Sif's in the background. <laughs> look, look at her. Look at the little doggy. Okay. So she's having fun over there, so I'll just I'll put this box right here so you can see the dog. Because I know everyone loves Sif. Oh! So, this is Scott fucking stream, and I apologize. Alright, maybe we'll only build one tonight. This, at this rate, I don't think we're going to be able to build two. Because it's 30 minutes, and we haven't even uh, put in the first piece. Alright, so let me see this shit. Thank you for the 14-month resub, Caldeon. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sif, I'm not throwing the ball right now, baby. I'm sorry. Alright. <laughs> fucking. She, she's sitting... I have this orange rubber ball on my lap right now because she keeps uh, thinking it's time to play. Because I don't have my headphones on. The the thing that she does is if I take my headphones off, that means it's playtime. That means I'm not streaming. So I don't have my headphones on right now. And she's just staring at me with, uh, here. Go over here, Seth. There's your ball. All right. 
See, she's so good. She doesn't she didn't jump on the table to get it or anything. She's like, yeah, that's my ball. Oh. <laughs> Fucking roof. All right, here you go. Here you go. That was a good noise. <laughs> I fucking love that dog. See, she's got a lot of personality, huh? Okay, so now, right here, we're going to put these... God, it's really hard to see. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm about to just start, like, fucking uh, showing you the completed product instead of, like, actually putting it in there because I don't think you can fucking see. All right. Is this... Holy fuck. Okay, so this is our little our little chest piece. We got the little glass in here, and we've got the fucking sockets. Man, that, that focus is weird. Hey, thank you for putting Asri the Witch in the cuck shed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is a Bionicle stream? Absolutely. So we'll put that there. Progress more than the process. Yeah, yeah, and sips of Samoyed. Gonna break it after we finish? Probably not. Unless, maybe, do you guys want me to break it when I finish? Okay, so now we need 813. I'm just gonna cut this shit out. Uh, Cause I, I'm, I don't know how to, uh, to do it properly with the camera. If I want to, to do that, then I need to have a separate one for my hands. Okay. No? You don't, we, we're not gonna just smash it? Why not? That'd be fun, though. It's like when you build a Lego thing and just, just fucking throw it against the wall. It reminds me of that that Yahoo Answers shit where some fucking kid says, Every time I masturbate, I throw my turtle against the wall, and I don't think he can take much more. How do I stop this? Which is uh, one of the most asinine things I've ever read in my life. Alright, so this is the back. We need to put a polycap, a.k.a. a joint in here. And then I think we're going to finish the core block of the chest piece. Russ sent me here. Oh, thanks, Russ. What's good, everybody? I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. Uh, if you're here, probably not. But uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Let me cut this little, little respectable female out of here and, and put it in. Yeah, I'm finding it extremely difficult to focus right now, so I'm sorry if I'm having uh, attention issues. What the fuck are you building? I'm building a Gundam. Alright, let me get the box. Where's the, where's the cover? Let me pull it out for you. It's under my, uh, under my chair. Okay. So, it, it's a model kit. It's, uh, the Galf Custom. You see how he's got a giant fucking Gatling gun? The BBC of weapons. Look at that shit. Do you know how many people he can impregnate with that weapon of mass destruction. Look at that shit. He's even got a sword, too. As if the fucking gun wasn't enough. What a god. That It is the Chad of robots. Without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, without a shadow of a gout. Mm -mm. Ah. Alright. Let me see what the fuck I gotta do now. I need to make sure these are these are put in properly because they look kind of kind of wobbly. The joints on this chest piece, weapon of ass destruction. Oh, what's good, Steam Beetles? Okay, so let me snap it in. All right, so we've got our, our our little the beginnings of a chest piece. You see, we got the little holes where his stupid fucking arms are gonna go. We've got the little glass in the cockpit. And we got his back. Presumably, that's where, where his backpack's gonna go so we can go on a hiking trip. Okay. Woo, it, it's hot in here. Sif, you're a good girl. You, you need to stop. Hey, who's a good doggy who likes the marshmallows? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You're being very, very needy for the Gundam stream, aren't you? Here, come over here. They love you, Sif. They love you. Come here. Come, come show the people what they came here to see. Sif. Sif. She's not having it. She's camera shy now. All right. Well, you know, your ball's just going to sit there then. So now we need A25 and A22. And A is all... When you're building these shits, the part, the rat, the little uh, runner that has multiple colored things is always A in my experience. Look at her. <laughs> Look at that dog. You 
can do it. You can do it. Come on, a little bit more. No, don't bark at it. You don't have foos rolled up. You okay, Seth? You're, you're so needy. Here, come get it. She's just looking at me. She's staring at me like, "What the fuck, Dad?" And you can see her tail wagging too. Oh, okay, really? It's right on the edge. Okay, I'll move it further. There you go. If you can't get it now, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> oh, come on. You fucked it up. Okay. She couldn't catch it that time. All right. All right. So which parts did we need? Sif, you were going to make this very difficult. 25 and 22. 25 and 22. So let's see. Where the fuck are these parts? All right, so we got 22. These are gray pieces now. We're not doing blue anymore. We're getting to the color separation. She supposed No, that's what I'm saying. Like, Sif's a very well-behaved dog. She won't jump on tables or anything even to get food. Like, that's... That's actually not something that I, uh that I trained her to do, but she just, she's, she's respectable by nature, I suppose. Uh, what's good, Penguin? Uh, I just, I, I go up to him, and I go, <laughs> like an asshole. So hopefully no one ever comes to my room when I'm blowing my fucking Gundams, but, hello, Kirumiri. And if I miss anyone, I apologize. It's, it's difficult, because for me to see chat from this far away, it's still on the same monitor. But I had to zoom in my Chrome about 50% to be able to see legible writing. So I only see like the last 10 lines of chat roughly. Uh, so if I miss something and we're 10 lines in, just say it again until I see it. It's, it's all good. Okay. Then we're going to get 25. My dog has no manners. All my dog does is walk around the house and sit on people's laps while eating their food. Yeah, it sounds like a little dog. Is it a chihuahua? Put it on your phone? I don't want to sit there and just be hunched over a fucking phone. Like, I, I can just look at it right now. Like, it's fine. I just can't scroll up. Like, I guess I do have my mouse, so if I really wanted to, I could I could take my little manlet fingers and scroll up. See, look, this is this is how Tolomeo holds his mouse. Look at this shit. Look at that peak technique. And also, take note of the Sif snowflakes on the wire. Everything in my room is like that. You think of something that would be in someone's room, and there's Sif fluff on it. No matter what. No matter what. 100% of the time. Clean your fucking mouse? No. Fuck you. I'm not cleaning shit. I'm a real game. I'm a true gamer. And yes, it's another Gundam. This is a, this is a bigger one. Let me let me bring it closer. That's the Buster Gundam. Fucking fuzz. She's marking her territory. Is this mouse pad a razor? It is a uh, Goliath or something like that. It is razor. But it's not a... It's old. It's like seven fucking years old or some shit at this point in time. And yes, fell octave. Samoy had shed a lot. Especially during the spring. They shed their winter coat. How many Gundams do you have? Too many. MG Musha Gundam. Maybe if, if people like these streams, I'm open to suggestions. I've got most of the Gundams I want. Although I do have a backlog right now. I have the PG Banshee and the MG Phoenix. But the thing is, like the Banshee, if I were to build that on stream, it would literally take months at this rate. Like I've I've done like three steps into this Gundam so far. So it's it's not very good progress. But hopefully as we get more used to managing chat etc our our pace will improve that's that's what we're gonna tell ourselves mg i actually have that one i i need to finish the water slides here let me go ahead and uh, show you really quick that's the last one i finished as a matter of fact i got that one for christmas i need to move this plastic off of my floor so i stop giving you asmr noises all right resident sleeper then you watch something else dude it's all good and I have to, like, this dude is fragile, though, so. Uh, this is a reasonably big master grade. Um, I have to get a, uh, I have to get the decals, the water slides, because he's not detailed yet. But I finished him last week, 
I've actually been working on them on and off since December. So I have them. I'll, I'll just keep them on the table so you guys can see. Let me move him a little bit to the corner. And yeah, there you go. Okay. Let me get back in the driver's seat. One cool virginity shield? Absolutely. You can tell that nobody's taking my virginity. Uh-uh. Mm. This is the first total IRL stream? Yes. You have mom arms? No. But I knew, like, one of the thing, one of the reasons I was so... Um, what What's the word? Hesitant to do a stream like this is I know, literally, no matter what, even if I'm just like showing my arms or some shit, people are gonna insult my physical appearance. Ah, let me get this in. Feels bad, man. What'd I ever do to you? Is that a bicep? Oh yeah, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Fucking ripped torn muscle guns. Basically the fucking god of the man. Look at this. Look at this. I can do you know how much fisting power this arm has? Look at this goddamn musculature. Mm. All right. Fucking ripped. Can we get some rat dude bro muscles? Chad is body shaming me? Yeah, dude. I'm getting body shamed right now. I'm not even going to show you my toes. I was going to... If people uh, gave me nice words of encouragement, I was going to be like, okay, toe reveal. No, that's canceled. Fuck y'all. We're not doing that anymore. I mean, 17 and 26 now. No toes for you. Mm -mm. Feed her to us. Are you fucking serious? What kind of asinine website do you need to have? Where it's like, yeah, you can't show feet. What if I'm outside? What if I'm sitting there doing IRL streams? Some fucking hobo comes up just showing his crusty old uh, mite-ridden toes. Does this mean I'm going to get banned? Good God almighty. What a fucking travesty. Can't do fucking anything. What's next? You can't you can't show your hands because they might they might have been used to perpetrate violence against another human being and that's hate speech. Jesus fuck, dude. <laughs> I remember when I started on Twitch, it was like the wild wild west. Table reflection? No, I, I don't really give a shit. I've I've shown my face on Twitter. The thing is, I don't mind showing my face, but my hair is fucking wild right now because I woke up and uh it's hot as shit in Texas, so I showered. And when I was showering, I had my big dick industrial fan blowing on me to cool me down. So my hair looks like I'm fucking straight homeless, dude. And I, I haven't shaved or anything. So I'm just unkempt. It's, it's just, I don't really care if people see me. I just don't want, uh, I don't want to ruin the visual experience. Thank you for the 14-month resub, Colton. Are we finally weeb stream? Yep, do something autistic. I'm already existing. What do you want from me? Do you see what's happening right now? I'm building Gundam models. <laughs> Jesus. Scrub? Why am I a scrub? Okay. Let me... I'm struggling with this. Give me a second. Crazy hair is best. Do the hot weather thing with long hair. I need, I need to shave. Alright. So check this shit out. Now we got the chest piece. Alright. New Gundam Verka is awesome. Hell yeah, dude. What's going on, Albino? Be part of the experience? Alright, alright. Uh, now I need 27 and 26 for the back. Give me a moment to get these shits out. Hello, AF. Ever watched a Gundam? I watched Double O. Um, that was it. I'm not really big into anime. I just like giant robots. I don't care if they're Western. I don't care if they're anime. I just... I don't know. I just like big dick robots. What can I say? It's my dream to get stepped on by one. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh shit, hold on. Can I can I show you guys something? Is that MG? It's MG. It's the Verka. Okay. So I got the pieces, but look at look at this fucking sword. Look at that shit. That's almost as big as my finger. Make sure to vote soon. Vote on what? Politics? Shit. I probably should. I, I can vote for the only issue in life that matters. Weed. 
Sword ain't great. I want another good mech assault game. Thank you for the resub, the, de the degeneracy. Excuse me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Voted for governor in Congress today. Nice. I don't... I think right now... My, my person is Ted Cruz. Um, not can't say I'm a huge fan, to be quite blunt. And I've heard the, the opposition actually has a maybe chance of, of dethroning him, de deceding him, but I really don't know. I haven't, honestly, I used to be really into politics. I used to always just be exposing myself not only to random bystanders on the street, but to uh, political arguments, etc. But recently, I've just. I haven't been doing my, my due diligence. I've just been kind of fucking off and building virginity protectors like an like a anti-social degenerate fuck. Okay. So now I got the two little clips on the back, which I assume those are going to hold weapons. So we got uh, the big one is for the arm, and the two on the back are for either the backpack or the weapons. Okay. Zodiac Killer is here. Yup, yup. And I'm... Ted Cruz is... I mean, I'm not an expert. At one point, I wanted to do marine biology, but marine biology doesn't cover lizard men. Um, so I really can't say that I understand him too well. But what are you going to do? Politics are for weird... That's not true. Hello, C Stacks. I think the fact that so many people are averse to politics is part of the reason my... Our, our political system is in such disarray, but I'm not going to get too into that. Um, I do need to be more active with that. We got to put the stuff together and view. No, 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 because that, like the camera angle makes it really hard and I have to go like this and it wasn't working out. I was trying that, but right now we're just chilling. I'll show you the progress as it happens. But here, I'll, I'll try again. Just let me, let me get the piece. It's just very hard for me due to the angle. It's a Gundam stream. I mean, people can talk about whatever they want to talk about. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to uh, partake in it myself. But usually, this stream, anything is open for debate. Is if you, as long as you're willing to be at least moderately respectful. Like you, you don't have to just like sit there and kiss everyone's ass or anything. Don't get me wrong. But just don't be a complete dick shitting thunder cut. And usually it's all good. I feel attacked. No, I'm not. Don't worry about it. It's, just, it's Friday. We're trying to fucking relax. We're trying to build some virginity protecting robots. I have no clue if that's right. I don't have the faintest fucking idea. I don't think it is, though. Um, see, my, my biggest problem currently is actually the fact that I, uh, I can't see shit on my end. Best Ninja Turtle? I actually don't know the Ninja Turtles. I hear panting at Sif. She likes to do that sometimes. She itches her leg and then she fucking pants. Tolo show Sif? Nope. We already showed her. Hey, Sif. Sif Rooney. You want to be on camera again? I see no future here. I'm sorry. Show face? Nope. Hey, Pop, what's up? All right. mm -hmm. So I'm actually kind of confused as to how this is supposed to go. Give me a moment. I'm being I'm being a dumb fuck. Hello, Desiree. What, what else is no Tolomeo? Show fingernails? These are my fingernails. They're not painted, unfortunately. Build other robot. Uh, I have a uh, I have one armored core and one Muv Love. The plastic for those are, are weird, though. And thank you for putting Desiree in the cut shed, Rogue. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm I'm I think I might might be stupid. <laughs> Give me a second. I, I'm not paying enough attention. This piece is kind of fucking bizarre. I think I get it now. I had it upside down. Maybe. Okay. Thank you, Alawichu, for the resub. I appreciate it. See, right now I have to go off of the Twitch alert box. So I cannot, uh, I can only read from the donation, or not the donation thing. A Freudian slip, I suppose. 
the alert box. I can't see in chat if like someone specifically gifted or yada yada yada. Okay, so now we need E. We we need the E rack. Um, is this E? Yeah, this is like thruster parts and shit. Armored core best from soft series probably. Must caused a kindergartner to fall from like twenty feet up. Yeah, that's a pretty big fuck up. You would you would have most likely been in jail or some shit if you directly caused that to happen. That's not that's not good. It's Yanny. No, no, no. It is absolutely Laurel. If you hear something else, you're part of the ongoing effort to gang stalk me, and cause me to doubt my own sanity. Uh, I refuse to believe any other any other suggestions. It's Yanny? No, it's not Yanny. If you, you're at, you're either trying to troll me, like in Tails gets trolled, or you are you are uh, you you are a degenerate. Okay, so now I need to get nine. See, here's the thing. Like, if I were, it, it's so hard to actually like get everything in in place because I I have to cut them, and it's and then see, I dropped the fucking piece, so. Like, it's just, it's difficult. All right, Sif, help me find the piece, baby. I need that piece immediately. I heard free real estate. It's neither, it's gibberish created by computer software. For fuck's sake, I hear yowie. Is Russ still coming over? Oh, that was a meme, dude. No one wants to come to my fucking house. Why would you want to come here? Oh. How long does the shit take? If you're, if you're completely and totally focused on it, uh, one of these takes maybe an hour or two, the smaller ones, but right now I'm, I'm doing chat as well. Russ is right there on the table. Yeah, he's the robot. Okay. All right. This is going to take three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we got a, a little rocket booster. Look at the size of that thing. The HD camera, you can very clearly discern what that is. And I make another one of those. They're made out of these two pieces right here. Um, it's a little fucking micro cock and the booster shell. When is the house tour? Never. How did you figure out the lighting? Um, trial and error, essentially. I've, it's been my first time ever even taking into consideration lighting. So... Uh, I hope it looks good because it was a pain primarily because the, the aquarium that I have is a bowhead, which means that it's, it's curved. So it ref it's really bad at reflecting the light. It, it's awful. I have like a couple of black sheets pasted on certain parts of my wall so that the light doesn't reflect into the fish tank and whew, don't have any lights in your room? Well, I have two, like, big-ass fucking, uh... I don't know if they're stage lights, but they're photography lights. They're box lights that have uh, diffusers and everything on them. So, I, I ordered them off of the Amazon. I still have n no electricity for my ceiling fan. Like, that, that particular uh, breaker is fucked, I guess. So, and then we... This is a little backpack, the little jet boosters here. So hopefully the lighting looks okay. I spent a lot of time trying to get this shit to look presentable. Um, I don't know how good this stream's gonna be, but you can't say I didn't try this time. I actually, for once in my life, actually tried to put effort into something. Uh, please clap. All right. So now we got the we got the chest piece. And we got the booster pack. So let's let's fucking. This is like the pen pineapple pen shit. I have to figure out precisely how to do this. Give me a second. I think I'm doing it wrong. My little booster things fell out. All right. Uh, so hopefully you like it. I think one of the biggest issues I have right now is you can't see a fish tank very well with that Gundam. But maybe maybe I'll see my shrimp today. He was he was walking around in the middle of that uh, that fake coral around where the bubbles are earlier, but he seems to have retreated to his cave. He has like this one little part. Uh, that he likes to he, he likes to put himself into a tight place and just kind of marinate in there Okay Show us this no the octopus is not real uh, believe it or not that is a decoration. Oh it looks very lifelike 
because the plastic is naturally shiny. I know. It. I think the biggest problem is actually the webcam. Uh, it makes it look a little bit grainy sometimes, and it's... I need to mess around with the autofocus. I ate too much and feel like dying? All right, dude, take it easy. Okay. So what the fuck? This is... You're gonna knock over that Gundam? I wouldn't be the first time. It's definitely happened before. Dude, I cannot get this fucking thing in. It's just like sex. Holy shit. Not that I know. It's like, what the fuck? But this hole? No, not that fucking hole, asshole. What are you doing? All right. Gundam shit. Yeah, he's wobbling. Okay. So what the fuck is this shit by Doctor? See, look, this thing looks like a face. He's look. Well, you can't really see it from. Yeah, look at that. The little robot face. Look at my fucking hands. I look like such an asshole. That gun have a pull up his ass. It's a stand because like the little things on the back are really fragile. If you so much as like bump those, they're gonna fall the fuck apart. So I have them on the stand so that's less likely to happen. There we go, I got it. I finally got the right angle. So now we've got the little backpack. Okay. Where do you want us to send recommendations? On Twitter or whatever is fine. All right. Hitchhiker's Thumb. I mean, yeah, look at this. And thank you for the 100 bit sitters. You're going to get the manlit hands. Like, I, I never really noticed until I put it in the camera how disproportionately long my actual hand is compared to my fingers. Like, my palm... Is big is longer than my fucking fingers. Is that degenerate? That's fucking weird, right? I, I'm some sort of freak. Like, look at this. And then I got, I had like a really curved thumb. Oh, and check this out. This is awesome trivia. I can I can do this with, with one of my thumbs, but not the other. See, I can only I can only bend this one that far back, but this one I can do at like a ninety degree angle. It's fucking weird. So I can I do this is like an extreme punch that adds extra extra force it gives more surface area so i can do some big dick punches like that so you ever see a dude making this fist at you watch the fuck out because your ass is about to get flattened okay all right back to the task at hand so now oh god we need pipes beep this yo dude you're the expert on this shit right how do i do pipes all right, so we need we need these little uh, light blue, sky blue, like robin's egg blue pipes, and we're gonna put it on the chest. So let me cut this bitch off. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to make a misogynistic statement. I apologize to anyone that I offended. Because I, I I know I know there's a, a couple of lobbies for for pipes and Gundam models that are tired of mistreatment by the masses, and I want to sincerely and. Uh, with all of my heart, apologize. Okay. But look at this. This is how much I drink. So if you if you don't think that I drink a lot, uh, look at this. And before some ass, I was like, oh, but you have ice cubes. Those shits are like half melted now, so I drink those too. Any tools? All right, these are my two tools of choice. And thank you, Street Fighter 9000, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. So I have the nippers. Someone asked if they were god hands earlier. No, they're just from Gundam Planet. Uh, these are used to separate the pieces from the from the little racks. And this is the X-Acto knife. I use this to shave down nubs in the event that uh, in the event that the nippers aren't enough. And if you don't know what a nub is, it's basically like a little a little leftover part. So like for example, if you see this, you see all the connectors for the piece, like right here, here. If you cut these and there's some of that left. Sometimes you need to take the X-Acto knife and grind it down. Um, it's not really a big deal for this. It's more of a thing with something this big. And it also depends on the color. Like if you have a darker coloration like this, like the dark blue on his chest, it's a lot more noticeable, uh, the nubs are. So you have to do more work on them. But if you have the white, you don't notice it nearly as much. Um, you paint this shit? No, no. Let's talk about those feet. I was going to do a foot reveal, but Twitch, uh, Twitch apparently bans uh, foot reveals now. What a, what a travesty, right? Okay. So you can, you can thank Dr. Twitch for that one. Okay, so supposedly what we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to bend the little, the little pipes like this. Um, 
let me make sure I've got got this the right way, so I don't accidentally just like snap it off like a fucking retard. And then we're gonna we're gonna bend the top part of that, and this is probably gonna connect the chest to the to the waist. Accidentally show some toes, show us some titties. Do you ever play with your Gundams? No, I just like the building process. I don't really give a shit how they look when they're finished. That's why I'm not really inclined to paint so much more often than that. Like, I'll do water slides and decals, like, for the... There's one I have. It is the NG Sazabi. It's this big, giant red fuck. Um, and the water slides, putting the water slides on for that son of a bitch took longer than building the thing. And just in case you're a normal functioning human being and you don't know what the fuck a water slide is, it is essentially a decal, a sticker, that it, the adhesive is activated by water. So you have to cut it out of the little uh, patch, dip it in water, and then slide it onto the thing and dry it out. Okay. Which, it, it takes a lot of effort, because you got to get it on just right. And I would bring the Sazabi up here, but this shit's fragile. I, I do not want to accidentally have it break on transit. That would That would be bad. It's fucking hell. I don't mind a, uh, I don't mind water slides as much as dry decals. Dry decals, you have to, like, cut them out of the thing, and you have to, like, tape it onto a part of the mech. So I would tape it on, and then I have to, like, scratch it with a penny or something, and then it, it, it attaches itself to the mech, basically, the robot. And so that's a pain in the ass. I hate the dry decals more than the water slides. And if you fuck up, there's no taking it back. Like, that shit's a done deal. So we need A9 and A8. This one I'm building right now is only a high grade. Um, but I have... I was initially thinking in my hubris that I would be good enough at doing this, that I would have to t time to build a high grade as well as a master grade, which is bigger. That's roughly the size of this one right here. <laughs> um, not really feeling it, though. I'm, I'm not exactly going about this particularly quickly, so... As a serial killer's hands. Well, thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> Christ. This can't catch a break, dude. My fucking serial killer hands. God damn. One, one time on a YouTube comment on one of my first videos uh, I ever did for YouTube, back before I really even streamed. Do um, you have any perfect grades? Yeah, hold on. Let me rotate the camera a little bit. That right there, the one with the giant fucking sword, is, is a perfect grade. That is the Red Astray. Alright, so, and I also have the Banshee, but I haven't built it yet. Okay. So, uh, anyways, back to what I was talking about. I, I was going through really fucked up shit in my real life, and so I was using, like, Bloodborne and doing internet shit as sort of like an escapism sort of thing. And I was... Every day just sucked. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know. It was basically this guy on YouTube was like, you sound like a fucking school shooter, you piece of shit. Why do you even upload this? I'm like, oh my god. People are... I, I feel sorry for people who are, uh, who are nice. It must be so shitty to be like an upstanding human being in life, doing your best day to day. And then just, like, stumbling upon a significant portion of our of our planet's populace and just dealing with that. It would be like, oh my god. Thank you for the 100 bits, Sinister Syndicate. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Is this shit going to look like... Hold on. I can actually show you the box. Um, this is the one we're making right now. It is the high-grade Galf. It's not the best picture, but you can get the general idea. And you can also right here see uh roughly what it's gonna look like usually it looks significantly different because the the models that are used as examples are typically painted but yeah and thank you for the resub pepe overlord 420 how does it feel to be a supporter of terrorism you know you know pepes are basically uh dog whistles for for isis right you, you, you basically support terrorism if you've ever used a Pepe in your life. That's what the Huffington Post told me. Okay, okay. 
install. Alright, so now we've got this bitch. We're gonna go ahead and put this little fucking nub on it. And that is what's gonna help us attach this shit right here. So I'm pretty sure that this is basically the cod piece. This is the Gundam jock strap. So you see we got a little indentation in there where that little where that little nub's gonna go. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that in. Because I think this is how this is. Let me double check. Let me double check to make sure. Yeah, yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. And just yeah. And so now we have it. There's no more little nub, and we've got we've got the full Gundam skivvy. We've got the frontal. Thank you for the sub. Crowix2106, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you? Enjoy the emotes. Alright, so now we need to put a bunch of the little uh, little joints in here. We need a, a one and two tens. So let me get these out. Uh, we got one right here. See, they're, they're tiny. Like The PC parts are very small. If you drop one, it can be a really big pain in the ass trying to find them again. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 bits. Why do you have no overlay? Because I don't usually do this sort of stream. Like this is this is kind of just a test to see if people like it. I might do more in the future if people actually enjoy this. I feel like it's uh it's pretty scuffed right now. But so the thing is, I don't typically like music overlays, alerts, etc. I like things to be basic. I don't like to have a, like if I go into a stream, I don't want to be assaulted by like gaudy overlays, um, whatever the shit. So I, I dropped a piece, so give me a second. I was just talking about dropping shit. Okay, so now I have all three. I, I, I basically just like a, a, a minimalist approach. I like it to just be me, the screen, and the chat. I don't want a situation where I'm playing a game and people feel the need to like donate uh, 420 to get attention or a shout out or whatever the fuck you know i just when i started streaming i i did not like that culture i suppose i thought that was kind of annoying i didn't participate in streams that would do that so basically i i, I made the stream that i wanted i made a stream that i that maybe i would watch and thank you for the sub 271 i i appreciate the continued support dude thank you very much okay so i need i need a 10 so that's pretty much it. And as far as music goes, I feel like if I were to have music on a stream, it would, it would kind of clear the. Uh, it, it, there'd be there wouldn't be dead air. There'd always be music or something. I feel like my mentality, I might rely on that a little too much, and I would get to this point where I'm like, okay, well, music's playing right now. I don't really feel a particular burning desire to be speaking. Um, and it would make me too complacent. And I, I, generally speaking, I don't really like music when I'm trying to do something. Um, uh, music distracts me more often than not. My friends used to make fun of me because we I used to go to like band parties when I was a teenager. And um, they'd all listen to fucking whatever music. Like I, I, I went to church, so all my friends were Christian. And they'd listen to, like, fucking dumb shit like Owl City and Reliant K. And I, I hated it. But they'd be like, yo, uh, yo, Tolomeo. Because that's, that's, that's my name in real life, if you didn't know. Uh, why don't you listen to music? It gets me pumped for, for WoW Arenas. And it just, it distracts me. I don't, I don't like it. Um, I'm sorry, Owl City lover. I'm not, I'm not personally a fan. <laughs> I'm not personally a fan. But that, that's another reason why I don't, I don't play my own music. Owl City is I I know a lot of people wouldn't like what I listen to like if you want music play your own don't you don't need to listen to my uh my uh particular choices of music you you know I'd be hitting you with that Ronald McDonald insanity you know I'd be I'd be blaring the fucking Pum Pum Feely song it wouldn't be anything that you would actually want to listen to like if you want a good example of music I would actually non ironically listen to while doing something uh. I listen to shit like, God, what what is their fucking name? Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, September. I'm like, on and on, say that you remember, on and on, dancing in September, 
I'd be singing like that the entire time. So you, you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that shit at all. Like, not even a little bit. So now we got this, and we've got we've got this little butt plate that we're gonna put on. We're gonna go. Oh god, how do I do this? Fuck, this is. That we did it. Look, this is the waist. You see these little things right here? Those little square-shaped holes. That's probably where the piping is gonna go into. Hoo hoo hoo! I do want you singing. No, no, no one wants to hear that shit. People, people want me to talk in my normal, boring voice so I can put their asses to fucking sleep. Okay, so now we have the frontal, the frontal part, and we've got this right here, and we're gonna, like, look at this. I'm about to blow your fucking dicks. Get ready for this shit, fellow gamers. Oh my fucking god, look at that. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? And thank you for the sub, clergy. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm gonna need to get a drink soon because I'm running out of sippies. I need some Diet Coke. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, now we need A4 and A5, which will be the side plating to this waist. And we're actually, you know, we started off slow, but we're making okay progress. We're about to finish pretty much the entire torso. What's your stock in your aquarium? All right, so I have Fat Princess, the Blue Garami, I have Jimothy 1 through 3, which are Sir Pei Tetras. I have Casper. Oh, God. One of my fucking plants just, like, lifted up and uprooted. Oh, I just noticed that. It's a good thing that doesn't show up on stream. <laughs> um, I have Casper, the ghost catfish. I have Jimothy 4, 5, 6, and 7, who are ghost catfish. I have Gobbler, the weather loach. I have Cockfuck, the clown pleco. I have new arrivals today. I got a vampire shrimp. Actually, one of the uh, one of the peacock gudgeons is swimming around the octopus. It's probably too small to see on the camera. Um, they don't have names yet. They're very tiny. They're juvenile. They're supposed to be really colorful, but they got here. They got here uh, brown because they're just babies. They haven't they haven't grown up into their color. And the vampire shrimp. His name is Shrimpathy. His name is Shrimpathy. Multiple ghost catfish. Yeah, yeah. I originally had six, but one one passed when I got there. He wasn't healthy when I purchased him, I suppose. I also I have a dilemma because you're supposed to have more Serpe Tetra as well. But the Serpe Tetra historically have been... They're actually calmer now than they were when there were five of them. Uh, they used to just gallivant around the tank, just relentlessly fucking everything up. And so honestly, they're probably my least favorite fish. I need to I need to relocate them. To the downstairs aquarium, which has glowfish, which are a type of tetra, which isn't, it's not a serpe tetra, but they'd probably get along. Um, but the downstairs tank isn't mine. Oh, that, is, that is my sister's tank. Size of the tank, it is a 36 gallon bowhead aquarium. Um, I got it for a, as a Christmas gift, not this last Christmas, but the one prior. Okay. How long do you think this is going to take? I don't know. I have no clue. And then we have Sif panting in the background. Can you, can you see her face? Sif! Now she's just out of view. Maybe if I rotate a little bit more. Look at those ears. You can see her ear. What are you doing, Sif? Are you scratching? Sif, Hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Hey, who's a good girl? Who's a good little dog who likes the marshmallows? Is it you? You can see that little puffball wagon. Alright, now she's on the other side. What do you want? What's your problem, Sif? Hey, who's a good girl? Hey, babies. Sif, you're gonna... No, no, you're gonna move the camera. You're gonna move the camera, Sif. Okay, so I am going to go get a drink really quickly. And I'm going to show you the, the full dog. The entirety of the dog while I go. You can see my manlit frame as well. So I'll be back momentarily. Please, please don't report me to Twitch. Because I might accidentally show my feet. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Sif, come here. All right, let me make sure you can't see my, my face. All right, we're good. Sif? Come here. Come here. Look 
save this dog. Hey, hey, who's a good girl? Hey, who's a good puppy? Is it you? Is it you? Who's a good little girl? Oh yeah, it's you. Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? That's right. It's you. Okay. I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back. I need to get her water as well. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm back. Sorry. Ooh. God damn. All right. I think just a grown man playing with his toys. Yep, what's good, said. Okay, so back to where we left off. We've got these two plate skirts. Hello, Melon. So we are going to go ahead and slap these respectable females on the waist. Whew. Okay. You can hear the slurps, too. She's a, she's a slurpy eater. Is this God of War difficulty? Yes. Yes. All right, let me see. I I think this is right. I'm not sure. Okay. Um. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here. But let me. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. What challenge run is this? How does your dog survive in the heat? It's like 60 fucking degrees in here right now. It's a little bit hotter because I have the lights on. If you keep the dog groom like double coated dogs well groomed they do not have that much trouble with overheating it's mainly just if your dog is matted and uh the fur is bad the air circulation thing doesn't really happen so it it depends okay so having trouble getting this piece in right now there we go look we got one part of the skirt it's kind of hard to see because this is a block of blue. But, uh, 
You weren't kidding about eating 80 piece rolls? Yeah, look at this shit. Like, look at this fucking fat. Thank you for the prime sub, Ziggy Wiggy PS. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. And now we're going to put the other skirt piece right here. Still have no idea how to how to camera etiquette. It's very difficult. All right. So now we got the entirety of his little uh, his little waist. See this little peg right here is where, what's going to connect to the torso. And yeah, still have four. Dude, I have long fucking arms. Like. Like I looked really weird because I looked like a fucking orangutan. Because my arms are just, like, disgustingly long compared to my torso. Um, <laughs> so I, I look quite weird. Um, Alright. So, you know, it is what it is. It's the body uh, God gave me. Uh, only God can judge me, right, fellow gamers? Right, right? Nah, that's not how that works. Okay, so now we got two pieces. We got the top part of the torso. You see, you got the little, the orange shit is glass. We got the nice little gray chest piece. We got the wiring. And then we have the skirt. And so now we're going to combine these two sad son of a bitches. This is going to, this is going to be a, uh, it's basically robot sex. Oh yeah, you hear that click? Mm, God damn girl. And then we're going to connect these little tubings into the waist. And there we go. Now we got the entirety of his torso. Now we're gonna have to do the limbs and the head. So we're making okay progress now. We're off to a really slow start, but now we are, we're getting somewhere. And yeah, I'm building a Galf Custom. Um, so yeah. Now it appears we're building the head. So I need B1. And here we go. See, right here, you can you can see right above the shield in the bottom right, that's his, that's his scalp. What is your workout routine? All right, check this shit out. You see, you see these arms? RuneScape. Look at this. This is what RuneScape does to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like your tank. Thank you. Hello, Majin Sweet. What's good? Okay, so now I need A3, more wiring, and we need a. Uh, we need B25. Woundscape, Woundscape. I like your robots. Thanks, dude. Is the Galf custom? Yeah, it's the Galf custom. Uh, the blue one. It is the first Galf I've made. I don't usually make high grades, but I figured I would start off slow for the stream because this is my first time doing a stream of this sort. I'm very new to this sort of thing where I'm doing something that isn't a video game, um, and I would say it's pretty train wreck so far. I've not made particularly. Uh, particularly quick progress and I, I definitely need a cam to show like my hands right here fucking with the robot you know what I mean so you can see the building better because right now it's really awkward because the camera is diagonal to me and I have to like do like fucking wicked sorcery to actually show you this shit you know um so that's kind of that was an oversight on my part but uh I think we can remedy that fairly easily. I just need another uh, one of the little metal extendo arms and another webcam. I have a shitty webcam I could use. It'd be grainy, but it, it would work. So I actually have a question. Do does the uh, does the quality of the image look all right? Like is, I don't know what an acceptable images for this sort of stream. So I'm kind of worried that the video quality is dog shit. Um, I bought a fucking hundred simoleon webcam, so it should at least be acceptable, but I, I really don't know. I think it would mostly be a lighting thing though. Okay. Sometimes take, yeah, the focus thing's a problem. Okay. But it, it, all you need is the fish tank, really. Like, do, do you really, uh, do you really need anything else? Okay. Blurry. The lighting might be a bit too harsh. Okay, hold on. I, I, I guess I could fuck with the lighting if I want. Too much motion blur. Autofocus is a bit slow. That sucks. 
Okay. So let me see. I have to bend this son of a bitch down. Don't bend it too much. I might fucking break it. This It's not that difficult to break pieces, surprisingly enough, on a plastic model kit. Like it, still, it still takes you putting a little bit too much grease in it, but... Let me see. Actually, no, I didn't mean to bend that. Alright, so let's see if I can get this here. Alright, so, we got this, and now we have to put it in like that. I think, yeah, right there. What's going on, AAA battery? Okay. It's, I think I have to secure it with another piece, though. Like That's the wiring for the head. He's got a fat fucking head, god damn. My Eggman looking motherfucker. The aquarium in the background? Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Like, the thing is, I... The problem is, uh, basically the fact that the aquarium's a thing. The aquarium makes the lighting and, like, the camera kind of... It, it took, like I said, it took hours to get angles on the light where uh like the, the fucking fish tank didn't have like these glaring white lights in the center of it that looked really awful robot waterproof mm. move cam slightly to the left very slightly very slightly i don't i don't want to accidentally show my face so far i've managed to go an hour and 30 minutes without accidentally showing my face which is longer than i expected Okay, so now I have A23, and I have to put the sticker on. Come. Show your asshole, whore. No. Not gonna be doing that. Okay. Alright. I saw your... I mean, that's fine. Like, I, I, it's not like I have my uh, face on, I, on Twitter or something, right? I just don't want people to see how unkempt I am. Impossible? Not impossible, but it would be pretty fucking... I, I would have to lean over really far for it to happen. And, and yes, I, I built the desk myself, Jail. It took like five minutes. <laughs> it See, the, the tabletop is actually glass, and this desk was really simple. My computer desk is like one of the shitty fucking... What, what is the word for it? It's like this... They, there is a word for the type of board used for it, but it's like fucking shitty Ikea furniture. And it, it doesn't it doesn't really fit right in some places, and it takes a lot of working. Com box? No, it's like... Uh, I, I cannot for the life of me remember what the term is. Alright, so now here's the hardest part. I can't show you on, on cam... But I have a sticker. Well, I guess I can look. Look at this. You see that little red dot? It's like the opposite of Carl Sagan's uh, pale blue dot. This is the fucking eyeball, and I have to put it square. Well, not square, because it's circular. But I have to put it right on the circular piece. Um, so. There's roughly a 100% chance that I'm about to drop it. Perfect. We got it. first try. That's his eyeball. Man, the focusing really doesn't work that well, huh? Okay. So we did that first try. That's a fucking miracle for sure. Usually that shit takes me forever. I suck shit at the stickers. I have the dexterity of a lobotomized chimpanzee. So. Okay. I'm gonna put. I need to watch. I'm gonna knock him over. I'm, I think it might be time to move Mr. New Gundam. He's also really reflecting hard, huh? Okay. non raid No, I got raided at the very beginning uh, by Cry. Normally, like, um, I really do appreciate him doing that, but I'm kind of curious to see how many people would have come to this sort of fucking stream if that hadn't happened, because this shit's kind of a hard sell. You know what I mean? Like, this is definitely not up most people's alley. Um, 
So I've been I've been very nervous about this because uh, I want to I want I want it to go well. Surprisingly enough, that might that might come as a shock to you, but I have performance anxiety. Okay. Fuck cry No, dude, it was really nice of you. I do appreciate it. I'm just it's me musing right now. Okay, so now we got most of his head. He's got like a little mouth. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like an asshole here, here. It's easier if I do it this way, let me. It's a stupid little head. All right. Never been to one of your streams before. I am here because Cry Host, I'm too lazy to actually navigate, but people building things is cool. I'm sad right now, but well, I hope uh, you feel better, dog. Um, I like building these, but I've never had to, <laughs> to, to like build them in front of an audience, right? So it's interesting to say the least. I'm looking forward to this. And I told you guys I was going to do it. I wasn't fucking lying to you. I know sometimes it takes forever for me to get around to things. But. We, we did it. And this. I, I, I'm aware that there's probably issues with like the camera and shit. But be. Be a little bit. Uh, be a little bit understanding. Because like I said. This is the very first time I've used a. Uh a webcam for a stream or something like this so it is definitely a learning process for me and now i can finally go to to to, to baghdad and do irl streams what's good jojo games also new was here i'm building fucking robots dog how are you forgot to greet never have a webcam well, i never have a webcam on my face is what i meant and uh have i broken that promise okay let me calm down so now we've got the little fin and we've got the fucking head and we're gonna put it in. We're gonna get that shit right in there. Oh my fucking god, look at that. That's so fucking hot. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, look at it! Holy shit! We did it. Now we gotta now we gotta put his stupid little fucking hat on. So we, look at his dumb little eyeball. You can see it reflecting, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get right in that respectable female. <clears throat> oh yeah. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. And then now you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get B1 and we're gonna give him his little lobotomy thing of t fucking 24. What the shit? I don't have any clue what this piece is for. I've never seen something like this. Looks angry, removed from the stream for sexual content. Yeah, yeah. Right. Seth, what are you doing? Oh, she's taking a little Cifferoni snooze. She was so happy when I started. She thought it was uh, time to fucking play. I feel kind of bad, actually. Disappointing people and dogs. What else is new? I do big cum. Sniff to or sift to a big sniff. I call her sniff sometimes. Big sniff. She's actually the big sniff. What the fuck is this piece? Great, good God Almighty. Okay, so, I had to put like a little peg in the back of his head. I'm not entirely sure what that is going to be used for. Um, but yeah, I I need to move to the new Gundam really quick because he's he's a little bit too reflective. What's going on, MLG McPhee? I'll get a different one though. I'll get one that's not all white, so you can you can marvel at that. God, what what do I have here? You know, most of mine are fucking white. That's just, it's just my uh my racism showing, I suppose. Okay, let's get good old Providence up in this bitch. I'm like falling over in the corner of my room. God damn. No, I, I think I'll calm down on that. I don't want to accidentally knock something over. So we'll, we'll just chill with that. Oh. Bottom and top half is backwards? I don't think so. Not because... Because look, this is the backpack. You got the back skirt. This is, this is what the front skirt of like all Gundams looks like. I think... I can double check. No, it's, it's right. And thank you for the 100-bit Sinister Syndicate. I appreciate it. Tolo Mukbang. 
I don't want to bang them up, dude. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be the first one to tell you that I've seen some fucked up fan fictions on the internet. But banging a muck? It's not okay. I actually think I made a fuck up. Let me, let me skip ahead in the instructions a little bit. What the shit? Oh, no, it's all good, I think. Maybe? Okay. I think, uh... I think I fucked his head up. I don't have the peg there. If you had to fuck one Pokemon, what would you dick down? I would put a ditto up my ass. Garami, Ghost Cats? Yeah, I got long fin Serpy. Tetras. I have peacock gudgeons now, but they're too small to see on camera. And I have a vampire shrimp somewhere, but good fucking luck seeing him. Hello, Anchorman, sir. All right, so I gotta... I messed up, I guess. I wasn't paying enough attention. The hole in the top part of the torso is not aligned properly, so I have to really quickly dismantle this son of a bitch. It should only take a moment. I wonder how the fuck that managed to happen. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That was silly of me. Alright. Okay, and now he's back together. See, it wasn't a big deal. That's the thing about the, the little baby dick models, is if you make a mistake, it's not that big of a deal. This mean, either if you see what you're doing, it, it's hard though. Like that's the thing, and the camera focus does not work very well. Okay, is he Sith? He's not been eaten by the fish. It's a big shrimp. All right. So like, if we were to make that same mistake on that one, the red astray, that would be like hours of fucking dismantling the son of a bitch, and you'd probably need special tools to avoid uh fucking it up okay so i'm gonna try to do this so you can see you can see my dirty ass mouse pad um but now maybe you could you can see better but now i'm gonna have to be really careful because i can accidentally lean into the, the focus hmm all right so let's see now we need to put the pc6 the politically correct six Sorry, I have to move it close to my face to see the the uh, the number. Okay, the bottom half of the head is not facing the right way. All right. So let's see. Slap this thing in, and then there we go. So now we have his head. As you can see, I'm apparently the bottom half of his head is not put on right, but I don't, I don't see how that would work. All right, so we need the arms and the legs now. We even got the little eyeball perfectly, the stupid fucking sticker. An actual live octopus. Put the head on. What the fuck? That's the last part. No, 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 it's not. And so there, he's gonna sit over there like a little, a little fucking nesting doll. All right. So, let's see. What game is this? This is uh, yeah, I know, I know the camera sucks, guys. I'm sorry. Um, does the octopus look like it's moving? <laughs> like, that would be a very sedentary octopus. That would be lazier than me. And what kind of octopus looks like that, too? And, uh... Also, consider the fact that it's a freshwater tank. Alright. And then, yeah, you got the little sif fluff on my mouse. We know it's a real octopus, so kind of. Alright, so now let's see. I need... Oh, God, this part... I have to do two of these. I need B110 and B111. Alright. Mouse pad really gross. It's fucking old. Here, I'll move the mouse pad since it's not aesthetic. Alright. 
long time at the aquarium. But look at that, though. It's sitting, it's, they don't stand on their tentacles like that, typically. Like, that would be really weird for an octopus to just be idling like that. Because you can tell it's stiff. It's got one tentacle in the back, like, curved. It's got the one in the front curved. And it would just be maintaining that. This little latency thing is nice and freaky at the same time. Are you some? I, I have a very, very uh, strong interest in marine biology, so I know a thing or two about octopuses. Not to brag, but... Okay, so now we need... Two E3s. Which are these things right here. And some PCs. So let me see, which one's three? It's this one right here. So you can see what I'm doing, kind of, maybe. Um, I'm trying to make it as visible as possible posing for the cam is anything broken yet no i don't break shit i have glue even if even in the unlikely event that that were to happen i have uh cement for models so we could just fix it would be pretty impressive which grade it is the hg gal custom the one with the big ass gal we got all right so now we need two pc ones See, the thing I like about these is you can just kind of twist some of them with your fingers and they come out. Hello, Henroy. Latest Symphonia. Whisper in the side of the mic. No, the mic's far away from me right now, actually. I'm, I'm several feet away from the mic, so I'm probably... Probably sound like I'm farther away than usual. Model cement is permanent, so... See, like, I, I need an overhead cam because even if I, my hands are in view... This is kind of why I was doing it off cam. Is like, it, it just looks like I'm... I'm fucking my own hands. Does this dungum cost? It was like, what? $20? Something like that off of Amazon? A little bit pricey for a high grade, but... Uh, jail for the win would always give me shit about not having a, a gauf. Or a goof. Or whatever the fuck. I don't know how it's pronounced. I've never seen the show. <laughs> so I, I apologize. So I got it just for him. Just for him. Um, how much the octopus cost? Twenty dollars. But if you were, if you were, uh, if I zoomed it in, you could see that the uh, the octopus, the coloration is kind of weird. Like he's not all uniformly colored, because Fat Princess, the Garami, which you can probably see uh, swimming towards the top of the tank, the big blue fish, uh, she nips at everything. Like she bites things just to uh just to see if it's food and so she nips at the fucking octopus and it's lost a lot of its coloration as a result of that you can see she loves the octopus she's right there right now she's probably gonna nip at it so weird just to see hands i'm sorry it won't be a regular thing don't worry okay so 10 and 11 it's just an experiment um, people wanted me to do it, so I, I always told them that it would probably be a situation where it, the idea of it would probably be more appealing than the actual execution, at least the execution for me. Um, so, it looks like once again I'll be proved right. Highest grade, I put a PG together, I have them right over in the corner actually. Like the red astray frame. And thank you for the nine month resub, Frozen Forget Me Not. I appreciate it. And if you could get the PG, the unicorn PG for $120 fucking dollars, buy that shit right now, because it's normally like $220. That shit's fucking expensive. <laughs> that shit is that shit is not cheap, at least if you order it in the US. Um, if you order it from Japan, it'll be cheaper, but the shipping will be a pain in the ass. Um so if you if you can get a PG unicorn for 120 bucks, I would I would suggest pulling the trigger on that one because that's pretty damn cheap. I actually have the Banshee. I have the PG Banshee. I haven't built it yet, but it's in my room. I showed it towards the beginning of the stream. I think I paid around 200 for him. I I got it for myself last year as kind of a birthday present for myself, but I just kind of took a break from building fucking virgin protectors for a while. I also want to get the LED for it eventually. Uh, mm -mm. The shipping is sixty dollars and doesn't. Yeah, that sounds about right. Perfect and high grades. It's mostly the complicated or the compli 
I, I fucked that. How complicated they are. Favorite Gundam? Um, probably the Double O, because the only one I've watched is Double O. Watching Total 160p, I'm sorry, but like, okay, okay, um, fuck. I, I can show you a size comparison when I'm done. I can have this little dude next to the, the PG so you can see what the size difference would be. The, the PGs are typically like 12 to 15 inches tall, approximately, but they're a lot more complicated. Like, they're only like, even though they're not that gigantic, there's a lot of fucking pieces. Like, the box for a PG is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Um, so for me, I like it because it's basically, it takes longer. Cause like I said, the part that I enjoy about this isn't so much the finished project, the, the product, but, uh, I, I do like that, but I like the actual process of building it the most. Um, so I, I try to pick ones that are, uh, complicated. Like if I'm building one for myself, I try to get ones that I think look cool and also are the most complicated to put together. Um, so I usually get like Vercods, which are basically not only complicated, but they have like a lot of decals and shit. So you spend like twice as long on it because putting all the water slides and shit on takes just as long as building the son of a bitch. You're doxing your hands. Yep. What's good? Gnarl snarl. having trouble with this one. How do I put this? Yeah, I put this like right this way. See, you still can't even fucking see. Like, I have to, have to bring it up close. See, I'm building, I, I think this is the fucking arm. I'm not sure. It's either the arm or the leg. And you, yeah. Snap it together like this. So this, this right here, the little gray part is what's going to connect into the torso. And I imagine the, the light blue peg Hold on, let me. I'm having trouble closing it. The light blue peg is probably gonna be like for a shield or an armament, armament of some sort. Miss Sif, yeah, she was on earlier. Uh, what's good, Borp? Tamaya car bike figure? No. When I was a, a kid, I used to do like the glue models with my dad. We did Star Wars. I remember I had one of the battle droids with a, uh, the little fucking, the dumbass little speeder bikes they'd have. I think it was called, like, a staff or some shit. That, I think that's actually an infection. I don't think that's what, I don't think that's what the, the, the bike was actually called. But, you had to, you had to glue it together and paint it, and it was a fucking process. They're so much simpler, like these, because they come in color, you don't have to glue them to, to, together. Um, it's it's a lot different now than it was. See, hold dog. I will show her again eventually when I get up. I'm just I'm lazy. I'm a sedentary slug or a sedentary. I, I have trouble with that word. Like I know how it's pronounced, but if I'm it's one of those words where I'm stupid and I have to actively think about the pronunciation or I look like an asshole like I just did. Okay. I have mega blocks building stream probably never. Um, okay, so I need another. PC 11, I think. And I, I know Sky Blue Hero. Me and, uh, me and Amanda, when I went over to California, we, we made one. We made the, uh, the at, at the fucking, the, the gorilla walker thing. The knuckle dragging robot. What's good, Abby? Fat princess? You can see her. She's that fucking gigantic silver light blue fish by the purple plant right now. She's, she's just chilling. She is the, She's definitely the most obnoxious fish. She she's fucking everywhere. I'm I, I'm looking to see if I can see the shrimp. No, he I guess he's supposed to be nocturnal, so I don't know what the fuck he's doing right now. He's off like dealing drugs or some shit. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I was surprised actually because I was reading about vampire shrimp earlier today to make sure I, I knew what to do when I when I received the fish. And supposedly, they are notoriously shy. Like, you put it in a tank, and they they just eat out of there, basically. Like, they fucking go and, and find the nearest hidey hole and, and live there for, like, fucking three years. You never see him again. I'm like, that's pretty much what he did. I dropped him in the tank, and he fucking 
dipped. He he yoloed the fuck out of there, and I was like, yeah, I'm probably never gonna see that shrimp again. Like, I'm I'm never actually going to to see shrimpathy ever again. But no, he he popped back out an hour later, and he was just chill, and he seems very comfortable. Um, he's uh, I actually don't know if it's a he or she. I might be misgendering my fish. So hopefully, hopefully, they can forgive me. Two PC-11s is what I need next. But a anyways, he seems like he's more or less comfortable. He's not been bothered by any other fish. Because I have peaceful fish. Like, the meanest thing in my tank are the Serpe Tetras. Where if you see, like, the, uh, a reddish-orange fish, that is the Tetra. And those can be mean sometimes. But for the most part, they're alright. And Fat Princess is... She's by far the biggest fish in the tank, but she doesn't really seem particularly inclined to fuck with anything. Like, even when I had Dwarf Garamis in here, uh, she didn't really care. Thank you for the six-month resub. I'm Charlie V1. I appreciate the continued support. Thank you very much. Um, so, it's pretty relaxed. They don't really fuck with each other. And the ghost catfish are the nicest things in the world. They, they, they're, they're happy fish. They don't mess with anything. Thank you, Mr. Leo Dude, for the sub. I appreciate you using that prime sub on me, my man. Thank you very much, and enjoy the the doggy emotes. Okay. Then I need, I need, I'm sorry. I need to show myself cutting it. What's going on, sausage, mash, and beans? I, I'm just afraid I'm going to lean too far forward, and you can see my ugly ass face. <laughs> so. Let's see. Which one was it again? It was nine, right? So, let's cut this little bastard. I had a few kissing grommies. The kissing ones are weird to me. Like, I don't like how they, they constantly do that kissy face. Glue model planes. I think once upon a time I did, but that was younger. Alright, you don't want to blind anyone? Exactly. What's going on, dude? Okay, so these go in here. Well, I guess I should show you here. But, but whenever I, I, I zoom up, people like, the focus sucks. You can't shit. So we're gonna put one of the little, the little poly caps in there. So we're gonna, and now it's got that little gray part, which is basically what seals the connection between parts. Like that's, that is going to connect the part of the arm to something. I don't, I don't know what exactly yet, but that's that's what those are for. So now I did two PC fives. Cut these bitches out. Hello, C brow. No glue needed. Nope. Focus manually. There might be, but I haven't fucked with cameras before. Like I'm a complete, I'm a complete uh, invalid when it comes to the webcam sphere of things. Like if you've if you've been watching me, you probably know that I, I don't fuck with anything like this usually. Um, so it's a very distinct learning process for me. I thought, I I thought the camera was gonna be dope. Uh, I I paid a hundred fucking simoleons for it, but people have been saying it sucks so that kind of bums me out maybe i just have to learn how to use it better i fucked with it for a long time though so i don't know i need b 16 and 17 what's good brido how are you man okay so these two right here where my thumb is okay okay let's fix the focus see i don't i don't know how to do that if you're someone who's who's used cameras a lot if you know how to how to do focus Feel free to let me know. Not right now, cause I'm not. I'm not gonna fuck with it as a uh, as a stream is going. But this will probably be the last time we use it, anyways. So, all right, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Maybe. And I need to get the little nubs off of this part. Hand behind the piece. It's hard with some of the smaller ones. Let me see. Put Sif in front of the camp. She reflects light like a bitch. Build the other one on stream? Maybe. We'll see. Because we're, we're still going really slowly with this one. We, we just started the arms. So we're not exactly moving at breakneck speeds. Um, and I need to get two more of those from the opposite end. Oh, fuck. You can, you can tell I'm very dexterous. I'm very good at 
Uh, not fumbling with fucking plastic runners in my hand. Alright. Okay, also known as the Blue Zaku. I mean, worst case scenario, if people really want to see more of this, I could get a better camera and use this one as like a hand cam, I guess, but... Uh, it is... I don't know. Like, I, I will... This is one of those things where I'm pretty much just gonna... Next stream, I'll have to ask if people liked it. Because right now, during the stream, people will be like, Yeah, dude, this is dope. Or some people like Ananas will be like, Fuck you, kill yourself. But... <laughs> uh, it, I feel like the best time to get like a genuine assessment of something is usually the day after it happens, rather than in the heat of the moment. Because then people will be thinking, oh, maybe, maybe, uh, man, I, I wish they did that again, or I hope they don't do that again, or yeah, you, you know what I mean? Okay, so. All right. How about a GoPro on head? I move my head a lot, so that would be, that would probably give you motion sickness. So, we, uh, we're putting, I, I believe this is the bicep, and we're, we're putting, like, the little poly caps in it right now, and we're gonna put it together in a second. We, we need to make two of them, too. This is the part where, because I'm building the arms, you, you have to make two of everything. You, I mean, you don't, you don't have to make two at the exact same time, but you're just gonna do it over again, so I, I usually do it. The only exception is if I'm building a big one, like a uh, perfect grade or whatever the shit, then I usually only do one leg at a time because even just one leg can take hours and it's it's kind of draining doing nothing but fucking legs. Like you finish something after like two hours, and then it's like, yep, time to do another one, and that can kind of that 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 can be I don't know the right word for it, but it, it's exhausting. Thank you for the bits, Crowix. I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. Alright, and so now put this here. And see look, now we got this kind of looks like something wrong. But this is this is part of the arm. Okay. Looks like a hairy scrotum. Nice. How tall is the model? I'm not sure how tall this one is going to be. This is what we got so far. This is this is the... Hold on, let me see. This is the torso and the, the head. Um, So he's about maybe three and a half, four inches without the legs. So we will find out. Come on, dude, what? A pile of poo-poo? True. Okay. So now we need to make the shoulders... I like this part. The shoulders are cool. These are these are all spiky too. Um, I misplaced my fucking clippers. No, they're on my lap. Okay. Finally, something that's smaller than me. I know, right? It's a liberating feeling. Okay. Then we can clip this. So these are the the gates for this. And when I when I say gate, I mean the little pieces of plastic that connect the parts to uh. They're, they're set up in a way to where you don't really need to do any any nub removal. So that's convenient. Hey, thanks for the 1500 bits, Royal Galst. I appreciate it, dude. Stream's perfect. I I mean, I'm going to finish it. I just... I, I really wanted the stream to be good. So I've been, I've been like, stressing out over this all week. Oh. Broke it? No, no, no. What's going on, Lululemon? So now let me see which which part of the shoulder do I need right now? Not this one. All right. So now we got the inside of the shoulder, and we're gonna put a fucking we're gonna put a cap like fifty cent would. Is it right here? Where, where the fuck did I put the cap? I think it's right here. Let me make sure. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna close the bitch up. Respectable female. Sorry. And then this is. The shoulder. It looks like it looks like uh, it's like something else. But hey, thanks for the bits, T Dog Rat. I appreciate it, Dog. Yeah, where's Sif? Is she sleeping right next to me? Uh, she was on stream earlier, but not, I'm not gonna wake her up if she is taking a nap. 
And thank you for the 500 bits, the Nacho Man. Oh, yeah! I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. What's going on, Freaky Cat? All right, so now we're going to get this spike right here. This goes on the uh, this goes on the shoulder. So we're going to cut this respectable gender fluid piece out. And... Yeah. Shoulder piece looks like a tack or some shit. Yeah, it'll look better when it's all in one piece. A lot of the pieces look really janky when they're just by themselves and not part of the completed product. Er, so, all right. Now you see there is a, the focus is bad, I know, but you see that, that little micro cock right there, that little square chode? Also, my fingernails are disgusting, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna put the spike on it. And, uh, mm. I, I bite my fingernails if you, uh, if you couldn't tell. I, I'm, I'm a fingernail muncher. So there, now we got, now we got the, uh, now he's an excited shoulder pad. He's, he's very ready for the, the occasion. Also, I feel like the, the light blue coloration of this thing doesn't help. It, it, it blends in with my hand. What's good to monkey? Alright, so now we got the boner shoulder. Now we get to make another one. Yeah, I'm well bit nailed. Yeah, I've, na it's been years since I've had nails that are, like, capable of accruing dirt under them. Uh, so that should give you an idea of how frequently I do that. Like, I like it's bad to the point where sometimes I bite too much off and it fucking bleeds. So, it's a bad habit, but I've had it, like, all of my fucking life. What's going on, Killer Kevin? We're building Gundams, dog. How many gallons is that tank? 36. It's a bowhead. I still have not seen my shrimp this entire stream. All right. Mm-mm. Okay. So now, we need a... See, I'm, I'm bad. I always have to, like, rearrange shit. Uh, we need PC1. We need the politically correct one part. I, I thought about getting, like, a like a filing thing to have, like, in the corner over there where I'd have, like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G so I could just, like, yank the fucking, uh, the rack out that I need. But I, that would be too much effort for me. Uptime, about two hours-ish. Oh, hold on. I have to readjust. I, I I hit the desk. I'm sorry. See, I got a I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of practice before I'm good at this uh, this webcam streaming shit. Why haven't you built a dildo? I mean, look at this thing. He's got a dildo on his head floor. Is that not good enough for you? A life size Gundam lover robot on Twitch. Eh, maybe. I, they get expensive. Like. <laughs> Some of the bigger models can run you over two hundred dollars. So a, a life-sized one would be prohibitively expensive. Although it would be fun. Good progress so far. I mean, I'm about to finish the arms. Like I'm not, I'm not going that slow. At the, at the start, I was because I was greeting everyone and I was getting acclimated, but. I think we're going at a reasonable pace. We started the arms like what, 15 minutes ago? Cause like if I if I were to build like like chop 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 fucking slap chop shit, it would be done too quickly and I wouldn't be able to focus on chat because I'd be just sitting there like sniffing the fucking parts out. And I, I like even when I'm playing or not playing, uh everything is playing a game to me if you couldn't tell. Even if I was doing it on my own, I like to take my time. I like to like watch some some shit. Like watch some uh Let's Plays on the internet. I like to watch uh, Ro uh, Ross and Cry play Undertale. And I'll, I'll sit there with a nice alcoholic beverage. And just build my fucking Gundam while I'm watching shit. What's good, Matrix? How are you? Good morning. Okay. So, now, we're gonna put the, another spike on. Look at the shit. Look at the shit. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. thing you've ever seen so now we got our two shoulders oh 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 dude my legs asleep god damn all right so now we need b1 b22 b21 and c1 <laughs> fuck this is a weird model because usually they have you build the uh the legs before the arms in my experience but not this time hey, thanks for 1000 bits doodles i appreciate it love the man hands thank you 
What are these views? That's a cry host. What's good, Greek? All right. So now we got to finish the arm. We need to start with B18. I think we're only doing one at a time now, too, because now we're doing right and left arm, and it's not the exact same thing every time. Let me see. You need B okay, this is B2. That's why. That's why. I'm going to fucking cut myself with this exacto knife. I'm going to get banned from Twitch because I, I got punched or something. What's good, Hunlo? They're called Yaoi hands. Are these Yaoi hands? Chat. Are these Yaoi hands? Yeah, kind of. Wow. And look, chat comes alive to tell me that I have Yaoi hands. All right. Well, you know, whatever. Confirm those are some pretty big yaoi. My hands are small though. Like I have tiny. I always thought my hands were teeny tiny. Like look at how small my fingers are. Like okay, where? All right, this is a typical exacto knife. Like look at this shit. Size comparison. The exacto knife is almost as long as my fucking hand. It's just that I have a skinny fucking hand. Like it's emaciated. All right, whatever. <laughs> Fucking just being bullied, dude. I'm like, man, I'm just going to have my hands and no one's going to be able to talk shit. Because uh, my hands are all right. Nope. Christ, you wonder why I don't show my fucking face. Good God. <laughs> Can you imagine? Fuck, like, I have yaoi hands. Like, Jesus Christ. You know how insulting that is? Our bun length hot dog. Okay. Yaoi face, right? Good God. You also have Yaoi face? Nah. I'm just ugly. Okay. Even if you have Yaoi hands? Alright. You don't want the answer to, Tolo? But Yaoi, like, what does that even mean? What's the definition of a fucking Yaoi hand? Like, this is what I'm trying to understand. Like, what. What qualifications does a hand need to be a yaoi hand? And thank you for the sub. Carreran? I appreciate it. If I fuck the name up, let me know and I'll do my best to remediate it and enjoy the doggy emos. Awkward and long. Oh, awkward. That's... Come on. Are they awkward? Look at these hands. Are these fucking awkward? Like, what's awkward about these? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't get it. I don't understand. Fuck. Jesus. Fuck, man. Fuck you! I'm going to bed. I'm be, I'm be, now, 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 because of you guys, I'm going to be sitting there in fucking bed, like, thinking about how I have yaoi hands when I sleep tonight. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright. We're getting some fish. Alright, oh, yeah, look, look at the... This is my hand compared to a Coke. Is this really a big hand? I don't think it is, personally. That's a baby can? This is a full-size can. This is a full-size can. Like it stretched a tad? Interesting. Grip the can? Okay. What the fuck? Yowie hands. Stretching everything super wide, maybe. Aspect ratio is kind of screwed. All right, I'll, I'll try to fix it for next time. Nobody said anything about that until I gripped the can, so I'm gonna go ahead and s say that it's probably not a big deal. <laughs> but you know what? Fuck it. People think I have yaoi hands now. See, I have, I have little baby dick hands. Hands tiny? Yeah, my hands are fucking baby hands. I don't get it, man. This is fucked up. 
fucking camera's in the tractor. <laughs> off stream quality really bad no that's just the stream quality i guess like people have been saying it looks like shit all night i think it's just the webcam all right so did i get 21 yeah i have 21 here 22 there do i have 18 no did i get 18 yeah all right so wait i still need c1 where the fuck is c i don't even think i've used that yet Okay, look, look at this hand. See, look, I don't have a yaoi hand. Look, this right here, that's a yaoi hand. Look at that. Look at that yaoi hand. All right. Ah, fuck. Okay, so I need C1. Oh, my God, this fucking part. Are you serious? Okay, what webcam are you using? It's like the Logitech C922X or some shit. I don't fucking know. Alright, look at this. Look at this. Look at this piece. That's some shit. That's some shit, fellow gamers. Alright. It's like the stream. Well, I got hosted for like 2,000 viewers uh, by Cry at the beginning, so it has nothing to do with the stream itself. Like, if Cry hosts you, you have like minimum 1,000 viewers for fucking ever, basically, until you end the stream. That's just like Cry's dick is that big. He is, uh, he's just swinging. Like, have you, have you ever seen like the, uh, like one of those weird ass like anime pornography pictures where like there's like a gaggle of women and all of them are holding the same dick but the dick is so stout so thick that like oh man it's just that's cry you know like the dick is just too thick the club can't even handle that shit okay so let me see Doesn't have yaoi hands. Have have we even seen Cry's hands? Is he not shown those either? Fucking boy. If I was Cry, be like, yo, dude, give me like ten thousand dollars, and I, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you my face. Just like extreme shekel goblin strategy. Like it would get leaked, but you'd be. Cause, you know, you get you get ten thousand dollars. Fuck it, right? Like he he's gone on long enough that I I guarantee you, if you were to be like, I will reveal my face for ten thousand dollars USD, one hundred percent, one hundred fucking percent. You could probably get more than that. You could probably get like fucking a hundred thousand. Okay. Look at this shit. Now you got the arm. Okay. Gotta be more than 10k. Well, I'm saying for my standards. Like, to me, $10,000 is a lot of fucking money. That's like, maybe not a life-changing amount. Okay, it is a life-changing amount. That's a lot of fucking money. If someone were to just be, like, if I were to go down the street and just see, like, $10,000, holy shit. Uh, God damn. Not, you know, I can finally buy that mechanical bull that I've always been dreaming of since I was a wee little bastard. What the fuck does this say? Hold on. Oh, this is for the hands. Okay. It's giving me... It's like the choose-your-own-hand adventure. Um, I... Alright. We want the one that can hold the fucking gun. For sure. So that would be nine. I've turned down a 15k deal once that required face cam. Oh, man. Humble brag. My name's Cry. I get fucking offered... Like, 15k for, for sponsored deals. Haha, ha, that's more than most streamers make in a fucking year. XD, I'm such a big dick YouTuber. Let me look at this girl. Let's cry right now. <laughs> Alright, so B15, I think. No, 15. Alright. 
Humble boy, yup, yup. Cry is the definition of humble. This was when I was actually relevant. You were still relevant to me, dude. Okay. Alright, I need to message Amanda in a minute. Give me a second. I need to tell her goodnight. I'm being an asshole. I'm being a bad boyfriend right now, sitting here doing my virgin robots. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm a virgin, right? Okay. So see, wait, what the fucky wucky five dollar? Okay, C nine, right, right. All right, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I thought I had all the parts wrong. Okay, all right, give me a second. Sif, come here. If I'm gonna take a break, we have to show you his tribute. Sif, come here. Siffy, come here. Snickies. Hold on, I got a briber. I got a briber. Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to get the. I need to get the milk bones. Sif, you need a sticky! Come in! Come in! Sif! Sifroni! Come on! Come over here! Go under the table! Come on! Sif! Come here! Oh, it's a bone! Come here! Snacky! You don't want to be your camera shy, Sif? Come on! Come on! Come over here! Come over here! Come over! Sif, come here! Here's a snacky! Get the snacky. Look, right here. Snacky. Come here. <laughs> you want another one? You want another snacky? Come on. Get on the table. Who's a good girl? There you go. There you go. Who's a good little doggy? Okay, I gotta message your mom, Sif. Hold on, let me left hand my mouse really quickly. Okay, Twitter notifications. Sif, don't bump me like that, baby. Shit, okay. Thought you'd be tan. No, I'm, I told you I'm a pale glue stick. Alright. I got I got GF aggro homies. Oh. These fucking robots. They call them virginity protectors for a reason. Vampire white? Absolutely. Is outside of your door so dirty? It's just a different color paint from the, the, the door. It's not... If you look at the... Uh, if I were to zoom into the door, what appears to be dirt is actually like uh, scratch marks from the dogs. Like Sif scratch scratches on the door when I leave. Like there's actually under the doorknob like this huge fucking brown spot where she, she scratched all of the paint off when she was a puppy. And I, I've just been too lazy to fix it. No one comes into my fucking room anyways. <laughs> so basically gonna blame that one on the dog. Alright, so now I need C5. The dog did it, Mom. Not me. Okay. 
You come in your room? I mean, I do, but not on the fucking door. Like, what are you trying to imply? What are you talking about? Like, what does that have to do with my door? You come in your room. What the fuck? Okay. I guess? But I, I fail to see the relevance. Okay, real talk. Real talk, homies. Question. Question. How many of you do not come in your room? How many of you have never once came in your own room? I don't. Okay, Game Boy's a liar. Takumi's a liar. Game Boy is very insecure about being outed as a liar. See, only only two people, only two people said they don't come in their room. See, that's a good way. That's like saying, if, if, ladies, all two of you in here, if you want to see if your man or potential date is truthful, you know what you need to do. Trust me on this one. Look that motherfucker dead in the eye and say, "Hey, have you ever tried to suck your own dick before?" If they tell you no. Dump his ass. Because he's fucking lying to you. That is 100% successful. You can quote me on that. Like, that is how you know he's no good. Like, if he if he can't even be honest with that, God, you are gonna be in for some shit. Okay. But if they're actually gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I've done that before. I, I, you know, I've tried to suck my own dick. One time I licked the tip a little bit and it was kind of weird and it tasted like salt, but that's okay. Maybe he's... You know, then you, then you know, you got yourself a gymnast. M fucking magical things can happen. All right. And there's, there's, every time I bring this up, there's always like one fucking person like, Oh, I've never tried to suck my own dick before. Shut the fuck up. No one believes you. Not a single person in this goddamn chat believes you. Not a single one. So just preemptively go fuck yourself. Alright. We're almost done with this arm. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. <laughs> and Dude, what the fuck? Okay, what's the opposite of a of a Yaoi arm? Look at this little pale manlet arm. Like, look at this. This is like the virgin with rage uh, technology arm. Look at this shit. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put... Look, look, look. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. Na, 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 na. There you go. One arm down. Look, he's angry. He's got his little fist out. Oh, hold on. Let me have the, the hand for a backdrop. What's good, back? Okay. All right. God, people who are just browsing creative must be fucking pissed. Holy shit. Can you fucking imagine this being like a normal Twitch viewer and stumbling into my dumb fucking stream? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm committing a war crime by being anywhere near the top of the fucking uh, creative session on... Or just creative section on Twitch. I can speak. Please believe me. Okay. C time. C time. Sucking your own dick. Exactly. Like, but, but, okay. You you know you've tried it. You know you've tried it. Come on now. All right. People are making Gundams right now. Twitch viewer is normal compared to me. You see, it it a Twitch viewer compared to my ass is probably normal unless. There are certain types of streams that if someone were like, yeah, I watched this stream, I'd be like, okay, this person is a fucking psychopath. I'm never going to talk to a man. I'm not going to elaborate on that because Twitch would, be, would, would throw me into the fucking gulag and force me to watch uh, Casey Chan for the rest of my days. But, you know, you, you know what I'm getting at. But for the most part, yeah. Hey, thanks for the resub, Truth of Source Rex. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, what's going on, Sniper Knight? I need more guy facts for. I mean, that's really it. Like, 
at the end of the day, we're pretty we're pretty simple creatures. And there's gonna be someone like see, I hate talking about shit like this because there's always that one person who has to go out and be like, I'm not like this. I'm very deep. I I would ask her what kind of flowers she would want every single day. And then and then like flash forward to when it actually happens, it's just fucking Fedora tipping. I'm sorry, I, I'm being, I'm being too, I'm being too aggressive right now, I apologize. I'm getting hot and bothered by building robots. This is, this is very, when I get, when I get sexually excited, I get, I get mean. Hey, come here, fuck you. Alright. So, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh god. I'm gonna stop playing games with god, I just crumpled the kid. Hello, Leslie. Razamiel. Yeah, what, what's wrong with my hands? Are you gonna call me owie hands, too? Hey, motherfucker can't catch a break. I'm just trying... I, all I'm trying to do is bring quality content to, to Twitch.television, and people are just fucking me. They're fucking me when my stream title is making virginity protector. Like, what the fuck? You say it's a lie? Yeah, kind of. I... I'm gonna blow your mind with this one, Game Boy. Check this shit out. Check this shit out, dog. First of all, thank you for the 10 bits. But on the internet, I automatically assume everyone is fucking with me. When people are like, yeah, I love your stream, Tolomeo. You know how my brain interprets that? Tolomeo, you're a stupid piece of fucking dog shit, and I hope you die. That That's how my mind works. That That's the internet. Okay, so what the fuck am I doing here? I got all fucking turned around. I'm still... I'm still on this part. I need to take a page back. Hey, thanks for the resub, Texas. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. Hate your super... See, if you say something like that, then I take it literally, though. Like, that's that's a thing. It's, it's just like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm... You can't fucking win. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> like, it, it'll never happen. I think it goes this way, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it should be this way. He's refusing to answer the question now. What? Oh, no, no. I mean, is it too is it too early to say I told you so? All right. You say you like your stream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling Sif that she's a good girl and spamming rats in cry stream. That would be my answer to that. <laughs> Summer's gonna be pissed at me. Bear will be too if he's here. It's stoking the flames. Wanna suck their own dick was a joke? Majin, what the fuck are you talking about? Most men have tried to suck their own dicks. Like I Memes aside, I do believe there are probably uh, several who haven't. But I, I think most of us, at some point, were stupid, dumb, horny teenagers who saw some fucking porn. Especially if you're my age. If you're my age, you're fucking old, and back then, you had to deal with dial-up internet. If you wanted to see, like, an animated gif of some girl taking it in the ass by, like, a BBC, that took, like, two hours to download. So you... you, you you kind of have to make do with what you got, you know? So, most of us try to improvise something like that. And thank you, Miss Doodles. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Man, I can't even imagine going back to those days. Holy shit. I remember trying to download a Morrowind mod called uh, Giants, and it took, like, fucking what? At least 7,000 hours. So I actually made a fucky wucky on this one. Um, I'm looking for a piece that has no that has no opposite over here. Okay, what well, there was one step for the the left arm that was only for the left arm, and I'm looking for the same piece for the right arm. It doesn't fucking exist. How old am I? I'm 25. I'm about to be 26. So I'm I'm a dinosaur by Twitch standards. I'm pretty much like covered in amber already. Wait all that time for it? Dude, I wanted to play fucking uh, Giants. What kind of asshole says Jif? The person who made the file format for one. Um, 
fuck that asshole for making an animated image for me. I hope he steps on a on a Gundam piece. Okay. All right, all right. So let's see. show face. Nah, dude, that's a Patreon perk, homie. I think I'm just gonna show my face. I'll show my fangs like CWC if you want that. Okay, I'm, I'm just fumbling. There we go. All right. Now we need the, the little manlet uh, virgin with rage hand. Look at that shit. Look at that fist. Here for the virginity protects us. All right, well, this is what we got so far. This is what we got so far. This is our, our uh, custom gal virginity protector. We're about to finish the second arm. And, yeah. That's our progress thus far. The fuck is that? It's like some sort of particle. Disgusting. Probably like fucking Cheeto dust. Like a Cheeto dust elemental or something. Okay, V2-8. Sister Fister, my name's not Mr. Lister. Okie dokie. That was a needed piece. That wasn't a piece. That was like some seriously like some fuck. I think it was a fish flake actually. Now that I now that I'm thinking about it, it was the same color as a fish flake. I like how these these ghost catfish. I don't know if you can see them, but right here they've been staring at me the entire time I've been here. They want some motherfucking snackies. I already fed them twice today though. Uh, not quite as good as frosted flakes. Have you ever considered trying fish food? That's one thing I don't understand is people who like try to eat dog food and animal food because you can just kind of tell from the smell, you know? Like, I really don't get it. I, I don't understand. Maybe someone can explain it to me, but that's something, that's a meme that I never, uh, I never tried. Fish food smells so good. What the fuck is wrong with you? What kind of fish food do you feed your fish? Just absolutely haram. Day. Haha. <laughs> Fellow kids. Alright. So now, we're gonna... We got the arm and we got the shoulder. Smack that fucking thing. Oh, oh, oh look at that arm. Look at this... Pale blue manlet arm. Alright. So check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Look, look at this motherfucker. Look at this son of a bitch. Look at that. Oh! Alright. Now I just need his legs. His legs, his weapon, etc. He's looking good. He's a little bit of a, a thick boy. But that's alright. Woo wee! Food without any flavorings, cat food and dog food can't have spice or any nasty preservatives. I mean, true, but it's, it just smells like dog shit. And it turns into dog shit, too. You want any paneling? No, not on stream. Alright, because that requires me to actually be focused. Like, that's the thing. Wait, so what the fuck? I'm, I'm building a missile launcher right now. Holy shit, okay. PC thirteen and fifteen. Usually you build weapons at the end. I don't I don't know what uh what got into the person who made the instructions for this shit. What's going on to flow? So food that doesn't have any flavor smells like no that's not true. That that's not true. Uh spinach doesn't have any flavor and it doesn't taste like anything either. It's just it's just fucking crunchy grass basically. That's why I don't I don't, uh, I don't mind spinach that much because the texture is nasty, but it really doesn't taste like anything. It's thicker than that of your shrimp. Mm -hmm. The shrimp? God. Okay. The shrimp's pretty thick, and honestly, like, this is something that I've known for a long time, that shrimp, crawdaddies, etc. are essentially the cockroaches of the sea. But I got that shrimp, and it really solidified just how similar they are to, like, fucking bugs. And the little fucking antennas moving, they're like these little fat, shelled creatures, and it's just like, man, I have a sea cockroach now. A sea cucaracha. What the fuck? Am I on drugs? 
Okay, what's C23? What's good, Grave Digger? Don't look disgusting. Spinach can help prevent yaoi arms. All right, cool. Thanks for the heads up. Texas man builds missile launcher on stream. Yo, don't get me banned, homie. Don't snitch. Oh, shall cop. Yowie arms. You know what? Look, yowie hands, yowie arms, yowie fucking pointed elbow, yowie scar. I'm just a yowie guai from Fallout, okay? Are you satisfied? Christ. Okay. PC 15 goes all the way up in this bit. Good meme. Thanks, Modder. How did you get that scar? Um, that's a good question. I got it from doing battle with a deranged Albanian man. I went up to him and I said, Yo, dog, what's up? And you know what? He looked me in the eye and he said, Hello now. I think you are a fuck. And he took out a knife very similar to this. And he went, fuck you. Just cut my fucking arm right open. I had to go to the doctor and get 700 stitches for that. And then the the doctor's office is like, yo, that'll be $7,000 to loan me out. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. No, no big deal. I stream on Twitch.television. I have like 50 viewers, dude. Like, I can pay that shit. No problem. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Alright, hold on. I have a fucking problem seeing this. I'm actually having genuine difficulty getting this part in. Like, this is... Like, I kind of imagine that this is really similar to how it must feel to try to fuck, like... Uh... Let's just say a lady who's like 600 plus pounds with a micro penis. Like, that must be really hard, right? In more ways than one. What's going on, Argar? Like, how do you get through all that shit? It's probably fun. Oh, man. People have weird definitions of fun. Technique. Dude, what the fuck? I can't get this in. Hold on. See, look. Look at the instructions, chat. Tell me what to do. Backseat game me. See, so I have to put the politically correct in the seat. It's not fucking fitting. Alright. A technique, though. So much PC. Put the sticker on. There's no sticker yet, though. So that's a step after this one. Learn Japanese, you lazy fuck. I don't want... Dude, I know enough Japanese. All right. So if I were to see a Japanese man or woman on the street, I would know how to initiate conversation. I would go, Ohio Nissan. Because I know... There are two things... There are two things that I know about the Japanese. They love the state of Ohio, and they love Nissan cars. So if you want to get the fuck, bring a Nissan to Japan with an Ohio license plate. Instant. Fucking like 70 women on your ass immediately. Trust me. Let's see. Fuck. This thing is small. Dude, I'm actually... Fuck, maybe Viridian Gale. Why not, dude? There's nothing wrong with fucking a man. Nothing gay about that, as long as you say no homophone at the end. It just means you might be a little homosexual, you know? Nothing wrong with being homosexual. Well, thanks for the Prime sub, Trident. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the best dog emotes on the goddamn website. Doesn't have a Nissan? No, I have a Kia. I have a fucking 2010 Kia Forte. 
Thank you for putting Argark in the cuck shed, rogue. I appreciate it. So... Dude, this is like an I tried so hard. In the end, it doesn't even matter moment for me. I cannot get this fucking thing in. God damn. Do I have the wrong one? Okay, 15. And you know what? Let me try the other 15. Sub you instead of crying. Nice. Kia, well, I didn't pick the car. My dad gave it to me. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a, a family who decided to get me a car for my 18th birthday. The fuck are you doing? No, I'm good. I'm good. I was going to say brain sucker kill. Oh, come on. There we go. I got it that time. Who are we? See, look, look, look. Look at this. Look at this. I, you see on the top, that little hole? I had to fit a little fucking, like, rubber circle into that square. What a pain in the ass. What's good, Boomer? Okay. Alrighty. So, now I need PC-13. That goes on C-22. Ooh-wee. God damn. Never worked? Dude, I'm a fucking millennial. I haven't worked on anything. What are you talking about? You know who I am? I don't need avocado toast. I mean, at least I know how to change a motherfucking tire, though. Like, that... Alright. Let me be the first one to say, I'm like a turbo virgin invalid. I think we can all agree on this at this point. However, even I know how to change a tire. And I've met people in real life, I'm like, yo, dog, you, you, you just need to change the tire. And like, I don't fucking know how to change I'm like, what? How the fuck... Do you live without knowing how to change a tire? I don't get it personally. Like, no offense if any of you don't know how, but it, it's just mind-boggling to me. It really is. Okay. Normie, cuck boy games like Bloodborne, the new moon of the greatest Souls game, Dark Souls 2, which gave me hope, but now you're a cuck IRL streamer. This is creative, asshole. Uh, fuck you. And the tricycle you rode in on. God, can you imagine me IRL streaming? People would love it because I just have Sif. So, look, look at this dog. Sif, come here. You want a milky bone? Sif. Come on. Come on. Sif, they want to see you. I need to show you off for the rest of the class. Come on. Come on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Come on. I'll give you a milky bone. Don't worry. No, no, no. Sif, come on. I can't go over there. I can't go over there. Hold on. Nope. You saw some of my hair. Look at the dog. Look at the doggy. Look at the puppy. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Hey, you want to build a Gundam? You get that milk ball. Look at the good girl. Look at the good little doggy. Who's a good Who's, who's a good little Look at how tired she is. Look at your eyes. Good girl. You're dismissed. Okay. Let her eat the snacks. I did. She just had to get it. She just had to get up to it. Hey, Pop, what's up? Now she's slurping. So now we need C15. We need to put a sticker on this one. Let's Sif eat the Gundam. Skinny dude, I'm fat. I'm 180 pounds. Show the model. I, right, right. So long and girly. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm too fucking lazy to get a haircut. Sif shed a lot, of course. Have you seen her? She's like, she's fucking. She's a fluff ball. Hello, Parallax. All right. Oh. He's long hair. Wait, his hair is long and girly? I got, like, fucking curly-ass hair, too. 2 a.m.? It's 1.50 a.m.? Skinny arms? Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Look at this fucking muscle. You better back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up, okay? 
Jesus. Motherfuckers trying to flex. They don't know I'm a fucking gangster. All right. C15. Can you do the... This? God, look at how fat my thumb is compared to my index finger. Good God. It look, it look, oh, Jesus. Ugh. All right. That was a nice noise, Seth. Good God almighty. Tola will dab for us? Nope. Tolo dab, okay. Couldn't see it, but I did it, I promise. Dude, where the fuck? All right, I have a problem. There we go. Put that piece right there. Okay. Woo-wee! Will you whip and nay Dude, what the fuck is whipping and nay -naying? I've heard it before, but I have no idea what it actually is. All right. A pop quiz, dogs. Pop quiz. Okay. Check this shit out. You see this? That's our sticker right here. It's not even the size of my thumbnail. And we've got to put it on this. Like, right inside of that little hole, basically. That's a pain in the ass, isn't it? All right. So let's see. Intense focusing. Intense focusing. No, not quite. Wait, hold on. There we go. We got it. Woo! Put the plastic in your pee hole, Patreon perk, fellow gamer. Patreon perk. Okay, now we need 16. Complete the what the fuck is a ratapillar? Dude, that sounds fucked up. What what is a ratapillar? Is it like a, a stupid red pillar? I guess it's kind of fucking redundant, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Can you fuck my sister? Patreon perk. I'm sorry, I hold every single bit of uh, internet content hostage for money. So, all right, let's see. Ooh, it's kind of sweaty in here. Sitting here fucking marinating dogs. So C19, C18, and then we'll have a finished missile launcher, a, a missile. What is your opinion on a shekel rat? What do you mean? We have a shekel dog. I have an invisible man's desk for Mass Effect. Ooh, cool. I remember that fucking game. Too bad about Andromeda, huh? I kind of want to play Andromeda just for the like the, the fight scene between the two gay Krogans. I was like, fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. And they go, they get into like this lame slap fight and they're these big reptilian fucking BBCs. It's like, <laughs> that's the fucking fight. I can't believe that happened. Like sometimes shit in reality happens. It just makes me question if I'm, I'm living in like the right universe. You know what I mean? is the, the most of our missile launcher. See those three pegs? We just, we gotta put the miscles on them. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. It's a triple meat, triple cheese from Whataburger. Is that octopus? You're high, OG. <laughs> you are so high. Look at them guns, and we're gonna put it on his fucking hand. Check this shit out, fellow gamers. Look, watch this shit. You see he's got like a little peg on his arm? Oh. oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, hello, fellow gamers. 
Look at that shit. Me IRL. Thank you for the resub, Gatum282. I appreciate it, dog. Really making Gundams? You're goddamn right I am. Look at this shit. He's ready to fuck respectable men and women. Are you? Alright, so now I need to make some fucking Air Jordans. Gonna make the Gundams do epic fight like the anime. Yes. Of course. Okay, so we need E and PC3. We need the third politically correct. Alright, let's, let's pop both these out. Uptime of boot. Three hours ish, roughly. It's a Zaku. Actually, no, it's a goof. Look, it's from the Goof Troop. This is my favorite case. When, when Goofy, when Goofy and this dude go on a spiritual adventure to discover the uh, the negative effects of toxic masculinity on today's society, that brought a fucking tear to my goddamn dick. Disney is just mm, fucking masters of their craft. Hit me on the perfect grade. Uh, if you really like building Gundams, yes, I have one. Let me rotate the camera a bit. See that, dude? All right, all right look at this. This is the the manlet fucking body compared to a perfect grade. This is I think obviously it doesn't have the legs, but this is the rough, uh, the rough sizing. Okay. Those the PGs take a lot of fucking work, though. Like that is a. You're looking at like 10 to 20 hours, maybe? Approximately, roughly. Also, look at my aquarium. A plant fucking like uplifted itself. I think I think my shrimp might have fucked that plant that's floating in the top left corner. I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> I should probably fix that. It's just a, uh, I don't know. He's renovating. Help y'all. Put your Gundam in the tank. Add like four models to a wish list. Nice, dude. So and we still, if I if I finish this in time, we can at, we can at least start this one. Look at this. Look at that BBC God Gene weapon. Are you fucking serious? Like, look at this son of a bitch. Holy fuck! How does he have a gun that big? Somebody stop this man. And as far as, like, box size is concerned, this is the box for the one we're fucking making. Little man. Like, this is the 5 foot 10 box versus the 6 foot box. And it shows. Okay, Sif, you don't have to make that noise at me, though. The fish tank has more vegetables than fish. Those aren't vegetables. Those are actually fake plants. I'm not good enough at the whole fish keeping thing to have real plants, so... Okay, back to the task at hand. I need 11 and 12. All right. No. Pop this. Are these Gundams expensive? They can be. The one I'm building right now is like $20. There's some that are like 10, 15, but they're small. So I would I would start off getting like a 10, 15 dollar one and seeing if you like it. Although you probably want something like these. Like if you don't have clippers of some sort it's a pain in the ass you gotta, you gotta start twisting the fucking parts um but you can break shit really easily if you do that like if you twist the parts by hand so i wouldn't recommend that i'd recommend at the very least getting some heavy duty scissors or some shit Face reveal? I mean, I have my face on my Twitter, but I don't, like, if I were to show you my face, you turned to fucking stone, dude. An ugly son of a bitch. I'm basically a Medusa. Tell the story of your birth? Alright, well, I don't know how the fuck my parents had sex. Um, I was born in July, so presumably they had, they had, they were feeling festive. It was late last year. Not last year, I'm, I'm one year old, by the way. Late. Anyways, anyways. Uh, my mom was pregnant with twins. I actually have a twin. I don't know if you guys know that or not. But uh, I devoured him in the womb. I, I had a twin and he died and I ate him. 
I like to think that I killed him and then ate him. Um, and then my mom smoked a lot when she was pregnant with me, and I bet a lot of people are going, yeah, that explains a lot right now. But I almost died during birth. Uh, you guys almost lucked out. You almost lucked out 25 years ago, almost 26. Um, and I had like a lack of oxygen when I was born. I was a blue baby from binding of a sack. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I, then I pissed on my dad, and, you know, that was my first act in life. Pissing on my own father. Right. Were you premature? No, I was just uh, oxygen starved. Just didn't, I didn't want to breathe. I'm just sitting here chilling like, yo, dog, it's all good. I don't have to breathe or anything. Sick male Tetris. Hey, thanks, Bivrak. What's good, man? I wish my fucking new vampire... Wait. No, that's not him. My new vampire shrimp is, uh... Oh, shit. The gudgeons are out. I don't know if you can see, but two of the peacock gudgeons, they're very small. They're very tiny. They're juveniles. They just got here today, and they have no coloration whatsoever yet. They're very teensy tiny. Um, thank you, Blink Point, for the resub. I appreciate it. Shrimp was... But he was, he was out fucking hustling earlier. He was, like on a fucking world tour or some shit. He doesn't seem to mind any of the uh, other inhabitants in the tank, so I was surprised that I actually saw him so much today. Later, Ithys. He was born on the battle bus? Worry about overcrowding your aquarium? Not really, because I water change a lot. Um, overcrowding can be bad, but if you... Most people don't change the water as much as they should. Like, if you change it every week and then do a big change every month, you can be overcrowded reasonably well. You just have to test the water and make sure it's not too bad. Like you can you can be slightly overcrowded and be fine. Um, you just have to make sure you, you do the right work and actually change the fucking water in your tank. Okay, so I need, I need the banana shoe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was a Smurf? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm actually the origin of the Papa Smurf Can You Lick My Ass song, if you could believe that. So I'm a pretty big deal. Papa Smurf can lick your ass. Yeah, lick my ass, bitch. Papa Smurf can lick your ass. Lick, lick, lick my ass, bitch. I remember listening to that play in RuneScape when I was like fucking 13. I thought it was a banger. I listened to that unironically. Sitting there killing like Dagonoffs and fucking Waterbirth Island to pop a smirk and I lick your ass. What a strange young man. <laughs> Alright. I used to love Albino Black Sheep. They used to be like my favorite website in the world. Most people won't even know what the fuck that is. Like only only old men like me at this point will remember that one. Only 90s kids will remember this game. It's fucking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Still go to E-bombs? Nice, dude. Hey, thank you, uh, QP Goose QP. What was your name, our, our baby? Penis Goose, because I'm pretty sure that was your name before you had to change it because of Twitch. Thank you very much. What's a Gudam? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's an Indian dish. Fish is trying to escape. Which one? I'm really worried about one of my ghost catfish, actually. I think it got stuck somewhere. Because it's like, this one over here, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like fucking bent. It wasn't that way a couple days ago, so I don't, like, some sort of physical fucking trauma happened to it. I think it might have tried to wiggle into a place where it didn't belong, but it's, it's eating. And if you have fish, the number one sign of sickness is them refusing food. Because they're fucking fat little bastards. They will eat anything. So he's still eating and shit, so I don't think he's sick. But I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck happened to this son of a bitch? It's really sad because I've never lost a ghost catfish aside from, uh, I lost one. Like, the day I got it from, from the store. So, it was just sick when I got it. And they're supposed to be reasonably difficult fish to take care of. Like, they, they're sensitive to the water chemistry and changes in, like, pH and shit. But never lost one. I've, I've lost fish that are supposedly much hardier 
than uh than ghost catfish, but never lost a ghost cat before, so Feed them fish? You joke, but if you have a spawning pair of fish, like let's say you had like some guppies or platies in the tank and they gave birth, uh the garami, the tetras, they'd eat the fry. They they would eat the little uh baby fish. I actually had that happen. I used to have platies in the tank and the dwarf garamis would eat the the lion's share of the baddies. Okay, and now we're gonna I don't even know if you can see this. What's going on, Splat? Butters. How does this contraption protect your virginity? Alright. Imagine you bring the woman of your dreams over, right? So, let's say you're going to the club, you're sitting like, you're fucking dancing. You, 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 you played World of Warcraft. You're doing the human male dance. You're like, ns, ns. you're putting on your fucking hottest moves on the dance floor. And some chick's like, oh my fucking god, I want to fuck this dude so much. And then you bring her back to the house, and the first thing she sees is just this. And it's like, oh my fucking god, you play with kids' toys. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then she just leaves. That's why it's a virginity protector. I hope that was a, a, an adequate explanation. Huh? What the fuck? What is going on here? I'll take three. All right, good shit, good shit. Very educational, thank you. Tell me, problem, boonie boy. Fuck. Oh. Having technical difficulties. Kramer painting in a PGRX 78 on a fireplace mantle. God, I kind of want to see a picture of that. That sounds fucking sick. What the fuck? Okay, I'm having some serious issues right now. Oh, yeah, the Galf medallion, like, instead of Sonichu, you have the fucking goof. Dude, I seriously, like, I put these things in and, at an angle where I can't get the following piece in very well. I'm gonna have to grind off stream to do this one. Alright. What the fuck is this shit by Dr. Seuss? Okay, I gotta crack the son of a bitch open. To the club and dance with it? Nice. So now let's let's try that again. Fuck! I can't I can't do it. It's too hard, Mom. Mom. Building Gundam Redemption Run. Oh God. Okay. I, I'm surprised I'm having this much difficulty with the fucking foot. See, I'm trying to... I, look at his little baby foot. Look at this shit. Look, little fucking Nikes. He's had his Air Jordans. I gotta take this piece and get the very bottom peg right there. And like, fucking... Well, you can't see because of my hand. You gotta, you gotta do some wicked sorcery, okay? Tell us the legend of Chris Chan. I don't want to get banned. Someone made a, a comic. It was the best shit in the world. It was called Sonichu. Made lots of fucking money and retired on a yacht. That was Christian Weston Chandler. Dude, what the fuck? This is actually fucking ridiculous. When you dropped the R about a year ago ish. You fucking fart? I didn't know. Sif might have. She farted earlier and it was nasty. Can you know what? Fuck that foot. Oh, he's blaming it on the dog. But she's literally burped on stream, like, while I'm talking. Real Tolomeo fans know know all about Sif and her degeneracy. Really been that long? Yeah. Fuck. Bullshit. I fucking hate Gundams. Fucking bullshit, man. to take like the little nippers and try to rotate the fucking thing. Alright, so here's my problem. Here's my problem. It's, it's hard to see, but 
if you look, yeah, you, you can't see worth a shit. But there's like a little socket that I'm trying to insert a peg into, but it keeps like rotating. Like I'll, I'll put it in an angle and I'll rotate it to an angle where it's like physically fucking impossible to do it. So I have to like, see right now, if I, if I try it with this, the little piece in front makes it like this little thing that my index finger is touching makes it to where it, it goes diagonally into it and it won't fit. So I'm, I've never had this much trouble with the fucking foot of any Gundam I've made. Can't see shit. All good. Just use your imagination. Just use your imagination. Good night, albino chocolate. You know, it's a shorter fall. Yeah, because I bite them. Dude, oh man. Okay. Now he hands like, don't have no. You know what? Can I just fucking put this in and then put on the other part? Would that work? No, it's not working. God damn it. Okay. What the fuck? Oh no. What is this copy pasta? What is this thing, dude? can't I can't do it okay all right show you god damn it Tolo, dude I'm having so much trouble with this shit all right. let's try to see see I have to take the the little blue part off realign the socket all right I'm gonna Yeah, I don't think I can do this. Like, I keep, I keep messing it up. Right. Hold on. Kill me? Right. I'm not gonna kill you. Don't say that. That's fucked up. Makes the night that much better. Okay, I fucking got it. God damn it. Fuck that foot. Now one more. Really? Imagine sweet. Shut the fuck up, you lesser diet coke elemental. Fuck you. Sif is slurping right now. And she only slurps when she agrees with me. You know that, right? What? When you're wearing diapers? Bitch, you're still wearing diapers, you fucking diaper fur. Fuck you. You can't, you can't use, like, the diaper argument when you're sitting there going to rainforest and shitting yourself. It doesn't work that way. It's not how it works, Majin. Jesus. Okay, I got both of the feet. No! Sif, bring that back. Ah, I gotta get it with my leg. I, I gotta use the stanky leg technique to retrieve the Gundam foot. I wish I could show you my foot right now. Because I, t I, I show you that I grabbed the fucking... His foot with mine. Look, look at these. Look, look at these Air Jordans. Have you ever seen something so fucking... So fucking swag? I don't think you have. Alright. Ugh. Fucking finally... You're telling me, dude. You think that was fun for me? Christ. Mm-mm. Alright. Show us your feet. Apparently that's a bannable offense on Twitch, which is probably one of the most asinine things I've ever heard. And I've listened to recordings of myself, so that's saying a lot. It's impressive. You want puns? I mean, I don't want anything. The only thing I want is a steak. Okay. Huh? Streams gold. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I'm glad some people are liking it. 
Hopefully this has been an enjoyable experience for you fellow gamers. God damn! With nitrate? Yeah, I've actually... I know this isn't gonna be, like, a huge difference, but I got a... I got a, uh... Moss balls. Moss balls. Uh, they haven't gotten here yet, but apparently shrimp like them because they, like, little nutrients get stuck in the moss balls, and the shrimp will go over and, and, and just... <laughs> all over the moss ball, so... Look at those fucking shoes. Those look like jet skis, homie. Okay, are you a bad enough dude to have jet skis for fucking shoes? I don't think so. That's how you know this motherfucker is cool. Oh. Alright. Now we need E. And a lot of PC ones. Holy shit. Okay. Then we need four of them. That the grapefruit technique? Absolutely. My cat is a little fucking belligerent, but I'm loving the stream. Aw, oh, thanks, dude. Cheapest kind of meat? Deer balls? It's under a buck. <laughs> Hilarious. Tell me more. Really liked that one. That was actually kind of funny, I won't lie. I, I, I just like busting people's balls. Like, it's like one of the most asshole things you can fucking do. Like, someone tells a joke, they think it's funny, it's gonna... <laughs> Like, just do a retard laugh, you know? And it's just like, oh, fuck. That makes you feel so bad. Like, when someone laughs like that when you say something. I know from experience. This is the victim of that. Is, is it a teenager? So now, now I have my fucking pent-up frustrations and I take it out on other people. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Thanks for putting... Pessimistic Archer in the cuck shed, King Jezel. I appreciate it. Uh, Jezel gifted you a sub, Pessimistic. Ah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, one of them. So I'm, I, I'm doing that thing where I fucking put them together off camera. Alright. I'll take any laugh. Building a Gundam now has me building one. Nice. Which one, dude? Can you imagine if I built something that was, uh... actually big. Like, this is one of the smallest Gundams you can possibly build, and it's taken me this long. Thank you for putting Vish Keck in the cuck shake, King Jezel. I appreciate it, dog. Is that laugh? What did I do to deserve that? It's Friday, dude. We're fucking... I should have brought alcohol. Can you imagine if I was fucking drunk doing Gundams? Christ almighty. Ooh. Okay. So now let's put this shit here. Would have cut a finger off. Pina, co Pina Cola mixing stream. What? Building monster monster her models. They the monster her models are really simple though. They like just a couple pieces. You didn't get any for yourself? No, dude. I gotta be the designated driver. Fuck. Let me hit this fucker, dog. I can't. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of my fucking room. Just, just tell me what the name is, and I'll probably know which one it is, unless it's like some weird shit. Sorry. How do you get an aquarium? I actually received it as a gift, and I just went with it. Like I had always kind of wanted one, but I've never, I was never like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go out and buy one because I'm. M most things in life, I'm terrible at. So. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decline that one. I think, super. Yeah, that one looks cool, penguin. I know exactly which one that is. I thought about getting that one. Okay, so now I need E4 and E6. Wait, that's. Oh, okay. I think I get it. Fish are easiest pets? I wouldn't agree with that. I would say that rodents are significantly easier than fish. Because with fish, once you know how to do it, it's not too bad. But there's some fish you can get 
that require a lot of maintenance on the tank, unless you have planted tanks, I guess. But then I would argue that if you have a planted tank, then that's more effort than you'd ever have to put into like a guinea pig. Like some rodents are really, really easy to take care of. Fish are difficult. It depends on the fish. Like, if you get, like, a goldfish or something, then, yeah, you can throw that shit in, like, a glass of water and it'll live a long time. But if you want to get... Like, if you just go to... Like, for example, if you just went to, like, a random pet store and like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get a glass catfish or, like, a bala shark or something. It might be a bit of a different story. Okay, so I need these six. PC-10. Where are my PC-10s at? Show your palms really quick. Alright. I have to clip this one. Count myself as a rodent. I'm pretty easy to take care of. So you're a furry now. You, you, your fursona is a rodent. That's kind of weird. Ow, ow. Ooh, I'm sitting on my foot wrong. Hold on. So, now I have to put this where exactly? Here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm trying not to fuck it up, because, like, if I put one of these pieces on, like, uh, backwards, it's going to be bad. Like, if you fuck the gray parts up, like, the, the frame of the mech, it can be so annoying to fix it. It's, like, the one thing you really don't want to fuck up. Nice hands, Tolo. Thanks, dude. My yaoi hands. Literal rat to a furry? I mean, you can't be a little. Rats can't talk, dude. What do you mean? Alright, so what we made here is, I'm guessing the shin? The frame for the shin. How do you feel about raccoons? Mm. Trash pandas? I don't know. They're alright, they look cool, but I've... Whenever I think about raccoons, I think of that one gaff uh, of the the one that has, like, the cotton candy and tries to wash it because they wash their food. And he, he goes up to the water and, like, dips his cotton candy and just dissolves. And he's just like, fuck. And I feel like that raccoon is a metaphor for my life. You know what I mean? Like, I identify with that on a personal level. About the one eating the grapes? I don't think I've seen that one. Hold on, I need to scroll up and check. Give me a second. I'm, I'm resting my feet right now. They hurt. Because I've been sitting on them wrong. So let me see. Later, Parallax. Opossums? Um, I think they're nasty looking, honestly. Like, I don't dislike them, but I fucking... God, like, they're my spirit animal. They're just worthless. Like, something comes up to them. Like, a moderately stressful situation happens, and they pretend to die and shit themselves. Like, <laughs> is there any animal more similar to me? I don't think so. Like, that's that's pretty accurate. It's like, ooh, and they fall over. What's good, Catspa? I remember there was one in my backyard around this time last year. Sif found it and pretended to be dead, and I went to go get the camera, and it, it resurrected. Like, it, it, it battle rezzed. Um when I was going to get the camera and I was kind of upset. Like, Sif drug it out of the fucking bush, too. Like, the first thing that's ever happened like that. I don't know. Possums are fucking weird. Mm-mm. Alright. What's going on, Rad? What should I do when I get to Japan? Get the fuck. Get it in. I 
That's the only thing that matters in life. That's why I'm building virginity protectors. Okay. What type of possum outside the U.S.? Man, I really, like... They're fucking weird. I don't know how I feel about possums. They, like, they look nasty. I know they're friendly for the most part. Maybe not friendly, but they're not gonna, like, sit there and fucking take a, a bite out of you like Scruff McGruff takes a bite out of crime, but... So I don't really like them that much, honestly. They just, they look... They don't look trustworthy. Thank you for the bits, cry bro. I appreciate it, dog. And they got that nasty fucking tail, nasty teeth. Although, Amanda occasionally links me this one video of him, like, chewing bananas or some shit. And that's kind of cute, I guess. Sif eats the same, like, that's why I don't know. Freeze up instead of run away. Oh, what's going on, Martian? Cappy bears? Yeah, I like cappy bears. Cappy bears are just... You know what? The cappy bear reminds me of Cry. Just like this fucking gigantic guinea pig. Just this fucking thing that just sits there. <laughs> and just occasionally it'll chew. And they go, <laughs> Welcome to Disney MP. Just a really good animal. Came for God knows it feels so attacked. I mean, I said I, I, you're still relevant to me earlier, and people are like, oh, so I gotta balance it out, you know. I, I give and then I have to take. It's just that's how that's the, those are the rules of nature, Mister Priatelic. What's good, Ripple? Show your guns. You, all right. Look at that elbow. This is deadly. If I hit you with one of these, you're fucking done. Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. It's like a knife. It's like, dude, check this out. Blades of Mercy. Fucking Bloodborne, baby. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Easy. Easy peasy, baby. What's good, Moist Moose, man? All right. You fist with those elbows? Yeah. The best weapon in POE. Yup, yup. Alright. God, what the fuck was I doing with my life? Oh yeah, I'm building fucking condoms. At least a red spot if you hit me with those. You'd be dead. It's a one hit kill. Elbows are actually edgy? Yeah, yeah. They are. Dude, do you think Nanners would do a co-op stream with me? Oh, what's good, Mohamsta? Yeah, the title's dope, right? Absolutely not. Oh, come on. But you're building Gundams. So you can read chat more. Am I not reading chat enough? What do you mean? I think I'm doing all right, considering that, that I'm building... This rip-torn muscle gun six-pack on a dick-looking motherfucker. Like, look at this son of a bitch. This guy is ready to fuck your wife. What's good, koala bear? No, you told me to smell my fish tank. That was rude. That was hate speech. I'm not gonna respond to hate speech. This is Twitch.television. This is my hug box, man. Come on. Am I on fucking drugs? Hold on. I gotta be high. I'm gonna block you. Okay. Fucking weird. Whatever. Show us your sister's rats. Sif would fucking freak out. If I were to bring a rat in here. She would start yodeling. Dude, okay. I actually... Hold on. I gotta show you something. I told Cry that I was gonna show him this fucking video of, like, this kid dancing to this Walmart remix thing. 
Uh, let me see if I can pull that up for y'all. Fuck, that's not gonna work. Sorry. I don't think that's gonna work. Because I linked it directly from DMs. Does that link work? No, it doesn't, right? I'm waiting for someone to say, like, nice link retard or something. It did? Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> that kid is my spirit animal, though. <laughs> He's getting down. Fucking regular old Jiggle Billy. Okay, E7. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Okay, the kid's crushy? Yeah, dude. Wish I had those moves. I like the part with the shirt. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking, what would possess someone to do that? Oh, God. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fucking make a hood out of my shirt and start marinating all over the dance floor. Fuck it, though. He, he can rock it. Huh? Logan, did Logan Paul do it? That explains it, I guess. Shame kids out of... Dude, no. I like it. I think it's funny. Because it, it, it's like Cry was saying earlier. We've all done shit like that. Like, we've, we've all gotten down and fucking freaky in the, in the shower. Like, sitting there going, uh, I wanna fuck your mother. And just, you know, just having a jam session. I'm still wondering what happened with Risu's, uh... Risu's person who was questioned if they had sucked their own dick or not. Hmm. The XN Razor 00 via the MG Freedom Gundam. You start with an MG, huh? It's bold. It's bold. I respect that. Um. Pick which, just read the reviews and like pick whichever one you think looks cooler, I guess. I would personally start with an HG just to be safe. But MGs aren't that bad. MGs in a lot of ways, they're more complicated, but they're easier because the, the parts, they don't have as many small parts as an HG. Because like, look at this fucking thing. And thank you for putting DAS192 in the cuck shed, Jessel. I appreciate it. Like, look at this thing. There's so many like, tiny ass parts and it's just a pain in the ass whereas you if you got something like the pg like look at this rip torn muscle guns motherfucker there are no small parts in that son of a bitch every single part of that mech is bigger than my cock and so it's it's a much more in-depth building experience because there's so many more parts but there's not like the annoying small ones you know So let's see, what was I doing here? Okay, we need the E10s. I think I got one, and I need the second one. Alright. Actually gonna build that whole thing? What do you mean? We're not... We're not too far away from being done with this one. We just got the legs, really. Thanks for the bits, game boy. Omega lol, goddamn, it was a good month. Wait, what? It's still going on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need three and four now. Also, it's good tentacle. A DSP sub? Oh. Try not to cry too much. Send an IRL booby streamer territory. Oh. That's what's happening. Is twerking for subs? At least I don't do subathons. That's I feel like that's the first step into uh into supreme twitch degeneracy is doing a subathon. 
remember when one of the, my first Twitch experiences was uh, show video game Sam and Tolkien doing a uh, like a Mario Kart marathon where they'd, they'd do like shifts like one would wake up one would go to bed and they just every sub they'd do like an hour more Mario Kart or whatever and it's fucking like 700 hour long marathon at the end of it and it's just like oh my god and then you know what happened to them uh, they went to like AGDQ or some shit and then well let's, let's just say uh Adultery happened. That's what happens when you do subathons. People gotta make. No, I'm not like. You do you. You gotta hustle the way you see fit. But I, I don't like it personally. Cause like, for me, that kind of falls under the the notion of one thing I really don't like. Is when people hold like content hostage for money. Basically, like I won't do this unless I get money. I just don't like that. Like, it, 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 it's just, it rubs me the wrong way, is all. What is a subathon? It's basically like this thing where I'll play a game, and how long I play the game is determined by how many subs. So let's say I was, do, if I were to do like a Gundam subathon, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to stream for three hours, and for every sub, I'll add 15 minutes or something like that. Uh, so the idea is if you like the content, you have to actively be giving me more money for me to keep doing it. Um, I don't know. Personally, I'm of the opinion that if you if you give the people what they want, the, the money will follow usually. Okay. And, like I said, I don't really care if other people do it, but for me personally, that I wouldn't want to do that on my stream. I think that would be bad. Where's the other fucking... Huh, okay, hold on. Gunpla Builder stream? It's going alright. What's good, Dolan? Thank you for the 100 bits, J-Gun. You can't stop for another hour? Well, I'm probably gonna keep going. Baseline is a normal stream time? Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. That's just like my opinion, man. I'm just, at the end of the day, if I say something you don't disagree with, the one thing I'll ask you is keep in mind, I'm literally just like a fucking retard on the internet. Like, I have, I have the social grace and poise of a fucking ostrich. So, you shouldn't take anything I say too seriously. New Gundam Breaker game? I don't even know what that is, really. God. Um, now we need B2. At least it's not C2. It's tomorrow. It's been tomorrow for a couple hours for me. Oh, slice. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing it. I'm, 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 I'm doing it off cam again. I apologize. I'm doing okay about that. And I fucked it up again. are graceful as fuck. They stick their... Have you seen the ostrich do their mating dance? Hey, thanks for the $1 donation, Metal Breach. I appreciate it, homie. Thank you very much. Like, not, not their mating dance, but they do, like, this weird fucking dance when, like, their eggs are threatened or some shit. And it looks fucking weird. Hey, thank you for the seven months, Amara. I will, I will crumple you. Uh, if you're a tier four supporter on my Patreon... Model of Galf, it's the uh, Goof Custom. I still don't know which way to pronounce it. Sorry. Sick dance moves? Okay, I'm sorry. Right. Snip this wee little bastard off. Flop back and forth with their heads down. The only thing greater than that is when giraffes fight. That shit's pretty lit. They just stand next to each other like they're at a urinal. And then they just wallop each other. <laughs> just BAM! It's pretty fucking intense, honestly. Alright. So let's, let's look on what we got. Really quick. So you can see the progress of the, the bell bottoms. See, this is, this is an 80s mech. It's got nice-ass bell bottoms. It's gonna go to the fucking disco. 
probably gonna fornicate. Oh. Which risk do you play? I would never play the last three, dude. Like, old school in my mind is the the only uh, actual RuneScape. Mm -mm. Someone died from being headbanged by a giraffe recently, maybe. Okay, so now I need A19. Oh, my feet hurt. I'm getting old, fellow gamers. Before you know it, I'm gonna be on an, on streaming RuneScape going, Yahoo! <laughs> Fucking love that, dude. That old man is respectable. What? Alright, so there's this really old RuneScape streamer. Uh, his name's RS Glory and Gold. And he, he does this thing where sometimes he'll just go, Yahoo! And there's this fucking funny clip, but I don't really want to reenact it on stream because I don't want to get fucking banned. He's a funny guy. And thank you, Roy Kipler, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are ya? Tony? Yeah, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> like, people give him money to say shit. Like, uh... The frickin' chemical from the water turning the frogs gay. Yahoo! Or something that that's not I don't think he's actually said that, but that's just like an example. Okay. Fuck am I watching? This isn't dark so yeah, we're building a, a Gundam right now. We just put the black kneecap in to the legs. Why have hypers or poggers? Normie emotes. Ree! Now I know I'm gonna die alone. Nah, you're good. You chill. Don't worry about it. Wait, what the fuck? Where the hell is B1? Am I on the drug? Dude. Am I fucking high right now? Oh, you're white? Yeah. What the hell? Where did those pieces go? What the fuck? I'm really on drugs. Did I, did I use, like, a, a wrong piece at some point? I think so. Everything fits nicely. He's snug. Oh, shit. This little fucking... This little helmet cock fell off. Put that back in. Monster High School and Romance Cry. Okay. What's going on, Magic Function? Please never say that to me again. I'm going to have to ask you to stop. Wait, no, okay. I'm not high. I'm not high. I figured it out. Later, Roy. Okay. It's not one piece. It's two pieces Where's the marshmallow? She's sleeping right next to me. Doing Sith things, having Sith dreams. Alrighty. You can still be high and figure things out. Oh, no you can't. That's not how that works. What percent of chat is incel? What a great opening question. Probably like zero percent. Oh, what's good, Danny? <laughs> Percentage of chat is in cell. Christ. Mm -hmm. Sith you dreams. Oh, nice. Good shit, bro. All right. What percentage of chat is in cell, huh? <laughs> it's a bizarre question to ask. It's kind of funny. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait. What the fuck? Okay.
this is the leg, the thigh. People actually get banned on Dark Souls 3 for modding? I haven't. I've modded the fuck out of that game and I can still play. But your mileage may vary. What actually counts as a virginity protector? Look at this thing. Imagine bringing a woman over and having something like this on your mantle. Like, whereas most respectable people our age would have something like uh, like their bachelor's degree, their master's degree, their PhD. You know, maybe, maybe, like, a, maybe like an elk head or a moose head. If you had one of these, that's like, holy shit. That's bad. You never get the fuck that way. Alright, check this out. Okay. We got the bell bottom and now we're gonna we're gonna put the Air Jordan on. Look at that. Fucking excellence incarnate. Now we're gonna put the the, the thunder thigh. Look at that stout, manlit leg. Excellent. Now for the other one. I, oh. Oh. I actually need to finish the fucking thigh for the other part. Give me a second. Ever try to build a Gundam without the manual? No. Don't think I would. That would be annoying. Because you, you'd be able to do like 90% of it just fine. But there'd be, like, one small part you'd miss that needs to go into, like, the limbs or something that would make it completely inoperable. And that would be irritating. Like, it, it would kind of be a pain in the ass to tell where you need to put the joints in particular. Oh, uh, thanks for 500 bits, Magic Function. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. I'm just an asshole, though. I'm just a degenerate... And thank you for the 19 month resub falsion. The fuck is this? This is a Gundam stream. We're building Gundam models. Is excited for the DS1 remake? You should probably commit uh, frivolous, lucrid adultery. That's my recommendation. That's what CWC would say. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get in here. Okay, now what do I need? But I think it goes this way. Yeah, it can only go one possible way. So even if I get it wrong, I can just remediate it right quick. And then this should go here if I had to warrant my guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Have you rolled while building this Gundam? Once. All right. So now, check it out. We have to, we have to thigh. But I have a problem. A little little shit is at a terrible fucking angle to actually connect, so I have to get it with the with the nippers. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I want a fish tank, but they would all die for sure. Maybe. That's part of the experience, though. If you do enough research, you can get it to where I imagine most of your fish would survive on the first go, but having them dies is kind of part of the learning experience, as fucked up as it is. I don't like looking at it that way, but I don't think there are too many people who have just uh, gone completely without losing fish sticks. Okay. Now, what the fuck is this piece? Where the hell did this come from? I don't even understand like how they got this thing. Hold on. A fish one, but I got Oh yeah, it ran away. Wait two weeks before adding fish and do not add many fish at once. Yeah, pretty much. Mm mm. Fucking love Diet Coke. So wait, so for real, what the fuck is this piece? It doesn't label it. 
Did I did I make this at some point without realizing it? Do I have to make it? I haven't realized it. I seriously don't fucking know. I have no clue. I don't have the faintest fucking idea. Look up a guide online. <laughs> Come on, Jezel. Come on. King Jezel's a detractor. Here, see, it's right here, but it doesn't, it doesn't fucking say that this is the piece I need. You're gonna be full of preservatives. Nice. Show destructions. Lost a fish to ammonia like a noob. That's one way of putting it, I suppose. Never heard a uh, someone call themselves a noob at being an aquarium person, but you do you. I, I, this is it. Check this out, dogs. Check this out. So, we've got our little... This is this is basically his pelvis, right? Let's check this out. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look. Look at that. Look at that. All right. The awful advice. No, it's good advice. You just... I You dodged a bullet. Trust me. Look at these, look at the little manlet legs. Oh my god, is this is this guy for real? Is this guy for real? Who is this man? Oh my god, look at him, he's beautiful. Oh, but it's a boy. It's a boy. Isn't he adorable? Look at him. Just a little, a little... Thick motherfucker. We still gotta build the weapons, though. We still gotta build the weapons. We're not. We're not quite fit. Yep. Me IRL, fellow gamers. Okay. A15, B1, and C. <laughs> He's dead. He's fucking down for the count like Dracula's homies. All right. Stickers. There weren't actually stickers for this society. Like this is the sticker sheet that I had. Very good, right? Now we got a shield. Uh, uh, uh. Already falling over? Yeah. Now put him in the fish tank? That'd be really bad for the fish. I had to like thoroughly clean him if I were to do something like that. Wash his ass. Make sure to scrub in the cracks. One of my favorite songs is Smell Ya Dick. Have you guys ever heard that one? Why are you coming home? Five in the moan. Something's going on. Can I smell yo dick? Don't play me like a fool. Cause that ain't cool. Something's going on. Can I smell yo dick? Slipped up and leaned through the frame. Nope. Not yet. Right. Chop this up. Truly an instant classic. Ass, absolutely. Ass absolutely. Also, Jezel said he's not a detractor for anyone. That's true. Jezel's a nice dude. I like Jezel. Jezel's a homie. Chat? Dude. I'm on drugs. Model you making the fish tank? Nope. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Okay. Hey, what the fuck did I do wrong here? I want this. Let's go in. I'm so fucking confused right now. There we go. This is very fragile, I guess. Okay. Now, the part everyone's been waiting for. Look at this. Look at this fucking sword. Are you unlock skins IRL? Yes. Look at that. Nip 
keep it real good. Hold on. All right, look at this shit. Coming for your wife. It's like a fucking simmer. That's kind of dope. All right. So now what we gotta do is we gotta take his hand. Oh, what's good, nephew? And fuck, hold on. He's being difficult right now. He's not letting me open his hand up. Headphones that were broken, but I fixed them. Oh, nice, stupid shit. Look at this. Now his little hand. Okay, well, I'm, it's because I'm looking at the camera to make sure it can get it, Jail. Like, I'm not actually looking at the clippers. Now he's got a sword. Look at this man. Who is this guy? That's the BBC God Gene sword if I've ever seen it. Don't fall the fuck over. Don't do it. Why do they just, dude, in your lefty, have you? God, because it's fucking cool, okay? What are you talking about? Have you never seen that picture of the dude in the tank that has like a little uh, officer sword from like World War II? It's like, move closer, I want to hit them with my sword. Come on. Ooh. Ah, no. Oh. Yes, Neffy. Okay, so technical difficulties. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Mm mm mm. Let's bring him back up and put his hand back in. There we go. No. Nope. All right. We got to make him do an epic fucking pose. Check this shit out. This is the best part of building fucking Gundams is you can make him do hood rat shit with their friends. Oh, my God. Look at him. He, this is his uh, action pose where he's dodging a bullet. He's about to roll. He's about to fuck up and have to restart the boss because he rolled like a retard. Awesome. Okay. Where are the, where are the rest of my parts that I need? Yeah, need finish this one. We're stationary only? Nah, no, look at that, dog. Okay. Is that a Gundam to protect me? Is this white boy dancing? No. Also, white boys can dance. Come on. Have you seen me dance? I sat in the Tappy Trailer Park's public bathroom getting bits with my PC. That sounds like the plot of some fucked up web series. Tell me more. Okay. And I need C11. What's good out on series two? Just wait. Just wait. If you change the definition of fun. Alright. Take it easy. Damn, people don't like my Gundam stream. Fuck! Officially found the nerdiest you want to. No, fuck you, Mac Plays. That's some bullshit. You know what's nerdier than Gundams? Fucking DND. That shit. I will never understand. I will never in my life get DND. I've tried. It's not for lack of effort on my part. But DND, like, it's so bizarre to me that there are people who will just, like, watch people play DND. Like, just playing it seems boring as fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm here building Gundam, so I can't talk too much shit. I just don't get it. I really don't. 
Like, if you like it, I'm happy for you. I wish I did, too. I wish I did, too. But I have just, despite my best efforts, I cannot get into it. Okay, it's fun. We watch you do it, you fuck. But, yeah, but I'm fucking awesome. See? Like, that dude couldn't even handle my fucking swag. He's fucking dead now. Your imagination. It's not for lack of imagination. So, I have one D&D experience on Crystream. It was me and Amaz, and I, we, it, it was a bunch of stupid shit caused on my part that culminated in me having a penis fencing match with Amaz. So, you can't fault me on imagination. I just, it's when people take it too seriously, and it's like, I am a dwarven warrior, and I am quit my axe, and I hit you, and, and the left pectoral muscle it's like okay i don't know <laughs> i don't know man this is not for me it's not for me what's good skull candy because i just and then I, I don't know and then i feel like i don't take it seriously enough and so i ruin it for the people who do want to take it seriously you know like there's some people when you get really deep into the role playing shit and be like yeah man i put on my wizard robe and hat I'm just sitting here like, XD, dragon dildos. I'm like, what the fuck? They don't have that in the 17th edition of the rules. What are you talking about, Romeo? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. Alrighty. Bad dragon, you just deal damage? Yeah, they inter- and see, fucking cry. Like, I have a bone to pick with that son of a bitch. Because we, we were having our cock fencing duel, and I was about to kick a Maz in the motherfucking mouth. And in the dick. And then and then they, they intervened, and like, okay, fun's over. Like, wee, 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 wee. Fucking fun police. Shit's just wrong. It's fucked, man. How the fuck do I get this in? Oh, it's this way. Okay. Oh, what's going on, Lee? Yeah, he's dead. He died. He was thinking about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and then he was devoured wholesale. Look, look at this gat. Look at this shit. This is why I got to smack this. Because I fucking love Gatling guns. And look at this. This is a quality Gatling gun. Explode a monster's dick? No, I tried to, but I failed the roll. And I was going to do it next turn instead. Alrighty. Um. I mean, C20 and this. Look. They have an entire fucking singular thing for the magazine of this gun. That's kind of weird, actually. Attacking Russ Jr. All no, I mean, Russ Jr. is my boy. This feeling adversarial because people have been mean to me. I'm like, I'm going to make a Gundam stream. It's going to be the best fucking thing. It's going to be an aquarium. It's going to be a fucking dog. If you like those, build the PG Gundam. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that fucking box. Look at that fucking box. I can't even fit it in the camera. You want to see the box for this little, this little fucker? Five foot ten versus six foot.
Alright. Ever get into Zords? I had Zords as a kid. Oh. And see, look at this. This is how big the fucking box is. Like, it's, it's gigantic. This thing's... And another thing, look how thick it is, too. It's not just a big box, it's also thick. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Thank you for putting moon cuddles in the cuck shed. King Jezzel, I appreciate it, dog. That thing is gonna take 20 hours to build, at least. Especially if I get the LEDs. Oh, all right. What the fuck was I doing? We're gonna put Okay, okay, I see. I see. Spike launch on their forehead? Nice. Paint some Warhammer? I don't like painting, though. I'm too messy. Alright, now we got the magazine in there, too. The magazine! Now we need C20, and I think that's the last piece for this particular virginity protector. Ow. Hit myself. How much was that? Like 200? How's the stream going? What's good, Daring Destiny? It's alright. It's chilling. How good the stream is basically depends on how much people like it. You know the rules. Even if I were to theoretically have fun, if stream chat did not like it, then it was a objectively shit stream. Okay. Like your fish, they have names. Seven of them are named Jimothy. I have a shrimp that I got today. Um, his name's Shrimpathy. This fish right here, the blue garami, is Fat Princess. Um, that's pretty. And I have a I have a pleco named Cockfuck, and I have a Weatherloach who's been conspicuously absent today. I wonder what the fuck he's doing. Uh, and the Weatherloach's name is Gobbler. trying to, to brain that my way out of this there we go okay so now what we're gonna do is drugs lots and lots of drugs okay so there's a way to attach the shield but I haven't figured it out yet Now this is a shield. It's the Gatling gun combined with the uh, actual shield and shit. All right, so now we get to attach it. Put that bitch on. I don't think I can with the little rocket launcher. I think I have to. Wait. Can I hold on? Can he have the rocket launcher and the Gatling gun at the same time? That would be fucking wild if he could. Oh yeah, he can. It, it apparently all turns into one piece. What's going on, Dojin? How are you? There we go. Look at this shit. Look at that fucking gun. Is that excessive or what? So now he could be... He could be ready to fuck. He's ready to jump in jacks at AGDQ. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right? That's our first fucking Gundam. Whew. Now we need to make him do an epic, sick, nasty pose. Hold on. We need to give it golden monkey stance. Thank you for the resub, interested scoop. Probably giving me any money is too much money, but I appreciate it, man. All right, ladies, be careful. I'm. A, this stream is gonna. If if you if your boyfriend sees this shit, he's gonna buy a virginity protector, and you're out of a job. Hey, Seth, who's a good girl? Who needs some kisses? Who needs some kisses? Hey, babies, who's a good girl? Who's a good little doggy who likes the marshmallows? Is it you? 
is in me. Who's a good girl? Ah, oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the smooches, babies. Oh. Who's a good girl? Who's a good little baby? Bark with me if you're my dog. <laughs> Those weren't barks. Fuck. Hey, you need some. What do you want? What's your problem? You want to go outside? You want to go on an adventure? You want to go looking for, for snackies? Her ears perked up when I said that. Who's a good girl? Who's a good little doggy who likes the marshmallows? Is he you? Show them your nose. Show them your nose. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. I almost leaned too far forward. I almost fucked up. I almost did. I almost made a mistake. Come on. You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? Oh shit, you're taking the underground pass. I didn't know your agility was high enough for that, Sith. Hey, who's a good girl? Who's a good dog? Come here. They want to see you, Sif. They want to see you, puppy. Hey, who's your good girl? Who's your good little doggy? Is it you? Ah, it is. It is. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, who's your good puppy? Who's your good little doggy? Thank you for the resub, Lloyd. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Look at this, Sif. Look at the sif. Arr. Arr. Hey. <laughs> Fuck. Golden monkey stance is ruined. Arr. And Gaben, not me. Alright. Fuck you, Lloyd. Thank you, Gaben. Arr. You like your chest squishies. Alright. We're gonna go to the bathroom and then we'll decide what's, what's fucking going on.
Okay, hello fellow gamers. Thank you, Sif, for that. So, we're at an impasse. We have another one we can build. We have this one. It's significantly more complicated. Purchase a lot of magic to gathering cards. Oh, nice, dude. Good shit. I think I'm good, though. I got extreme virginity protector technology. Here's the thing. All right, all right. Let's talk for a second. Hold on. Hold on. Everyone calm down. I do not think I'm going to be able to finish this tonight. If this thing, if this little baby dick thing took like four hours, <laughs> we're, we're only going to be able to get, sorry, my chair got stuck. We're only going to be able to get partially uh, through that one. So maybe you can do like the upper half and do the legs next time. Because I want to stream tomorrow afternoon. So I'm not going to be able to stream at night because Christ streaming. I want to uh, I want to have a day stream tomorrow. So I don't want to stay up too late and be fucked. Alright, let me put all this away. And clean it up. Sorry. Alright. So let's just put this little dude over here. He loves the fish. He's like, yeah, fucking fish sticks. He's gonna get knocked over. I'm pretty sure we can all see that, Kelman. Alright, let me get the box for this one and throw all this. Like, look at this fucking chunk of plastic. Like, look at this shit. That's why the oceans are bad. Fish can't burn problems. Alright. What's in the jar? Oh, that's my tea. Dude, look, look at how much ice I use. This is why I complain when my ice machine is broken because this is this is peak performance for me. This is this is how I, I prefer my drinks. I can't stand it if there's less ice than that. I get pissed. Are those fingers? Yeah, these are my fingers. You like them? My my yaoi hands. All right, so. Hello, fellow gamers. This is a master grader. All right, so let me explain. This right here is a high grade model, which is basically the introductory model. It's the easiest one to make, it's the least complicated, and it's small. Uh, the box is very small, but it, the, the master grade should be about yay tall. About this high, if I had to warn a guess. It depends, it varies, but typically they're around as tall as where my hand is right now. Uh, master grades are like twice as expensive and a lot more complicated. Then there's another one called perfect grades, which are really, really fucking expensive in comparison. This over here, turn the camera, that one right there is a perfect grade. That He looks a little bit small because he's far away, but he's like as tall as four of the little ones. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much Gundam models. Okay. So I need to take all the shrink wrap off of this and then... Oh, all right. What about real grades? Real grades are the same size as this little blue dude, but they're a lot more complicated. Um, they're, they're like master grades and high grades mixed. So if you if you want something that's pretty, pretty small but still reasonably complicated, real grades are good. All right, so let's look at what we got here. Like You can already tell this is a lot more plastic than the last one. Um, so you got, you got over here, look at, you got multiple sticker sheets going on compared to the two, of the two stickers of the last one. So, real flimsy, yeah, I have the real grade, uh, Sinanju. Thing's a piece of shit. That <laughs> thing, it, it, it looks amazing, but it's like the most fragile shit in the world. Okay. So, I, I, I have to open all of these, and, alright, so let me show you the stickers really quick. Give me a second. Require glue. No, only really old ones would. Like, that's more of an age thing rather than a grade thing. I don't think any any of them made today typically require that shit. Alright, so. Here we go. Um, we have the regular foil stickers, which are basically the eyeballs and shit. Like, those are, those are typically for, like, the scopes of guns. You can see the little mask over there, the little bandito mask. Um, these... 
right here are the dry rub decals that I was talking about earlier. For you to put these on the Gundam, you have to tape them onto a part and then they get like a penny and scratch them off. And it, tra it transfers the decal onto the surface you scratch it. Um, these are the worst ones. These are the most irritating fucking decals to do, for sure. Without a shadow of a doubt. They're not the most complicated, but they're the most irritating. Because if you fuck it up, you don't get second chances. Um, I'm pretty sure these are just regular, regular sticker decals. But as you can see, there's quite a few of them in comparison. You see all those segmented bars? Those are individual stickers that go on the certain parts. Um, so let me, let me get the instruction manual to kind of show you how much of an ordeal this shit can be. Because typically with the Master Grade ones... You have like this, this decal directionary thing at the, at the back. Like you see, you, look at this shit. Like it shows you where all the different stickers go, and it's all in Japanese. So you have to match the Japanese character to the uh, the right part. So it can be a lot of fucking work. The master grades can take for fucking ever, and very frequently, like the decals and shit take longer than building the goddamn thing. So, it, it's, a, it's a handful. It's a handful. Mm. Alright, let's open this shit. And honestly, this is one of the smaller Master Grades, it looks like. There are not that many runners of plastic compared to, like, a Vertica. Okay. Do you ever do panel lining? Sometimes. I don't think I do it on stream, though. I don't think I'd do any, like, decals or anything on screen, because that just gets... That would be something I would need an actual camera to where you can see what I'm doing all the time, because there's no visible progress, really. Okay. So let me open all these bags, and we will begin the jiggling. Sorry, it's, it's noisy. I apologize, but I have to take all this shit out. This is the last one. Okay. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen runners of plastic for this one. Okay. See this they have one just for the fucking gun. Like all of these pieces are solely for the gun. How's it been coming along? Well, we just finished the first one, and I don't think we're going to finish, but we're going to start the second one. Alright. So, this is a, uh, this is a master grade. Look at my ratio, dog. What are you, what, what the fuck is this? Hold on. I have school in four weeks. Oh, you got four. Oh, nice. See, I, I respect that about you. That, that's actually probably the most respectable thing I've seen from you, pretty much ever. I still don't see my goddamn shrimp. He's just he's sleeping, I guess. He's probably on the backside of the uh, giant coral thing. Oh. Okay. Shrimp? Yeah, I got a vampire shrimp today for my fish tank. It's very thick. Alright. So. We need... A lot of E parts. Alright, so I need to... Now, this is one of the things, is when you when you get to the bigger models, at, they, they order these alphabetically. So the very first runner will be A, then there's B, C, sometimes there's B1, B2 for, like, uh, symmetrical parts like arms and legs. Um, the more complicated the model you're building, the more irritating organizing all of this shit can be. Like, the Banshee in there, I'm pretty sure that has something along the lines of 40 runners in it. Um, like, the big box I showed you. So that would be an, a, a fucking ridiculous undertaking if I were to do that on stream. That would be, like, several streams in a row to complete that. And, yeah. As you can see, too, when you get to these uh, higher grades... The runners are also more complicated in general. There's more parts and there's more shit going on. So it's not like, like for example, like compare these two. Like you can see how big a lot of the parts were in here. And in this one, there's a lot more uh, delicate, tinier pieces, I guess. 
Because there's more parts on, like, a leg. Like, there's different separate parts for the armors and shit. Okay. So, without further ado, let's find, let's find E. Oh, that was easy. Okay. So, one of the things, Master Grades, is they usually have an interior frame, which is basically the skeleton, and it's all gray, and it's like the mechanical shit, like the, the joints, etc. And you can, you can often make an entire robot out of the gray shit, and you can have like a skeleton with no armor whatsoever on it. Uh, that's not usually the case with these little dudes. Um... So it gives them more articulation, they can move around more, yada yada yada. It just makes it it's a better product. Um, but if you want something like that with a mech this small, the real grades, the RGs, uh, have that. They have the internal frame is what they call it. What's the knife for? Alright, so when you when you cut these off, when you take the nippers and cut all of these out. Sometimes you'll have like a little stump left from where it was attached and sometimes the nippers will not give you a close enough cut to get all of it. So you take the X-Acto knife to kind of like shave the rest of it off sometimes. It depends. You don't always need it. Like I didn't need it for the one I just did. But if you're doing one that's like a bigger project and depending on the colors and how noticeable the little marks would be, you want to be doing that. Aww. Have circuitry and lights. Yeah, like the Banshee, you can get an LED kit and you can get it all lit up and shit. It's supposedly a big pain in the ass and I've never done it before, so I'm eager to try it. Okay, I think that's enough, uh, enough technical talk. I just want to make sure that if there are actually people interested in the robots themselves, that I, I do at least a half-ass job at explaining what the hell is happening. So we need 17, 18, and 7. Um, I can't fucking see. Like, the gray ones are the worst for me because I have a lot of trouble seeing the, uh, the numbers. Okay. So let me clip this out. And I'll do the, I'll do the head last for a modder. I'll do the body, the legs, the arms, and the head. That's how I usually do it. Well, thank you, Tam, man. I will send you Zoids to build on stream. You don't have to send me shit. I, I have several things that I can build. Like, I have a... I have a... Big-ass... Phoenix. It's not as big as the... It's not a perfect grade, like the big box, but it's one of the bigger master grades, and it's it's got, like, this... Gold plating to it, and it looks really nice. It's really shiny. It looks really fucking cool. Um, so maybe I'll do that one on stream at some point. So now I need 18 and 17. So, like I was saying earlier, this is the first time I've done something like this. Let me move this box, actually. This box is kind of fucking in the way. I'm going to put the stickers and shit in it, though. Um, so I apologize if the stream's been shitty, like, with responding to chat and whatnot. Um, because now, now instead of playing games, I actually have to, like, cut things out and put them together properly and I have to it's just a little overwhelming when I opened the box I gave up I don't know I like this this is like therapeutic for me this is I've always liked building things but I have no actual talent so I can't build like a house or like any anything from scratch I have to like do this sort of thing plated Gundams yeah the nubs are a pain in the ass for sure but I I'm eager to try it because it's, for someone like me who doesn't typically paint the finished project, or I keep saying project instead of product, um, usually looks pretty nice. Okay. Is it better than when you're playing games, TBH? Well, it's like I'm saying, Jail, I know you give me shit for closing the chat, but the thing is, it's gotten to a point, like, let's say, um, good example would be Hollow Knight when we were playing last night. I, I was fighting the Soul Tyrant, which to my understanding, maybe people will disagree, but I don't think you're supposed to fight it with, like, no fucking upgrades. It's supposed to be a, a more difficult boss. Like, if I'm... If it's late in the stream like that, and chat's not really popping, they're not talking a lot, I might as well just get it over with, you know? Like, start focusing on the fight, so we can get past the obstacle as quickly as possible. I don't know. Clearly it was impossible without upgrades. Yeah, 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 absolutely. 
We're doing the MG. Yeah, we're we're on the Buster Gundam now. What's good, early crowd? Virginia resistance depends on how expensive it, it is. Alright. Love Legos. We ever into that shit? Yeah, I had a lot of Legos. But I would always, uh... Always break the sets I got and make my own shit with them. It used to piss my dad off. Because he'd buy me, like, really good Lego sets. Like, he bought me the... I think it was pretty much, like, the first really big dick Star Wars Lego set. It was, like, the Blockade Runner from Star Wars. And we took forever building that son of a bitch. I'm like, I want to break it and make my own thing out of it. Because, you know, I'm a fucking kid, and I think my creations are better than, like, the, the expertly designed Blockade Runner or whatever the shit. Um, it's just more fun that way. And my dad would backseat game me and tell me, No, dude, you can't do that. Fuck you. And I'd turn chat off and ignore him and do it anyway. Right now, this is this is the first part of the chest, and we're going to, uh, I don't know what the fuck this is, but we're going to slap this son of a bitch right in. Let me make sure I've got the right side. Yeah, we're going to pop that in. I think that's supposed to be the beginning of the waist or something, I'm not really sure. Little actual swords out of flat Legos. I remember trying to make like bipedal robots with Legos was a pain in the ass. Dad's always backseating in life too. Yeah, I never thought I'd miss it. I remember he used to always give me uh, unsolicited advice all the time. He was always really supportive, but he was also uh, he was also always trying to light a fire under my ass. I never thought I'd miss it. But. You know. Kinda do. Sorta. Of. Hello, Pop Pat Baby Maker. What's good, dog? I oh shit. Okay. And hello, Nemesis. We're building Gundam models right now. Did you ever build Bionicles? Of course I did. I remember I got fucking epic memed by my dad, actually, because like my dad would always try to do nice things for me. And this this story I'm about to tell is of no fault of his. Um, but basically what happened is he, he worked for, like, a military commissary, and for whatever fucking reason, they were doing, like, Bionicles or some shit. They had a toy section. And the second generation of Bionicles came out. I was, like, fucking ecstatic as a child to get my hands on those. And so my dad got me some of them before they were released to the public. And it turns out they were just, like, the first generation Bionicles put in, like, the box for the second. And I was so disappointed. I was like, God damn. Damn it. How many... Do you any Gundam anime? I only watch Double O. Um, I'm not a big anime fan, personally. I just like giant fucking robots. They have to be fornicating. The robots... It's, it's mandatory for them to be fornicating for me. Alright. I remember... They used to have, like, these alien sets for Legos like these UFOs and shit and I love that I miss Legos part of me wants to go to uh, go and like get something like the big ass Star Destroyer or whatever the fuck like, whatever the latest new uh, epic Lego set is but they're so fucking expensive like I personally think the the little Gundam models look cooler. Maybe maybe not like the little baby dick ones like that. Some of the nicer ones that are closer to like a hundred dollars, they can look really fucking good. Especially if you put effort in and like fucking paint them, or panel line them, yada yada yada. And they probably also take longer to do than fucking Legos. So I don't know. Six of the OG Bionicles for Christmas once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those were the days, right? Okay, so now I have... I'm putting, like, the arm slots in, basically. I can hear my golden retriever, like, tap dancing down, and, like, doing the river dance or some shit. <laughs> Usually I have headphones on when I stream, and they're kind of... They're, they're maybe not fully noise-canceling, but it's hard to hear anything else with those headphones on, so I'm hearing all these, like household noises that normally I would never have to listen to when it's weird. Alright, so we got the little the little pegs for the arms and shit. Warhammer? I've never done Warhammer. Alright. 
Oh, what's going on, milk tits a lot? Now we need E3. We need the electronic artex position or whatever the fuck. I don't even know what it stands for. Fucking more more like uh more like more like shit three because no good games are ever fucking shown in that that shit show of an exposition. What do you guys think is gonna be announced at E3 that's worth a fuck? Your shrimp sleeping? I don't know what the fuck he's doing. That's supposedly nocturnal. He's probably out fucking shrimp bitches. I have no clue what that wee little bastard is doing. He's my first invertebrate that I've ever had in my fish tank. These gudgeons are weird. I haven't seen these too much, so I'm, I'm curious and I'm looking at them because they hide. They're, they're really little fish. I have one that's like kind of fucking with the rocks at the bottom of the tank. I don't know what he's trying to do. I'm worried about those, though. I So, if you don't know the story, I essentially, uh... I tried ordering fish on the internet for the first time, and they got here today. I got three peacock gudgeons and a vampire shrimp. And the three gudgeons are really small. And so I was worried that maybe the other fish would pick on them. Because the tetras I have are kind of large, and... Fat Princess is fucking huge. If Fat Princess really wanted to, she could probably eat them. Um, but Fat Princess, like, swam right by him and done nothing, so... I don't know, and they spend most of the time hiding. Alright. A lot of Switch games. Oh, ow, ow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe the Shadows Don't Die Twice thing? I'm... I wonder how many people in my stream now are, like, super from soft junkies. There was a point in time where, like, pretty much everyone was, but I think it's probably different now. And uh, honestly, for me, I can't really say that I'm, I, I re I'm holding out any sort of hope for Shadows Die Twice. Maybe it'll be cool. Like, it's a might-be-cool sort of thing, but I'm not really holding my breath. Because I'm, I'm kind of worried that they're going to stray too far. Like, I'm sure whatever they do will be good. It's from Soft. I like Armor Core, too, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so this is J. It's another... It's, it's kind of like... No, it's, it's gray. It's gray. Mm, here comes the hate. No, that's good. That's good. We we have, like, an alternative section of the Souls community. At least I did when I, when I streamed that nonstop. Is because me... And a lot of the people I would associate with streamer-wise were not, like, huge fans of Dark Souls 1. Like, a lot of people in Space Camp, which is my stream team uh, that I made, are, like, they fucking think Dark Souls 2 is better than Dark Souls 1. So that's not really a, a strange opinion here, honestly. I flip-flop back and forth. I really, I really can't tell you which one I like more out of the two. It really depends on my mood that day, I guess. Okay, I'm... Having trouble seeing what's going on here. Okay. Wait, hold on. Did I miss something? Alright, making sure. See, chat's, chat's slowing down to how it normally is, so I can actually keep up with everything for the most part. Alright. They need to squint at these fucking directions, but I need to bring them to my face instead of leaning forward so I don't accidentally reveal myself. This one goes on here like this. Yeah, that seems right. That's weird. Mm. Manlet hands and fish tank? Manlet hands? Come on. I have... Which one is it? Is it manlet hands or yaoi hands? Hello, Chattel Man. What's good, dog? Later, uh, Kronos. What's the largest Gundam model you've built? That one right there, the Red Astray, PG. That is, I, it's not the largest one I have. I have the PG Banshee. I just have not built that one yet, so. I think the PG Banshee is at least a solid inch or two higher than the Red Astray, from what I understand. It's like twice as big of a fucking box, so. All right. Rainbow. Rotate it a little bit farther up. I apologize for moving the camera around so much. Okay. What's good, B? Fluid druid hands? Oh, come on, Tim. What the fuck? 
This is bullshit. I'm just, I'm, even Tim's like dogpiling on me. Fucking yaoi hands. Say hi, sister. Star I know, I know. Amanda actually was like, why don't you fucking say hi to me? But, and I missed her because chat was too lit earlier. I, I miss so many people, but sometimes she thinks that I like personally ignore her or something, I guess. It is, it is something. You win this time, be Shota hands. You building Gundams all weekend? No, no. Tomorrow I'm probably going to do that, that stupid fucking game I was telling you about. Uh, God, what is it called? It's called like Wrong World or some shit. It looks like an asinine game for retards, basically. Uh, so perfect for me. I am I am the target demographic for that one. What model are you building? Right now we're doing Buster Gundam. Play piano? Nope. Apparently something's wrong with my camera and it's it's making things look wider than they appear. So my hands apparent my hands are not as long as they appear on stream, I think. The Gatling guns? Yeah, but it, it has cooler fucking colors. I just get I get so sick of white. Like white's dope, don't get me wrong. Like I'm person like look at look, I mean look at me. I'm fucking white, but just so many of them are like the same color palette, you know, like white, red, blue, white, red, blue, and so it's nice to have something darker, you know, some, like once, once you, once you go a deep shade of blue, your whole world view is new, you know, this is a saying they say in some communities, I'm just, I'm just saying. You can you can tell my wit is about as sharp as a fucking hammer, huh? <laughs> Christ. All right. Where the fuck is L? God damn it. This is J. Yeah, this is like a very weird shade of green, I guess. Is there a black red Gundam? Oh yeah, I have I have one. It's it's called Gundam Epion. Um. Dude, okay, I'm gonna show you my biggest dick gun to model, all right? Hold on to your fucking wieners, okay? Check this shit out. Like, this is this is the god gene Gundam. I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. What the fuck was that noise? All right, all right check it out, check it out. Oh, oh. Don't worry, don't worry. It's supposed to make that noise when I take it off the shelf. My room is like uh, impossible to navigate. All right, all right. There he is. Look at look at him. Look here. Listen. Look at this fucking Gundam. Look at him. What a fucking god. Oh, a <clears throat> little monkey face. Oh, what's good, Silver? It's so weird to me that people watch these fucking streams. <laughs> like, I wasn't really sure what I was expecting, but I wasn't really expecting too many people to pop in here for fucking Gundam building. I really guess it, I guess I really can do whatever the fuck I want at this point. Uh, Maroonscape stream next. Watching the aquarium. Fair enough. We put his little neck thing on. What the fuck is going on? Oh, what's good, dude? So, now I need G. Where the fuck is G? I feel like I've had that at some point. This is J. So, this is my main thing with Master Grades. I'm gonna be like, where the fuck is this? Where the fuck is that? Like, non-stop. Like, fuck, 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 and fuck, and fuck, fuck, and fuck, and fuck, and fuck, and fuck. Okay, so now we need A and B. Oh my god. Okay. Thought you were going to bed? No, I never said that. Jang just half a monkey? Yeah, he's chilling. Do a stream on sex education? You know I can't do that, Lise. And the only the only thing I know about sex is from DeviantArt. Alright, so we're gonna get the orange piece now. The first of the um, 
10. Carve. Let's chop this little bastard out. Mozzarella, white hands, and more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Um, I told you I'm a fucking glue stick. Um, my sister is significantly more pale than me, if you can believe it. I, I kind of look tan next to my sister. I don't know what it, like, okay. I hope this isn't sexist. But is there, like, any sort of science behind women being more pale than men? Because I, I feel like... I feel like women are typically more pale than men. Thank you for the bits, cry bro. Play RuneScape? Nice. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just... Just kidding, I don't know any women. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What is this sorcery? I don't fucking understand this one. Is it supposed to jiggle like that? Like, look, it's on, but it's not. It doesn't really look fastened, right? So it's like. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it. Oh, is that it? I don't know. Cause like sometimes the side armor is movable on these because they're supposed to like be able to turn sideways like da 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 um i don't fucking know it doesn't look like there's anything that would let me secure it though did i miss a step or something Kind of, well, we'll just leave it like that and see how it goes. I don't know. It was poor circulation. Female fairness is all part of the feminist agenda. Nice. Nice. Those wily females. Also, is the is the banging of plastic really annoying? Like, is it bad? Other pieces you put on. That's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. Like, I always, I always am worried to do that because I might fuck it up and have to take it apart and it'll be, like, virtually impossible to do so at that point. Okay, nah, all right. If there's, if there's any problem, feel free to let me know, and if it's reasonable, I will do my best to fix it. I always thought you were black. No. That, that boggles my mind. Like, what kind of black person sounds like my stupid ass? I, I sound like a, a nasally pale white dude. What's going on, Aberex? I hear a lot of ambient noise. It's surprising, because they got the aquarium and the AC going, so... Probably because the mic is far away. I think that actually ended up being uh, beneficial. Okay, so now we need J. Michael Bergen and J. Foster. Alright, so let's do six. This seems to be a really straightforward build so far. Like we're already doing the outer armor on the chest. It doesn't have that much of an internal frame compared to some others. That's the thing, even even between grades, there's a lot of variation in how like complicated they can be. Like, there are some that are just going to make you fucking cry, and then there are others that are really simple. Right. Let me see. Okay. What's going on, Apolly? This is where I actually need to, to use the exacto to get the knobs. Because this is, I, I, I try to make the master grades look good, because I want to put, like, the decals and shit on this one. So here, let me let me try to show you why I, why I do that. If you look really, will the camera focus? No, the camera won't focus enough. It's basically like there's these small little spots that stick out it when they're uh, parallel to other pieces. So you do your best to to fix that. Okay, with the exact. Nearly 10 a.m. Should I do a bunch of drugs? Yeah. Need high dexterity. It depends on the decal, honestly. 
Um, like, the water slides actually, despite how complicated they can be, they have a lot of room for fucking up. So. Really, the worst ones are just the regular fucking stickers. I hate those shits. Right. I'm trying to get this one on. Oh, fuck. What the hell is that? It scared the shit out of me, actually. I thought a cucaracha was coming to eat me. Based in Cali, me? No, I'm, I'm in Texas. That's what you're asking. I'm not sure. Can't hear the aquarium rumble because of my own aquariums? Oh, no, I saw it. Thank you, uh, Channel Man. What the fuck? Did you level Dex? Nope. You have a streaming schedule somewhere? Mm -hmm. That sounded bad, but that's what was supposed to happen. Now that I put that in, it locked the orange part in place. Um, so, typically, when I stream, I stream anywhere from 10 to 12 p.m. Central U.S. time. I stream most weekdays. I, I think this is my fifth stream in a row. Tomorrow, if I wake up, I don't know how I'm gonna be, how long I'm going to be going with this Gundam shit, but I want to do one at 5 Central U.S. time, roughly, for Wrong World, because I can't really stream during the weekends because, uh, or not, not the weekends, but uh, during... Saturday, because cry stream. So I I don't typically stream at night. So Saturday I try to stream during the day. What's good, Jans? Alright. If I wake up, yeah, I got I got I gotta manage to wake my ass up, dude. You know? Okay, this one's about to fall off. Okay. So now I need eleven and ten off of this little this little cream one. Fuck, cry. That's not very nice. It just, it just it's always felt kind of pointless because there's so much overlap between the people who watch like me and cry to be streaming during his shit. Like, like who would who re, who would actually watch that? Me over internet sensation cry Fucking no one. doesn't want to go in, huh? I have to... I have to, like, wrangle this one. God damn. Oh, no, no, no. No. I think portals. Okay. Dual Gundam building poor favor? What? Excuse me? You talking shit? Oh, what's going on, Tall Timber? Long time no see, dude. How you been? Okay. Goof Cuzzy. Yeah, the Goof Custom. Now we're doing the Buster Gundam with the BBC Man Bingo Gun. One of my personal favorite types of gun. Alright. Brooke Jiggles? I don't think Amanda would like that. Fucking Brooke Jiggles. I'd rather have Amanda. Where's the exact doll? Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. What's good, Katuna? How are you doing, man? So, who, what kind of plans do you guys have for the weekend? Anyone doing any exciting shit? Gun One Piece? No, no. The, nothing's ever in One Piece for these pop that book. The gun has its own runner of shit. Like, all of this is for the gun. I actually think there's two guns that combine into a bigger one. So, at least that's what it looked like on the box art. Sleep? Playing DS2. Sitting in my fucking computer? Oh, nice. Cocaine in the side bay? Fly flying a plane all by myself. That's pretty fucking so this is what we got of the chest piece right now. See, it's hard to tell, but most of the top part is like a dark green compared to the gray. So that's actually like the armor there. It's mostly, maybe not mostly, but we're, we're closer to finishing the chest than you might think. Just mountains of plastic. MDMA and King of Tokyo going to watch the royal wedding. Woo! I forget that you're from that part of the country sometimes, Matrix. 
I don't know. Does, does it make me a reprehensible human cur, like a subhuman, to not care about the royal wedding? If you were to live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would like to live in Belize. Belize would be really nice because it's so close to the ocean, but it's not like... It's not like in any particular disaster zones that I'm aware of. Because part of me just wants to swim with whale sharks and shit. This means you're an American? Well, I feel like if I were to be British or whatever the fuck, I wouldn't care either. Like, wedding? Do you know how boring weddings are? That shit is suffering incarnate as far as I'm concerned. So now I'm having another fucky wucky moment. I don't know. Now this gap's not supposed to be here, so what gives? Are these not in fully? Oh, okay. I, I missed a stat like a fucking asshole. Okay. Whew! Okay. I need number two because basically I was trying to put this part in to the back without putting the cap in. The little little socket piece. So that was a, uh, an episode of being a big retard for me. All right, so now we're gonna we at the back of the robot. And we're gonna snap that respectable female on. Maybe really does not want to cooperate too much with me right now. I get stuck on something. Cause you see, there's like this little gap in between the green armor parts, but I can't figure out what's causing it. What's good, Cervic? Build faster? No, I like taking my time. Taking my time is dope. Yeah, like, you're talking to someone who has fallen back into a minor RuneScape addiction. So, like, my time is not valuable. Okay. Doing chastity belts? Absolutely. Build faster? I, right, I... Right. I think I got it this time. What the fuck? Okay. That was weird. I think I gotta take the armor off. Yeah, like, for, for some fucking reason. The, uh, this part came off. Why that is, I'm not entirely sure. That snap sounded bad, huh? Fucking breaking shit. I can stay in bed and watch the stream or I can wrap birthday gifts. You should probably wrap your birthday gifts. That sounds way more respectable than watching my stupid ass. Okay. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure why that happened. That was kind of uh what 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 would, what would a kawaii anime girl say? That was a fucko boingo. Yeah, that's what a kawaii anime girl would say. A, a little wife. There we go. Now we got it. There's no more. There's no more seam. There's no more gap. We've got a decent chunk of the chest piece. Oh, all right. So now we need L and J. We have L right here. So let's do this. We need one and two. That's easy. Okay. Let's snippity snap this. These are little pieces. These are. These are basically like little detail plates that go on the chest, I think. Yeah, yeah. You see, you see how there's like indentations right there, the little lit up part? It goes right in there to give it some more detail in the chest. Okay. All right. Uptime about five-ish hours. Let me cut the other one out. Gundam has beautiful tits. Oh, absolutely. A magnificent man, ma'am. Very interesting weekend, it seems. And this has got a bully snake. Anybody uses tweezers for placing decals on model? Oh, yeah, I do that. No, no, I, I don't use tweezers. I actually... You know what I use? I use these. It's like the most unoptimal way of doing it, but I I get the uh, I get the sticker by like kind of 
sticking it with this, like going under. And I have like the edge of it hanging off here and I place it and then it's uh I don't know it, it's not optimal I, I'm the only person I know that does it with the fucking the clippers or the nippers or whatever the shit no no non sequitur like dude seriously like look at this son of a bitch look at that giant fucking robot that thing has all of its decals on uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I did all of that with the method, and I didn't fuck any of the stickers up. So it's fairly reliable. It's like a retarded method, but I perfected the retarded method. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I've done that stupid shit for so long that it's actually viable. What fishies do you have? I have Ghost Catfish, Serpe, Tetra, Clown Pleco, a Weather Loach... I have Peacock Gudgeons, a Blue Garami, and a Vampire Shrimp. Nail Clippers, exactly. That's why I bite my fucking nails like a goddamn Neanderthal. Is that a personal jab at me? Fuck you. Fuck you and tricycle you rode in on. Vampire Shrimp, they're actually really... Really, uh... Really passive. Weather Loach, yeah, Golden Dojo Loach, Weather Loach. Uh, same shit, different pile, I suppose. His name's Gobbler. He's probably my favorite fish. Uh, I, I taught him how to eat out of my hand. Taught him, I see. He, he's used to eating out of my hand. I, I think that's kind of cool. Okay. Favorite grade to build? Mm, I'm not sure, because I've only done one perfect grade. I guess I like perfect grade just because I like building big shit. It's just they're kind of prohibitively expensive. Mm. Kits that require painting? You No, you, people paint shit like that. Like You can, you can paint this. Um, a lot of people do. Um, so painting isn't usually required, but... A lot of people do it just because it looks a lot better if you paint it. Like, what a lot of people do is they get, like, a higher quality paint for, like, the same colors. So they get, like, sky blue paint for this thing, and they'd, they'd paint him up. And so it would have the same general look, but it would look a lot cooler. It would look a lot sharper if you did it right. And some people do weathering, so they make it look like it's sustained combat damage, etc. Hmm. No, I didn't finish Hollow Knight. I, this is just the Friday stream. Okay. I'm gonna pop my fingers. Sorry. Alrighty. Um, what perfect grade would you want if it's not for sale right now? Um, see, that's a fucking loaded question. Cause ideally, if I if I could just say I want whatever perfect grade I want, and I could get any uh, regardless of price, I would say the PG Phoenix. But that thing's like close to a thousand dollars, I think, because it's like gold plated and shit. <laughs> but that one would be pretty cool. But I don't think anyone should ever spend that amount of money on a fucking robot. Not one robot. Um, because you could buy like all of the other perfect grades for the price of that one. So I guess if that was not, if I couldn't pick the PG Phoenix. I, I have the Banshee. The Banshee and the Red Estrella are the ones I want. I have both of them, but I haven't built the Banshee. I guess the Double O Razor. Because I really like the Double O gun. And I just heard the PG4 was not the best in the world. Like, it's older and it's not really... It's not really lit. Okay. So now I need... Eight. And the thing is, too, like, the PGs are kind of stressful because if you fuck up and, like, break an important part, that's, like, several hundred dollars down the drain. Uh, from what I understand, if you're incapable of, like, gluing the part or whatever, you can actually mail it in and get a replacement depending on where you bought it from. But that seems like... Uh, that seems like a lot of effort. Any of the Iron Blood Orphan kits? Yeah, I have Vidar and one of the... I have the high-resolution model of Barbatos. He 
let me let me show you because that one looks pretty cool. Give me a second. Story behind your dog picture. Oh, that's just my dog Sif. That's my little pup. Okay, let me let me get this one. To be careful because this one's kind of fragile. Let me see. Let me get the key off of the shelf. Alright. Okay. Let's see, he's he's kind of he's kind of wobbly. So this is a weird Gundam because it's a high resolution model. It means that some of the colored parts are like metallic and shiny. And the interior frame is actually made out of metal. Um, they're not, I wouldn't say they're really worth it because you could probably achieve a better result painting. Um, but I got it as a gift and it's not really, uh, It's not really a particularly involved build because the in interior frame comes pre-assembled because it's made out of metal. So all you do is basically put the armor on. Like you could take all of the armor pieces off of it and just have like the naked metal body. But that'd look kind of weird. Okay. I'm gonna put him back because I don't, I don't want this one falling. This one. All right. Ever tried painting? Now, I'm not, like, I don't think I'd enjoy the painting process, honestly. Um, painting's not my thing. I'm very clumsy. I don't think I would be able to do justice to it. And so I just like building and putting the decals on and shit. Better grades have better material quality? Yeah, for the most part. <clears throat> totally it's a free gift? No, I like it a lot, but I'm just saying that if you are interested in getting something like that, there are cons to it because it's weird. It's like an, like an outlier, I guess. There's significant downsides. So where the fuck did my piece go? All right. This was the one I was working. I was afraid I had already cut it out. I wasn't sure. Okay. Waste cable on the Galf is loose? Oh yeah, you're right, hold on. Uh, uh, super fluffy socks and I'm a happy Kiwi. You're a Kiwi? Ew. There we go, all better. What's good, Wider? Gundam, do you get here Monday now? Which one did you get? All right, so now I need G2. I've already forgotten what G is. I need. I really need a better system of organizing these because I'm just I'm running back and forth between all of them. This is E. This is G. Okay. So we need to let's pop this little motherfucker out. Tried painting before, like the end result, the process was kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe one day, but I don't know. Like, it's a combination of me being too. What's the right word? I'm not dexterous enough to paint on any real level. Like, I, w I know I'd fuck it up and just get shit everywhere. Like, it, if you went to a restaurant with me, you'd be disgusted because I get food fucking everywhere. I get all sorts of food like all over the table it's like a fucking little kid and so if if i were to actually try to paint god it would like i would need a separate room i would get paint all over my carpet like i know i would so i, I would need like a some 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 safe space to do that without fear of fucking shit up so this is the chest now. We got the little orange cockpit. It actually some of the the higher grades have gimmicks like this cockpit. You can you can open it. And you can put a little a little man in there. All right. Do you pan the line? I do, but not on stream. I don't I don't want to do a lot of like the busy work sort of shit like panel lining decals yada 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 on stream because it, I just think it would be with the current setup I have. I don't really. You can't really see what I'm doing a lot of the time. Like, that's, like, the biggest fault of this stream, I think, is for the people who are actually interested in building, it's very difficult to see what I'm doing 
in detail. So pretty much the only reason this is kind of working is because I can show you the, the progress I'm making by like showing you the part that I'm working on every now and again. Okay. Data in the garage recommend some place like that. See, the thing is, our garage is a dog grooming studio. I say studio, that's not the right word, but it's it's set up to where we can have like our dog grooming business, so wouldn't really work. Like there's there's really like no place I can do it. I ideally I wouldn't even want to do uh the Gundam stream in my room because like if you were to see my room right now I can't fucking walk like if whenever I get up you can hear me like stepping over shit because there's no there's no uh foot space whatsoever um not even a little bit so it's kind of irritating honestly like I really like I actually have one of my lights uh on the bed like one of my lights is situated on top of the bed What's going on, Bijushu? And Hal, JBW, it, it varies greatly. Like, the smaller ones, only a couple hours. The big ones can take uh, a dozen or more. Better with a tablecloth. I personally like the reflection. I kept the reflection because I, I, I like the way it looks. Um, I don't think I am in the majority on that one, though. Um, I just think it looks kind of cool, personally. Okay. Higher people. That's not, no, I don't have space for all of my shit. Like, it's not, it's not a cleanliness issue. It's the fact that I have, like, a big L desk. I have the aquarium. I have my bed. Uh, I have shelves and shit. Like, I just do not have the physical space in my room to, to keep everything in an orderly fashion. Okay, so I need A and G. I actually needed two of those. So let me cut the other one. Is this it? Where the fuck was it? Yeah, right here. I think it's fucking with the autofocus on the cam, maybe. I have to try it. I don't have something that I could put on it right now. But I can test it out. Garage sale? Wait, I'm gonna sell like my computer desk. What am I gonna do? Like play on the fucking carpet? <laughs> I I just have a small room. Like and there's not really much to be done about it, really. That's just how it is. So it's just, it's a fucking disaster zone in here right now. I would, I would seriously look like a psychopath if someone were to come in here. They'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? It's subject to one of those creepy lasagnas. Nice octopus statue. Thank you, Wobbling Octopus. Alright. Um. Micromanage my room too. And thank you, Channel Man, for buying the shit, dude. I hope you enjoy it. The only redeeming thing about this is the table I got, Sif can walk under it, so it doesn't it doesn't uh doesn't fuck with her movement at all. Cause that would be fucked up if I had this going and the dog couldn't move around. How much are those? It varies greatly because they're different grades. Like there's high grade, which are like the little blue ones over here, and they're like ten, twenty dollars maybe. Uh, the one I'm building right now is a master grade, which is more complicated. Can, they vary as well. They can be anywhere from like thirty to to a hundred dollars, depending. Um, show us your face at www twitter com slash tolumio underscore r. That's good, Pugmire. Axia Dark Matter on Amazon. Oh, nice, dude. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> what do we need is sponsored by fucking Gundams, dude? This is bullshit. What's good still? I think I can actually, like these parts you can, you can just move with your fingers. Tolo hoodies when? They're actually, they exist already, I think. I think the website lets you get the pattern on a hoodie. What's good Matoko, how are you doing man? I'm not doing a frame arms girl kit? I don't know what that is. It sounds degenerate though. Like, for, pardon my sexism, but frame arm girl sounds like some weird shit I can't fix a surge crashing that's a blessing in the skies as some might say 
end up blowing it on a couple models because of this good shit dude it's it's fun i like it this is a good way to spend a day all right twenty dollars of shipping it it depends like the thing about i i guess for lack of better word this hobby is it's best to to go and search different sites for different prices because sometimes sometimes like amazon's the best uh, place to get a kit sometimes it's really cheap on another website but it's all but it'll like ship from japan so the shipping will be exorbitant um like it'll be ludicrously expensive so it really depends sometimes you can get deals so like there was one time most of the models i got like uh, last year i remember i was playing persona 5 and i was just like you know i kind of want to build a gundam and there was one i think it's called like banzai hobby or some shit bonsai excuse me um and they were going out of business and they were having like a super sale and like all sorts of shit and and the way their website work is worked is they shipped from japan but they had like a flat shipping rate so if you ordered a fuck ton of stuff you would they like, you would have the same shipping rate despite it being from japan and since the sales were ridiculous i got like fucking 15 gundams or some crazy shit for under 200 dollars and fucking worth dude fucking worth All right. and the, the thing is too is like i got there late like there was some of the really expensive ones like half fucking price or some crazy shit Mm. so that was that was just me getting lucky um i remember I, I posted a picture in discord of like the the battle hall i got like how many of those sons of bitches were on my bed it was pretty cool all right so right now we're making the backpack actually which is weird because usually you don't uh oh shit these these little fucking boosters are fragile what the fuck where did it go Usually the backpack is its own separate thing, not something you build alongside the uh, the body. Okay, now we need G6 and now 10. Okay, let me get these. Whoa. All right. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do like a big dick stream and finish this robot tonight and not stream tomorrow and do wrong world on Sunday. I haven't decided yet. I totally ASMR this. See, this is my biggest fucking weakness as a streamer and I hate it. Um, I come in to the stream energized and making like fucking Reddit tier jokes. It's the funniest shit you've ever heard in your entire goddamn life. And then, like, about five or six hours in, I'm, like, falling asleep. I'm, like, yo, dude, what's up? It's your boy, the love me out. What up? <laughs> you know? So, I just, I need to take drugs while streaming. That's clearly the option that I, that I have to do. All right. All right, bib rack. Dig it easy. Fairly involves social activity for hours on it. Yeah, but you know, I could take drugs and do it for days on end. Like, that's always an option. Reddit's here for That was the joke storm cloud. God damn. You, you, some of you people take shit too literally sometimes. Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Fog. Okay. So now we're done with the chest and the backpack and we're going to attach. See, we got the chest backpack very good thank you for 300 bits early crowd i appreciate it dude thank you very much all right so so we did it what's going on mel i think that fish just said the m or maybe fat princess is kind of rude cwc talk not kind of like not talking about that shit like see here's the thing i like talking about cwc and like other interesting people on the internet but at some point it just gets to this 
this. You just want to talk about something else, you know? But then people, you log on to your stream, and that's what people bring up, like, immediately. Oh, Tolo, did you see that CWC wants to suck your fucking dick? And it's like, oh. Okay, and that's where the conversation goes, you know? I, I, I guess I could be a dick and force the conversation to something else, but I feel like... I feel like that's a stimming, natural, organic conversation in the stream that's counterproductive. So I, I pretty much, like, sometimes I want to talk about CWC, but most of the time it's just, it just ends up being brought up, and that's just kind of what we talk about, you know? Like, I, like the big one is, like, f fucking talking about DSP. Like, that's one that I'm just, I'm, I, I know people are going to start talking now that I brought it up. That's one thing that I just, I want to... I would just prefer if people would stop talking about it at this point. Okay. Although Ulili is still dope. Sucking dicks all the time, though? Sure, but sucking dicks is fine for the most part. Okay. Butts memes never die? Most recent movie you've seen, Pacific Rim 2. Wasn't as good as the first one, but sequels rarely are. Except for Dark Souls 2. Is it innocent? Oh, absolutely. When we talk about Ulilia, it's never... It's never, like, in an antagonistic way. is really nice. And is like, a shining example of someone who was dealt a bad hand, but has done a lot with it. So, Ulilia, if you're unfamiliar, has legit autism. Like... Lilia, to give you a brief idea, avoided swimming for like 25, 30 years, some ridiculous uh, amount. And the reason for this is Lilia had a primal fear of blue water because they played too much Sonic the Hedgehog as a, as a kid and correlated blue water with dying. Um... And so Lilia has like legitimate mental problems. Not, not saying that in a derogatory way, but that's just... You know? But Ulilia is also a fucking amazing human being because Ulilia also ended up like trying to actively overcome his own fears. And sorry. Ulilia does free diving now in Hawaii. Uh so Ulilia is someone who's like kind of the opposite of some of the people we usually talk about, where they're kind of just they sit there and they they just waste away, whereas Ulilia goes and does shit about his problems and tries to actively better his life like he's always gonna have that uh that demon with him but he's at least trying to overcome it you know and that's extremely respectable like that's amazing i think that's dope as fuck um so lily is awesome i love i, I love lily lily is dope as hell because I, I don't i think if i was dealt that hand i don't think i'd be able to do that like i'm a, <laughs> i'm a, I'm a piece of shit with, like, uh, like being a neurotypical straight white dude. So, like, I don't want people to think that when I talk about, like, say, Lily or whatever the shit, that I'm, like, it's an antagonistic or derogatory, uh, fashion. I just think the degreasing pizza thing is fucking funny. Like, I, I, I just think that, like, the, the appetite choices, like, uh, Lilia... From what I understand, maybe it's different now, but at one point only ate two things. Two things, period. Only two things. Pizza, which they would take a napkin and degrease. Like, just use, like, an entire roll of napkins on a, a pizza to get the grease off. And the other was hamburger helper, except with no hamburger. That's just fucking weird to me. That's just bizarre. But it's kind of funny, and that's why I talk about it. Okay, hold on. I have to post the video. As if you're still doing this and I remember the manual. Well, I'm doing a second one now. Android, so like, I finished the first one. The first one's right here. Um, but this is the bigger, more more complicated one. This is the Master Grade, which is roughly, I would say a minimum would take twice as long as a high grade would. More often than not. Well, the reason it's funny is because Ulilia made, like, this long-ass tutorial. It's like, how to degrease pizza. 
And it's just like, motherfucker, like, I, you're my boy, don't get me wrong, you're dope as hell, but you just, it's not exactly like an arcane process. You just take a fucking napkin and put that shit on there, you know? He's sitting there just like filming himself for 20 minutes, fucking degreasing pizza. It's like, come on, dude. And my favorite thing, the best part about that meme is he made like an updated 2016 version or some shit. Like... He, he, he felt that the initial video did not cover the process extensively enough. So he had to make a second one. Like a redemption run for pizza degreasing tutorials. And that shit cracks me up. Like, that shit's fucking funny. Alright. Where's the fucking thing I need? I'm losing all my marbles. An art? I guess so. You can't really argue that at this point. Build another one. I'm probably not finishing it tonight, but I want to keep the stream going a little bit longer. Hmm. And why not? I'm trying to be better at the whole streaming thing and actually be uh, be watchable. Oops. Fuck that one up. Okay. This is this is a stream that isn't really appealing to most people, I, I presume. This is, this is pretty neat shit. But the people who have wanted it have been wanting it for fucking ever. You know what I mean? Like it it would kind of be a dick thing to be. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the end of God in stream. Fuck you. Three hours. I'm doing it for the people. 14? Well, that's because of a cry host, though. That's different. Like, whenever cry hosts you, your your assessment of, of viewers is just not worth anything at that point. Because that's, like... The thing about hosting on Twitch is, especially when it comes to someone as big as cry, when you get hosted for that many people, there's going to be, like, fucking hundreds of people who are just asleep. Um, so, that, this is how that goes, you know? Oh, okay. Now it's time to assemble the feet. I'm, I'm doing a poor job of showing you right now. All right, so for the, the for the heel, we have three pieces. We have the little poly cap. We have the the armor piece and the frame piece. Usually, usually this is how it goes with master grades. You have a frame piece. You have a poly cap, which is for the joint, and then you have the armor. Um. So, how do we do this? All right, let me see the right part of the. So for this, we put the poly cap right up in this promiscuous female. Look at that. See, it's hard to see without a top-down cap. And now that now that we have that, um, we can uh, bless you, Sif. Put that on, and now we have the heel. What are we actually building? We are building a Gundam. Right now, we have only really the chest finished, but it's a giant fucking robot. Alright. I've watched a few and it's yet to disappoint. Well, that's good. Oh, shit. Sorry. I, I, I need to stop doing my yoga poses and, like, knocking the camera around. <laughs> that's, that's kind of bad. It's very complicated. It can be. It's probably not as complicated as you're thinking, though. You done with Hollow Knight? No. I'm just not doing it tonight. Um... I have quite a bit to go. The last stream I beat Soul Tyrant. I fucking noped out of the failed champion or whatever the shit it was called. Like the big bug. Like the, the big dig version of the first boss. And... Yeah. That, that was pretty much Hollow Knight last time. Now I, now I have to... Find out where the fuck I'm going next time. Okay. So now, where are the other foot parts? Okay. So, we got this, and we're gonna put this little frame piece here. Where? Now we can connect the heel. I know I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry. This is, when in the future when I do this, I need to pick based on color, because I think a big part of the problem with this is like this dark green shit is really fucking hard to see, even up close. 
it's, it's very difficult to actually tell what's going on and my, my camera work is not very good either standard bosses well i'm not too far into it but yeah there hasn't been too much that's given me pause like i i fought the uh god what was his name it was like the soul leader or some shit it was the dude on top of the tower who was like fucking your bitch and the thing about him is i i the first attempt he fucked me pretty quickly but then i went back and beat him on the second fairly easily and then i fought like the upgraded version even with no upgrades and shit and then I went and fought... God, what was his name? It was like this fucking dude who just repeatedly ejaculated orange shit all over the place. And I have no recollection as to what his name was. But, same thing. Like, I died once, and then I came back and fucked him on the second try. Like, that's pretty much the my modus operandi for Hollow Knight. Like, I find a boss, get fucked the first time because I'm like low health or something. Then come back and just wall up the son of a bitch. Just crumpled him! Gorb, no, not Gorb, not Gorb. It was, uh, like, Malak or some shit. And he had, he had, like, a title, too, but I don't remember. He, like, he's seriously like this little fucking thing that would just wobble from side to side and jump every once in a while and just ejaculate these orange balls. What's good, Waynes? Gorb I beat on the first try. Gorb was a fucking joke. Like, I, I was surprised that it was actually a boss. Do you have a thick beard? No, I, I can't grow facial hair worth a shit. I'm a fucking manlet, dude. Alright, so let me see what that... See, I don't understand the, uh... The foot design here, because I... Hmm, let me see. It seems like I can't snap this into the... Thing properly. I'm afraid if I put too much pressure, I'm gonna fucking crumple it. Alright, what's going on, Spork? There we go, there we go. That's the most satisfying fucking noise in the world to hear. Okay, see now we have the, uh... Now we have the first foot. Extremely hairy motherfucker. That shit's just weird to me. I have, like, no... Body hair. This the fucking low test beta male, dude. I can't get the second foot in though. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we got both feet now. We got both feet in the chest. This is our current progress. It's the first gun to be built. That's alright. We went really slowly because I was getting used to the whole uh streaming fucking creative shit, basically. Wasn't very good at it when I started, still not very good at it now, but it's progress, I suppose. Your voice doesn't match your hands. I mean, look at these Mandingo hands. Like, come on. Come on. Like, what do you expect me like? Like, hello there. What's up? It's me. Hello, meow. Hey. you That's because that's actually my real voice, and this voice I'm using right now is actually my voice modulator. Okay, so we need F now. On the internet, nobody knows you're a dog, also. I'd like to just throw that out there. To whom it may concern. And talk with your hands, yup, yup. Oh, I need, I need to, like, lean back in my chair for a second. Give me a moment. Just fucking relax. Hey, look, look at this desk. We got, like, a fucking little dude from the Blue Man Group in the background. We got, like, a fucking stinky monkey. And we, we got, like, okay, look at this fucking Mac. Like, check this shit out. You, you, you're gonna love my nuts. Look at it, dude. Look at this fucking Mac. It's finished. It's, it's one foot. And you know what? There we go. It's fucking done. We did it. Oh, getting my din dins. All right. Winded? No, no, it's not from... It's not winded. It's that the way I sit... I sit, like, Indian style on top of my feet, and it hurts my feet after a while. And so I have to, I have to like, stretch out and, like, stretch my legs because they're sore from being bundled up. And that sore is not the right word. But they're, uh... 
I kind of ache a bit because of the way I sit. Oh. Hold on. You guys want to see something dope? Look at this shit. See, look, look, look. This is the piggy. It, it's seriously exactly like the emote, is it not? What? Hey, Sif. Come here. Go get the piggy. Go get the piggy. No, she doesn't feel like playing now. All of her energy's gone. Oh, man. All right. It looks... It, yeah, it's the same fucking thing. See, I told you, I told you my dog had that as a toy. Some people didn't believe me. You just lose the whistle and have to be fixed all the time? No, not really. She only plays with the pig sparingly. That's her, by the way. That's not me fucking with the pig anymore. She's like squeezing it once and laying down with it. It's kind of cute. Okay. two of these little joint things so I'm just going to cut all the prerequisite pieces out so I don't have to come back to this runner Sif did you pee it kind of smells in here why the hell you had that emo because she used to squeak that pig all the time like I'd just be playing dark souls and just, argh, argh. <laughs> just fucking constantly she's kind of calmed down with it now but it used to be a, a, a pretty frequent occurrence Can I see my shrimp yet? Is he is he ready to come out and fornicate? All right. I need G thirteen. Where the fuck is G? I need G unit. Here it is. This this one has so many gray runners that it's. Honestly, kind of overwhelming. It's gray, gray, gray. That's fine. We'll get through it. We'll, we'll manage to find a way through this uh, struggle. Just make sure to send your thoughts and prayers. But don't send cows. It's one thought I don't want. to go what's going on trinity vince are you planning to keep going mm, probably not too much longer i think we're we're kind of winding down I think, I think most of us are tired at this point in time and we like i said we can just resume this if people want to see more hey sif don't don't make that noise at me pop don't understand this how this is supposed to go there we go okay very slight peg if you were a deviant art what would be your persona an earthworm of course what else would you think I'd be okay so we got the ankles now Good night, Lanarian. It's hard to see, but these are going to be connecting to the shin, I believe. Later, Tan Man. Listen to your heart. My heart says that it burns and that I want stick. <sighs> okay. John, what the fuck? I need an eye now. I think eyes this shit yeah the cream colored stuff what kind of earthworm just just a regular earthworm just sitting there uh, marinating and jiggling on the dance floor just typical shit you know just typical furry stuff what do you think what is the most deviant fucked up fetish shit you've ever seen personally chat 
from anal vor to hand holding. Cock vor? Tolo, please. What? Futa. Really? I don't like Futa, but that's the worst you've seen. Sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers are fun. Blue Gundam looks so majestic. Pregnant Pikachu emote. Sonic, pregnant dirty feet. Have you seen the, uh, there's one, like, Tails comic with those fucking underage bunny girls from Sonic, where he, it, it's like Tails goes to the park, and it's so fucked up. The Sonic fan base, I believe, is a satanic cult. I unironically believe that, like, the Sonic fans are trying to bring about the end times. Some of the shit that comes out of that that community is just fucking <laughs> like what the fuck this shit just makes no sense to me but it's funny to look at I won't deny that some of it is at least some of it's all like holy shit motherfucker what are you doing but Dude, what on god's green earth am I supposed hold on okay Sonic fan art by 3Pac? No. Eels? Oh, is the one where she, she's shitting eels out of her ass? That is an excellent link, Melon. I'm digging it. Sonic is the Antichrist? I believe it. Saw it on 4chan, Tails diaper porn. <laughs> diaper porn. What do you think the founding fathers would say if they, if you just went up to them and said, seen any, like, assuming they knew what the word porn meant, like, someone talking about diaper porn. I don't think America would exist. Later, Sauce. What is he built today? Just one. I'm working on a bigger one now, though. What's good, Grub Veteran? Probably into scat. Ooh, god damn. Shit is one of the only things that consistently disgusts me. I I've never been like I I I gag sometimes when I pick up dog shit. Tbh. I just I can't do poo poo. I don't know about you guys. That shit's just. Pardon the pun. Dude and a chick eating Fruit Loops. Oh yeah, no. Someone randomly sent that to me on Discord, like as a epic troll shock thing. But I've seen far worse. It's always kind of funny when, like, it. When I was thirteen, I went to like a fucking Pokemon forum or some shit and posted like fucking shocking images uh to be like a like a dumb fuck edgelord and like whenever i whenever someone does that they just send like random like scat fetishism or whatever the shit i genuinely like part of me thinks that they're just like a fucking 13 year old trying to be funny what's going on sad because that's what i was that's what i did actually i think that might have been me all nice dude you were JP? No, I was 13. I don't think JP's 13. Because if JP's 13, that video he's been posting poses more problems than we might have initially thought. Um, I haven't seen him in a while. I wonder what he's up to. JP, that is. What's good, Leaf B? Okay. That was you? Yeah, yeah. Remember, I was a real shit bird when I was a kid. I remember one time. There was like, I, I was maybe 11, 12, something like that. I was really young. Because I, I went on this Srebi.net. I used to spend like every fucking day on that stupid Pokemon forum when I was a kid. Because I was really into Pokemon because I was a fucking dumb kid who had no friends. And because I was homeschooled. And we had just moved to like a, a new neighborhood and I didn't know anybody. 
there was like this girl around my age, I think. Um, and she wanted to make like her own Envision Free Form or whatever the shit. Like, uh, if you don't know what that is, Envision Free is basically this thing where like anyone can make their own form for whatever the fuck. And I don't, I don't even remember what hers was for. But we knew each other vaguely and she invited me to like be an administrator or some shit. And I think there were like only a few people on it. It was her, her friends, and her mom. Like, she actually had her mom on the image board, and she made me admin. And I, like, fucking... One day, I just decided to completely fuck the board over. Like, I didn't post anything bad or, like, like scat fetishism or whatever the hell. But I, like, I, I just, like, destroyed all that hard work that she did for no fucking reason. Um, kind of a piece of shit. Really not one of my proudest moments. I think about that sometimes, and I wish I could apologize. Because, like, the fucked up thing is, like, they, she didn't even know what happened. Like, she got her forum fucked up, and she's like, I don't even know what's going on. And she is, like, asking me, like, what happened? And I'm like, oh, fuck. Kind of a dick. Later, Reese. This fucking people... Yeah, like, like, when Cry said, you don't really have... Well, maybe, maybe you did. Uh, but I didn't really have an empathy center that worked very well back then. Now it's a different story. But back then, holy fuck, I'm having a lot of trouble with this ankle thing. Okay. Never did anything that bad as a child. And then, and then, like, it, it's, like, being a preteen is so fucking weird, because, like, fast forward a year, uh, same fucking forum, I met these kids from, like, a, a nearby town in real life, like, our mothers had arranged for us to meet, and, so, basically, what happened was, we all got out of the car and met, and like, oh, dude, I'm fucking, like, Tolomeo. Well, dude, it's nice to meet you, yada, 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 gobble, gobble, gobble. And fucking, for whatever reason, like, I'm like, yeah, let's go. We went to an ice skating rink. I'm like, yeah, let's go ice skating, dogs. And I, like, I, like fucking yeeted out of there. I, like, ran away and, like, ran to the ice skating rink entrance and I looked back to see if they were following because like my ass and I like 13 year old mind was like they're all gonna like run and follow me and we're gonna be friends at the ice skating rink I look back and everyone's just looking at me like I'm a retard I'm like ah fuck I can't believe I've done this thank you for the tier 2 resub ah splat I appreciate it thank you very much uh, for the deputy rat shit so, so youngins are weird is what I'm trying to say and I was especially weird Probably explains a lot about how I am now, huh? Okay. Happy stories of meeting strangers online. Well, we those kids, me, uh, me and them went on to be really good friends for a couple years, and then we I had to move again, so they ended up being good friends of mine. But then, then I remember it. The story had a bad ending because I, I remember uh, there were two dudes. And a sister. And I had a crush on the sister. Her name was, like, Alyssa or some shit. Um, and she was homeschooled, too. These were also homeschooled kids. So, like, we were on even footing, which was rare for me. Because, like, I was homeschooled my entire life. So, usually, most kids were more socially adept than I was. Because of that fact. And so, what happened is, like, I years later, I tried to do that thing. Where you're like, let's reconnect and find old friends. And yada 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 like fucking MySpace and shit, bro. So I found Alyssa on MySpace. And back then was when me and my friends first started like 4chan. And it's like epic, like uh epic fucking millhouse memes and shit. So funny joke. And so I, I talked right here up like, yo, you should join a chat with me and my friends sometimes. We fucking got like dang memes and shit and fucking you know, we have all this funny shit happening. It's just a blast. And so she's like, oh, that sounds fun. Let's do that. And uh, like we invite her and we're like posting all our sickest memes. Like, homies, we got to post the illest memes possible. Like, the funniest shit you have. I, I remember in particular, I posted this one fucking picture 
of a lobster in like a Barbie airplane or some shit. And my my teenage self, for whatever reason, like that's the fu- that's the height of comedy. That's the funniest thing in the fucking world. If you don't like the lobster in a goddamn Barbie plane, you're a fucking subhuman. Um, that's how I was. And she didn't like any of our memes. She's like, oh, I joined because I thought it was gonna be funny, and that was the last time I ever fucking talked to her. And I was like, wow, she's uh she's changed. She's changed a lot. Fucking Jesus. Something crawled up her ass and fucking and scraping her intestines. <laughs> so, what is it? That was, uh, I don't know. Fucking normies, exactly. Exactly, Stumpy. Like, normies don't understand how funny lobsters and Barbie airplanes are. What a bunch of assholes. Got right. I'm looking at the leg and I'm just. Like, okay. Hold on, let me show you this shit. Like, th- the legs are the worst fucking part of every goddamn Master Grade. Like, okay. So let- let's-, let's take a look at this together. You see these panels right here? This is all just for, like, the-, the skeleton of the leg, basically. And you have to do all these steps twice. So you make these two on the left, and then you make this, and then you combine them all. And like, oh my fucking god. It's wait, what's what's Cry saying? It's been hours mining Dark Souls 3. Let me see. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> Cry reminds me of 14-year-old me sometimes. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Okay. Anarchist Elmo? <laughs> I'm surprised Cry's still here. I thought I would have put his ass to sleep by now. Okay, so what else? What other dumb shit did I, did I do as a teenager? One day I need to bring my account up and just read like some of the comments. So I remember there used to be like a forum on that website, like Serebi, where basically you can make like a club for a specific thing. Like, let's say you make you make a Gundam club, and then everyone goes and posts about Gundams. And I made a, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you the exact name, because I don't want people to find out and go and, like, find all my posts and shit. But at one point, we made, like, just a fuck-off club where you come to talk about nothing in particular. Kind of like this chat. You just shit, sit, shit there. You shit there, and, and you post stupid fucking memes that nobody could conceivably give a shit about. And it started off small, but then we, we got some we got some uh, heavy hitting meme lords into our ranks, and we ended up being like, at one point we were like the the most uh, popular fucking club in the entire forum. I was leader of it. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm the fucking best, awesome. And I ask all like these Serebi E thoughts to be like my girlfriend on the internet and shit. None of them said yes. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. I fucking hate this game. And I'm like, do you know me? I have, like, the biggest club in the entire fucking website, you dumb bitch. Like, that's, that's pretty much how I was. Embarrassing, right? Well, they still wanted to be uh, my friends so they could be part of the fucking club. Fuck bullshit. Fucking pent-up anger and resentment. So it was weird. I don't know. Like I, I spent way too much time on this stupid fucking forum. Remember I get into fights with people over like the most asinine shit. You remember one time some dude got really mad at me because he he would we but we all played Tales of Symphonia and I knew this dude. And he made like this signature forum banner where he's like rain is my waifu it was like proto waifu shit like before the waifu thing was really crazy because this was like over a decade ago easily um and i'm like that's fucking retarded dude she she doesn't give a fuck about you like you're a fucking idiot and he got like really upset we had an internet slap fight about it and it was kind of funny in retrospect but like what a waste of time like, seriously, out of all the fucking things in the world to argue about, like, there's world hunger, 
There's there's like uh there's global emissions, there's politics, religion, all all sorts of fucking things. Arguing about like tales of some funny like that, that's why I am so like down on the waifu shit. I'm like, oh my god, this waifu thing is a meme, right? Because I remember like arguing with like other twelve year olds about that shit when I. I was fucking 12, and so, I mean, no one could, add, no, literally no one takes this shit seriously, right? But no, there's still some people like, yeah, dude, I have a fucking wife. It's like, oh. Kids ain't right. Kids ain't right. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, though, because, like, people actually hear different things there. And it's, it's really, like, perception-breaking because I hear Laurel, personally. And so, like, the prospect of anyone hearing the word, word Laurel is Yanny is just like, what the actual fuck? Once you know the, I guess, the science behind it, it kind of makes sense. But at first, it's like, what the absolute fuck? Uptime about six hours at this point, roughly. Heard Yanny? I can't make myself hear Yanny no matter how hard I try. I'm not capable of self delusion, I suppose. What a bummer. That would have been a dope superpower. Okay. The superpower of self delusion. What's going on, Orta D? First heard Yanny tried to get in her laurel, really fucked my day up. Yanny is in reward. Yeah, Yanny, you know what Yanny sounds like? Like some stupid fucking dance that teenagers make. Like, oh my god, we're gonna go to the fucking club and do the Yanny and the stinky leg. And it's just like. I don't know. That's, that's what I think of when I hear Yanny personally. I don't know about you. Shit's just fucking. supposed to do this is like I, this is fucking my depth perception right now i'm sorry all right what's the progress so far we finished this dude and right now the one we're working on this this little booster pack thing on his back keeps coming off we have the chest of this guy which is a master grade. to give you to give you an example of size comparison this is his chest and it's significantly bigger than like his entire torso don't see any fishies. There's one right here. There's two right here. There's one right here. Uh, most of them are probably in the back. Uh, the main reason is the ones that are usually out here during the night are the are the glass catfish. Like right here where I'm pointing, if you look really closely, you'll see movement. Um, and those, they're transparent fish. They're very hard to see unless you know what to look for. So... And like right now, Fat Princess is in the back. We've got a Tetra right there. Um, so they're there. You just you just really have to pay attention because the camera is not very good. Right. So do I really have to make the exact same thing twice? This doesn't make sense to me because it's for it's for the legs, but there's no. No, they're gonna be asymmetrical if I if I do this the same way for both of them. Okay. Why dwell on it? Just follow instructions. Don't question them. Questioning authority is bad, right, fellow Americans? Okay. Probably easy to see right now. Maybe. Super low. No, it's, it's the camera. Although I do, I, I have like, uh, I do have kind of weird fucking arms and hands. Like, look at that shit. Okay. All right. So let's do 19 and 20. And then we can kind of combine some of the parts that we've been making. Um, what what else could I talk about? I'm see. I'm, the thing is, I'm not really a uh, not really a particularly interesting person. I've had like a boring fucking life. Not a lot of life experiences. Like that. That's part of the. That's part of the. Part of the thing about. 
being homeschooled is you kind of lose out on a lot of things. Like, I was homeschooled until college. So, pretty much, like, the only social experience I had growing up as a teenager was church-related events. Because my parents forced me to go to church, not for, like, the religious aspect or whatever, but so I could have some socialization. But the thing is, church is fucking weird. I, I've been to church camp several times, and it's... Uh, it's actually kind of fun, but it's still weird looking back on it because I, I'm like the furthest thing from uh, religious that you can get. <clears throat> but it's interesting. Like, imagine the the church I went to was a church that was all that also doubled as a private school, and so. It was really fucking hard sometimes because imagine all of the clicks and things that go with regular school, like all, all of like the, the social norms, yada yada, the groups of people, the clicks, and imagine piling religion onto all of that. And that was the sort of environment that my church had. It was really fucking strange because they all knew each other because they all would go to school together. And it was like this weird, like, holier-than-thou religious mumblefuckery. And, uh, yeah. It was some interesting shit. Dude, I am on drugs. I... What the fuck? What am I looking at right now? What is that noise? Does someone have a TV playing or something? Okay. Entering a church once, but I caught fire. Oh, nice. I kicked out of a super religious almost cult church for pretending to be possessed and laughing my ass off when they tried to exercise me. Yeah, dude. When they, as, as soon as the preacher puts me on the bow flex, I'm out, too. I'm out as well. I'm not I'm not going to have any of that. So I'm, I'm right there with you, fellow gamer. Oh, my God. Virginity protectors, you goddamn right. I should probably show you what I'm doing, but it's actually kind of a pain in the ass lining everything up. Alright, so right now we're making the knee. We've got this part right here that my my right index finger on is on is the knee. And then this part up here is the thigh, and I think this is the shin. You gotta have it connected in this little movable part. I have to have it in like a certain hole. But it, 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 it's a movable part, so it can fall out easily. And I have to have it, like, on its side and close it without having that movable part slip. And uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. It's, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of impeding my progress right now. Okay. Pistons for detail. Yup, yup. Stream reminds me I want a Xenoblade X Switch port. Man, I'm just... Whenever I go to cry stream to watch Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I'm just always in awe of that game. Like, I really... I'm, I, I don't know how to put it politely, but I, I really feel like the Xenoblade team suffers from like some sort of... How would I put this? Like they're, they're, they're fucking psychopaths. Like, <laughs> what? What? All of their games are so different from one another. Like you go from original Xenoblade to Xenoblade Chronicles X to Xenoblade Two, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what is wrong with you? How the hell are you? Are you making these jumps like this? I really don't get it. All right, so we are. Uh, Finished the knee part. See, we're still on the frame of the legs. We're not even at the armor yet. Like, okay. Let me see. These instructions are two and a half pages just for the legs. <laughs> Later, Shadow Man. Using completely different people for each game? That just makes no sense to me, though. Like, why? 
Why would you do that? Like, that seems kind of counterproductive to me personally, but what the fuck do I know? I'm from Texas. I'm not a Japanese video game developer at all. Alright, pop that little bastard out. Cash? Well, you know what would make more cash? Making a dope fucking game. Like, in this instance, the, the, the money thing doesn't really make sense to me because you're, you're dropping the fucking ball on a franchise that should print money. Because, like, the first Xenoblade was a resounding success, as far as I'm aware. And people fucking love that game. That's a classic at this point, but... As much as I like Xenoblade Chronicles uh, X, it's... Say the very least a departure from the first one and then you go kind of half back to the original formula but not really and so it's just fucking weird hey thank you for the 23 month resub nitro bdo can't even get a two-year club penguin throwback stream because they killed the game true true uh video game uh companies are, are robbing me of the content i want to give the people thank you very much i appreciate the continued support man It's a big boy. Oh, did you see Fat Princess? She's uh, she's usually pretty active, but it's nighttime, so they they do calm down during this hour. Like during the day, Gobbler in particular is just like doing fucking laps around the aquarium nonstop, and Fat Princess is looking for fucking snackies the entire time, so. So now you eat two and you want. A good mech game besides shit like Battletech? Um. You could try Slay. S L A I. For the PS2. It's kind of a. It's a sequel to Phantom Crash, but I think it's uh, much worse than Phantom Crash was. Although it's not like a simulation style mech game, it's more arcadey. And say Mac Warrior. Maybe I'll play that one day on stream. Dialogue and Xeno 2 also. Hold on. I need to scroll my chat up. Tales of Vesperia. Weird pause shit. The game is amazing. Yeah, that's actually where my name comes from uh, on Twitch. It's because the Tolomeo Mac in that game was fucking sick. One day I want to play that game that had like a really elaborate controller. I think it was called Steel Battalion. The controller was like big enough and complicated enough to cost enough to make you have to take a second mortgage out. Don't Steel Battalion. Is that game actually good? Or is it just gimmicky? Gundam game on Dreamcast it was dope as fuck. It, it's so weird to me that Gundam games seem to be so lackluster. Okay, one day you'll be more relevant. No, I peaked a long time ago. Like if I if I couldn't be more relevant in the lamp when I'm constantly doing like the no roll shit and getting like articles, I'm never gonna get there, Ananas. You gotta be doing shit. Controller costs like 2k. It's pretty expensive at this point. Heavily discounted price of $90. Good god. Heavily discounted $90. Shiggy diggy. Shiggy diggy. Hold on, I'm concentrating. Mom. I'm doing the leg right now. A job outside of streaming? Nope. This is what I do for the time being. I was going to school for medical lab tech, but I figured I'd give the streaming thing a shot since I had been offered the opportunity because most people who stream would kill for the amount of luck that I've had. So why waste it? Just see where things go, right? 
because it's not it's not every day you get a chance to do something that's so outside of the box and i'm i'm pretty like i i'll be i'll be up front in that i'm a fairly talentless son of a bitch so this is probably like the only chance i have to do something remotely interesting um so why not give it a shot right What's the worst that can happen? I can end up on a four loco bender dead in a ditch. Sounds worth it to me. All right. It's not in GameStop forever since no one wanted to buy it and they wanted it gone. Nice. Okay. So, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm doing the legs. I wonder if I'll be able to even finish the legs tonight. Okay. Seal this respectable female in. Okay, so we've got a pretty good portion of the skeleton of the legs now. We've got we've got two of these. See, this is this is the thigh up here, and then we got the shin and the knee, and then this connects to the foot down here. Alright. Later some nobody. It hasn't dropped the parties working on the floor yet. Mm. You cry and my favorite smite stream are the only people I watch whenever I see you streaming, so you're doing something right. Got another fucking kidney stone? Yeah, usually if you get one, you're gonna be getting them for the rest of your life if my dad was any indication. Um he had them fucking constantly, like every couple of months. Shit sucks. Shit seems absolutely horrific. Pissing rocks. I think, uh... Man, I don't know what I'd fucking do. That just seems unfathomable to me. Man, I don't think I would have a high urethra pain tolerance, honestly. But... Wouldn't really have much of a choice if it were to happen, I guess. You just have to find some way of dealing with it. It's not like you could just go, Kidney stone, please go. sound tired as fuck, but I've been streaming for like six hours, and I was doing, uh, it, it wasn't exactly high intensity or, or requiring too much effort on my part, but I was also on Crystream doing the Dark Souls thing for a bit before I hopped on here. So pretty much I've just, I've been doing, I've been talking for a long time, you know? Like, it's just, I'm not particularly good at the endurance thing anymore. It's like I was kind of telling Cry earlier, really the only time I've been prone to just like doing eight hour streams every single day, like in a row, was when I was like under duress, I guess, for lack of a better word, and I pretty much just needed escapism. Um, because I, I have this philosophy that I'm not really sure if it's actually, uh, if it's actually worked out for me or not. But, I'm oh, sorry, that was loud. Um, usually, I like to end my streams before I get too tired. Because I don't want to be, like, uh, half-assing it, if that makes sense. I believe, personally, that it's better to do shorter streams where I'm, like, on point for the majority of the stream. Than to just, like, drag it on for eight hours when I'm tired. You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't know. It just seems like it's... Not counterproductive, but it seems like, you know, I don't want to be really fucking tired and, like, not talking much and have someone come in and be like, oh, man, fucking Polo, so boring now. What the fuck? What happened to this man? I want to be on point uh, as often as possible. Not very good at doing that. That's the general idea for me. All those veggies, 30 hours... Well, no, I don't want to do that, because, like, there's some streamers that just go for fucking ever, but they end up, like, getting tired and burning themselves out, and it's just, like, <laughs> being a zombie on stream. That doesn't sound that fun to me. Okay. But I, I have a pretty different perspective, I think, than a lot of other streamers. Not, I'm not trying to sound like, oh, my God, I've got, like, such a unique take on streaming or anything like that, but I'm, I'm kind of fucking different in that regard like there are a lot of streamers who just like as much time as possible 
streaming like 100% of the time, like every single waking hour. And at some point, maybe I should go to bed soon. <laughs> At some point, I feel like you hit diminishing returns. Hot take? Well, no, 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 not me. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking average as far as people go. Like, I'm just a boring nobody. But my, my, uh, style of streaming, I guess, is kind of, not even my style. Like, my style's not even really different either. But, like, my perspective on streaming is different than a lot of other streamers, I think. What's going up, set cat? Not boring. I'm pretty fucking boring. <laughs> Maybe it, at least right now, like when I'm fucking sleepy like this, I'm pretty. I'm pretty low energy. I'm Shillery Kilton. All right. I think Sif leaked because it smells some. It smells rancid in here. She has a. A mild? I'm not even going to say incontinence, but sometimes she leaks a little bit. She's a leaky teacup. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Christ, hold on. I, I got to get good old scratch. Leaky sif, yeah. Okay. Now, let's see. I need F5. I need to refresh. Where the fuck is that? This I. This B. Oh shit, they're fucking messing with the alarm. Can you hear that? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. A very good voice. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um. I'm not, I, I, I happen to be like everyone else in the world and that I hate my own voice, lol. And one of one of the things is like the voice thing's weird, because I, this is something that I'm saying based off of what other people have told me. I don't really feel this way about myself, but people have told me I have like a like a a voice that's relaxing in a way that puts them to sleep, and <laughs> that that's like a blessing and a curse because a lot of people come here to fall asleep, but the thing is they're fucking sleeping. You know what I mean? So, it's like, fuck. I can't do shit with this. <laughs> like, I, I, have a, I have a group of people who are just asleep at the wheel. So. So, it's a, a mixed thing. Alright, I'm putting the armor onto the, onto the legs now. Hold on. Dyrus? Well, I'm not Dyrus, though. I don't. Uh, that's not what I want to be, though. Like, I, I, I guess, like, at some point, you have to accept the lot in life that you've been dealt. But I want to be. I want to be like, yeah, dude. I want to go to Tolomeo's, dude. This shit's fucking dope. He's the funniest, sexiest motherfucker in the world, and I love him. And I want to suck his dick. You know, that's not. That, it doesn't coincide with reality, unfortunately. But I just wish I was a little bit more exciting. Thank you for the resub, Blue Soul. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. For your continued support. Alrighty. Wow, there's a lot of samey pieces. Okay, you scared me, I'm sorry. I hate my voice to sound like a teenager. Me too, I'm, I'm edgy as fuck. I sound like I just got off of a Linkin Park bender. Listening to this Slipknot. I used to listen to Slipknot a lot, believe it or not, as a teenager, although I'm sure that doesn't surprise you that much. I used to listen to Avenged Sevenfold and fucking Slipknot, the teenage boy, the white teenage boy starter pack. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. So let's keep going. We can at least finish the legs today, I think. I don't know how much longer I can go, but... Like I said, Pete, there are some people who have been waiting for this stream for a very long time. So, it can go a little bit longer. Bring a lot of alcohol. Now I can't read my gun sim instructions. Just relax. Just chill. Just relax, dog. It's all gonna be alright. The divorce was rough, but you're gonna make it through this. 
Listen to Slipknot 2. Yup. Listen to a lot of metal. I put my finger into my eyes. Oh, I thought... I, it took me a second to realize you were singing fucking Slipknot. I remember one time... It was my sister's birthday, and before her birthday... I'm sorry for the noise. They're being very loud right now. I apologize for that. Um, sometimes they just don't really respect the fact that there are people who are... Who can hear all of that shit. But regardless, um... Let's get back to what I was talking about. We went to a mall, and we went to build a bear workshop. Also, let's go to Feel 64, so I didn't greet you. I'm, I'm off right now. I'm, I'm fucking sleepy. Uh, and what's good, Bash Sister? Mm -mm. Calming tone for Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I, I need to get back to the story, though. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget, dude. Okay. Right. So, essentially, we went there to build a bear workshop. And my, it was like my sister's birthday or some shit. And on the way... To the mall, I was listening to the Slipknot album that had duality on it, like the I push my fingers into my eyes. It's the only way that we, you know, just like fucking edgy teenage shit. And at Build a Bear Workshop, my, my fucking sister, who at the time, this is back when she was a brat, like just a little fucking. I, I used to really not like my sister when she was younger. We're really good friends today because we, we've kind of gone through shared trauma together that, that forced us to become a lot closer. So things are different now, but back then, I did not like my sister. Um, and she got like this fucking goddamn Build-A-Bear song CD. And it's like, I can't even articulate like what the lyrics were like. Like the entire ride home, it's like, stuff me, hug me, fill me with love. And I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Why are we listening to this shit? And my fucking parents got so mad at me because I was shit talking this music that I, I don't fucking know, dude. But fuck Build a Bear music. If you listen to that shit, you're a goddamn degenerate. I don't fucking like you. <sighs> fucking ridiculous. Sif. Are you okay? What are you doing? You're hacking shit up? You okay, pup? Don't waggle at me. Alright, let me scroll back up to chat. Let me let me take a second to fix my feet. Also, let me let me uh show you the leg we got. We got the start of some armor on it. Sif? You ate too much grass when you went outside. You always do this shit. You're always just eating fucking grass like a goddamn dog generate. See, she's over there trying to itch herself now. Hey, sit. You can see her little puffy tail. Good night, Ben Nevada. Damn, what's up? Come here and get some pets. Alright, let me see. Some music for that other than the advertisements, right? You should post that on Reddit. Today I learned Build-A-Bear had music. You get like 7 billion upvotes. Okay. You know what pisses me off? Non sequitur, I'm going to ban you if you say hot take again. That shit irrationally bothers me. Like, I think that that slang is so fucking dumb. Like, when someone says, like, a, refers to, like, an opinion or something as a take, it's just like, your mother didn't raise you right. <laughs> like, you, God, that shit just bothers me, and I don't know why. It's just, oh, fuck. Fucking, well, I don't know where it came from. Like, it's one of those things where you just, you wake up one day, and everyone is like, oh my God, that's such a fucking hot take. What the fuck? I'm just like, listen, I'm living in fucking bizarro land, you know? Like, where do these people get this shit? I don't, I don't understand, like, how this shit just, like, manifested in the public conscience so quickly. I don't. I really don't. It's like rust with picavore? I guess so. I take it easy, pessimistic. Hot anything bothers me. Hot takes. It's been a hot minute. Like, what the fuck is a hot minute? 
And then they, like the thing that gets me about the hot minute thing is some people say cool minute too. I've actually heard that. So like, why is that interchangeable? Like, what what's the difference? Like, what are you even fucking saying to me? Stop talking. Fucking ridiculous. People piss me off. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? A cool minute? Yeah, I've heard that before. No meme. I swear on my fucking left knot. That's my favorite knot, by the way. Because that's the one that, that isn't uh, providing support for my fucking wang. Okay. That doesn't even mean... That's what I'm saying. I don't understand what half of the things people say to me... Like, it, I'm rapidly approaching this point in time where, like... I feel like... It... The way we speak has hit, like, a level of accelerationism, I guess. I don't know if that's actually the word. But it's accelerated to the point where, like, people are coming up with new fucking slang, new ways to express themselves, new ways to talk, new words, so quickly that I have to extrapolate the meaning of half of the shit people say to me. It's like, yo, bro, I'm fucking bone, I'm gonna beat him up, bash him. Like, yeah, you know, that sounds good. I'd like to go to Starbucks tomorrow. Sure, dude. Fucking, like, come on. Even know what people are saying anymore stay frosty ew tough keeping up with all the kids old man told you i'm 25 i'm a dinosaur look at this shit you see these t-rex hands like, look at these two fucking fingers these little stump arms the fuck a dad is <sighs> join the fucking Join the fucking club, dude. Like, I understand what it is, I guess, and that it's, like, this stupid fucking thing you do, but I don't know why people do it, you know? Like, what, what, what does it accomplish to do that fucking motion? It's, like, some sort of fucked up interpretive dance move? Are, are you just an asshole? I don't know. I really don't. Like, my first experience with dabs was actually, I remember I was, for fucking some dumb reason or another... I was watching Low Tier God, actually. I was just, like, watching videos people made about Low Tier God because I think they're fucking funny. And I was just kind of surfing from YouTube video to YouTube video. And I find this one dude who's just, like... He, he matched against Low Tier God. And one... I don't know the fucking fighting game, so you have to forgive me. I, I think it was, like, Street Fighter 4 or 5. And he's like, oh, my God, dude. Every time I, I, I win, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dab on Low Tier God. And... Like, he kicked low tier God's ass. It was, like, non-stop, like, rapid fire dabbing. And I felt like I was having... A, I, I felt like I was having a seizure. I just... I, I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like... I actually related more to low tier God in that video. Because I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Like, at least with low tier God, I can understand being, like, a salty... Uh... Uh, I almost said something I shouldn't have said. A salty asshole. But like this dabbing shit? What the fuck? Oh, what's good, Russ Money? I'm surprised you and Cry have stuck around so long. It must be real insomnia hours, boys. See, I can do slang too. Okay. Who the fuck is low tier God? Lease on life. Do you are you familiar with Pandora's box? Like this is like a box with all the secrets and shit and like all this fucking forbidden knowledge, yada yada yada. I'm like a Pandora's box for retarded shit. Like if you if you continue to come here, you're gonna be hearing about all sorts of just fucking asinine bullshit all of the time. Like, Low Tier God, Ulilia, CWC, uh, fucking DSP, like, Narcissus right? Just all sorts of fucked up shit. Okay, that was fucked up. Why'd you fall, you stupid piece? Hold on. I need a man bun. My, my bangs are getting in my nose right now. Okay. See so many people in FGC streams? Cause he, wait, what? Hold on. Cry, what the fuck? <laughs> what the shit is this, dude? <laughs> K 
Can you can you make a stream currency and that can be like the icon for it? You're my teacher then? Yeah, if you got questions, that Alright, so I guess I'll I'll start on low tier god then. Uh, low tier god is basically like this dude who gets extremely salty in the FGC, which the FGC that stands for the fighting game community. Uh, so he'll play like Street Fighter and shit. And when he loses, he'll he'll like start rage quitting and whatnot. He'll get really fucking mad. And if people are like talking shit in his chat, he'll like he bans for all sorts of shit. And he's banned from Twitch, by the way. He streams on YouTube, and he'll go get that ass banned, you worthless specimen. He'll, he'll, like he'll call people worthless specimens, lard varks, um, salad dodgers. <laughs> the man's talent for shit talking is undeniable. It really is. Like I respect his ability to shit talk. But then he'll do shit like you'll be like, oh, this dude's kind of funny. And then it'll be like, oh, you guys are just jealous because you don't have that BBC African God gene. We are a bunch of warriors. Mandingo warriors. You're just jealous that we're piston pumping your women with our BBC cocks. And it's like, oh my god. <laughs> he'll just go on and on about that shit. Like, it just never ends, dude. And... Then, then he'll like be like, I I'm gonna start my stream, donate $50 right now, or I am not turning the microphone on. And he'll turn the microphone on, and he'll end the stream if you don't give him like X amount of money within an allotted time. It's just like, it's a trip. It's a fucking trip. It really is. What's going on again, Sol? Whew. <sighs> But he's fucking funny. Maybe, like, the things that I find funny, he probably wouldn't like, but he gives me a chuckle. Got you in the FGC? I don't, I'm not in the FGC. I don't consider myself a member of a community. I'm not someone who's ever been community-minded. Uh, this is where I, I'm gonna hate you with, like, pretentious bullshit that nobody could conceivably give a fuck about. But in my mind, in life, one of the greatest things that you must cherish is your individuality. And it's... That's part of the reason that, like, I've even... Like, this stream, I don't really think there's a Tolomeo community or whatever the fuck, right? I don't consider myself to be a part of, like, the, the cryotic LNC community or whatever the shit, even though those dudes are my, my good homies. Um, because I just want to be me, dude. I don't want to be... I don't want to be associated with, like, a group of people. I want people to think of me as, like, the mem... Like, this guy's part of the... Fu like, I, I want to be my own motherfucker, you know? Any one of us is you? No, no. Like, this is something that a lot of people uh, will tell you. But, like, it's it's for that reason I don't like considering myself part of, a, part of the community, right? For a variety of reasons. It's not just that. It's not just, like, I want to be an epic individual uh, a hipster or whatever this shit. Because I think, I think a lot of the times when you have, like, a community, like a tight-knit community around something, it can turn... I don't like this word, but for the, it, it can lead to problems with things like it, some people are susceptible to getting into a community and then getting to a point where they substitute their own opinions with opinions from the community I guess rather than having their own individual outlook on things and I don't I'm, I know I'm not particularly set susceptible to that sort of mindset but it doesn't mean I want to encourage it right like, I don't I don't ever want there to be and, and don't get me wrong I'm a uh like, I'm a baby to extremer, but I, I would never want there to be, like, a group of people calling themselves, like, the fucking Tolomites or whatever this shit going around and just causing trouble, you know? But I, I guess, you know, sometimes even if you don't want that, we've got people going in and just, like, fucking flooding cries chat with rats. <laughs> I, I guess to a certain degree, I, I encourage it, but it, it can be fucking difficult. And so you got people who think that, like, 
everyone in my stream is just some fucking rat poster who does nothing but spam fucking rats. Which is funny. Because in here, there's not a lot of rats most of the time. Like, most of the time, like, nobody's even talking to me. I'm just kind of rambling to myself. But when fucking Saturday rolls around, it's time for cry stream. God damn. And it... I don't know. I, I, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. But basically, one of... What I'm trying to say is I don't like fostering, uh, at least I try to, uh, I, I at least make an effort to avoid, um, fostering like a group mentality sort of thing, because I don't like group mentality. I think that people should be judged based on themselves, not the people or groups they associate with. Pandora's box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, pretty much one of my favorite hobbies, and it, it, it kind of still is, but one of my major time wasters before this whole, like, streaming thing happened is I'd make fun of idiots on YouTube and Twitch. Um, like, at one point, my sister used to watch Cry a lot, and he, he just said something about the Cry Babies thing, and I understand exactly where you're coming from, Cry. But... I remember she used to, my sister used to like religiously watch the LNC. Like she, like, she, we would make plans and shit in real life. And she'd be like, I can't do anything on Saturday because I need to watch the LNC. <laughs> I'm like, you fucking serious? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, are you retarded? And so. I'd, like, go in, and she would watch, like, all sorts of popular YouTubers at the time, like, Tabuskis, Jack's Films, or a couple that I remember, and, alright, so, I would go in and pretty much just relentlessly shit talk, uh, whoever the fuck she happened to be watching, and so one day she was watching Cry, and they were playing, like, Smash Brothers against, like, some pro or some shit, and I'm just like, yo, dude, these guys fucking suck. They're terrible, dude. He's like, why are you watching this shit, Ashley? Just like, not, not, I didn't even know who they were. But just because my sister was watching them, I would, I would shit talk them for no real reason just to get under my sister's skin. So, like, kind of ironic now, huh? And I remember when I first met Cry, he invited me to Smash, and I ate my words because he kicked my ass. Uh, he... Like, I, I, I got punished for my shit talking. There's there's at least some justice in the world. But it's just, it's kind of funny, you know? Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Alright. You let him win? Hmm. In my defense, I hadn't played Smash in years, and that was my first time playing the new one. And he'd pull shit, he'd pull stupid shit out like the fucking DLC characters and just wall up me. Oh yeah, croissant. Yeah, she. Cause I remember one time. Um... Okay. Basically, so what happened was, Cry came into my stream during Bloodborne, and he said like, "Yo, dog, you're good at this game or whatever." Fuck, I forget exactly what he said, but it was something to that effect. And I noticed, I recognized his name immediately, because like I said, I would, I would sit there and like poke fun at the people uh, my sister would watch. And I'm kind of like after after the stream, I and the next time I talked to my sister, I'm like, oh yo, that one fucking dude from like the LNC, like Cry Toic or whatever the shit was in my stream, isn't that weird? And she's like, oh my fucking god, can can you get the autograph? No, she she wasn't like that. At that point, she. I think she had stopped watching them on any sort of regular basis because she stopped watching like YouTube and shit, like YouTubers. Um, but she's like, oh, that's, she's like, holy shit, what the fuck, are you for real? That's wild. And yeah. And she thinks it's fucking weird that I'm friends with them. And she, she makes remarks on it every once in a while. Like, I still think it's so fucking weird that you play with Cry and them now. I'm like, yeah. Life's strange. Communities form, yeah, communities form regardless, but you can, you can take an active effort into at least trying to shape the community into a form that you want. Like, we have a community in this stream, but I don't think this is a community that's particularly prone to, like, 
groupthink or mob mentality because like honestly the people in here shit on each other more than anything else like if you go to my discord it's just it's like if you it, it's it's wailing and gnashing of teeth let's just put it that way so i don't know i don't think there's like a barrier for entry to i think i think you can be like a new person and come in here and not feel like particularly disadvantaged it's not really like not really like a big click thing going on like some streams you go to and there's like all of the mods and viewers know each other and they're like greeting them by name and shit and that can be sort of daunting for a new viewer you know like you go in there and like maybe maybe you like the streamer and there's but like you you see like the people talking and shit and you feel like there's a, there's a barrier of entry that's perhaps impassable for you Thankfully, I, I don't feel like we have that. We're not very close-knit in that regard. God. Dude, Discord once I got too confused. Yeah, that happens. My Discord, if you talk in there, you're going to... If you have, like, a white name and they don't recognize your name, they're going to shit on you. They're going to tell you to kill yourself, um, amongst other delightful things. They're not a particularly uh, fuzzy wuzzy group of people. I think they get carried away personally, but there's not much I can do because I I don't have a uh, I I don't really intervene in what people do unless it's something that's like really fucking bad. Like one time, there was a a girl like an underage girl who was threatening to post like fucking naked pictures in discord and at that point yeah you gotta fucking go in and step in but i like i like uh doing my own thing here's the progress on the leg by the way we're, we're doing all right with this fast to that discord well the thing is that you need to realize scoop is there are a lot of people who have joined recently and that doesn't necessarily... Like, some of them are probably from Cry, yeah. But there's a lot of people who have been joining who just are their own thing for the most part. And it, it's kind of weird that... Like, the, the unironically XD thing, yeah, I get that's kind of that's kind of fucking funny. But, like, I don't understand why that's a problem. Why don't you just, like, fucking laugh at it? Because sometimes I, I think you people take the Discord a little bit too seriously. TBH family a ding dong. Right, so we need E and D now. We're almost done with the legs. You have no say. It's not that I don't have a say. Like, it's that I don't really give a shit. Like, I want people to be able to express themselves how they see fit. I would like to be able to express myself how I see fit. So I see no particular reason to intervene unless it's actually becoming like a real substantial problem. Sometimes I act a little bit too late and things get carried away before I can nip it in the blood. Case in point, Restrui. Uh, there are definitely some times where I should probably uh, ban people and uh, just drop the hammer on them, but I don't like doing that. I, I, I don't want people to be afraid of voicing like an unpopular opinion or some shit. Or being afraid of being themselves. I want, I want, I want to come in Rainbow Dash to come in here and feel comfortable talking about how much they want to fuck ponies. Um, they might, they know they're probably gonna get shit for it, and they're probably gonna get people calling them like a like a dumb brony or whatever the fuck. But they know they can do that, right? They're not. They know they're not going to be, uh, like exiled from the stream or, or like whatever the fuck they're gonna be able to voice whatever the hell opinion they want even if it runs contrary to mine or anyone else in the stream chats and i think that's important personally that's important for the sort of stream i want to have at the very least right i need d okay i like banning people i mean it's satisfying because it, uh, ex like most humans get like a base response of satisfaction from exerting control and dominance over other people and organisms that's part that's part of why humans are the way we are, and that's why that's why some people get banned happy and like start power tripping when they get mod and shit. It feels good. It feels good. You get banned. No, you've expressed your political opinions before. You've disagreed with me on a variety of things, like uh, the subject of guns and whatnot. And you have it. You're still here. Now, if by political opinions you mean like saying racist shit, like I, 
like shit that's actually banned on Twitch, then yeah, I'd probably have to. I'd probably have to tell you to stop doing that, or I'd have to ban you because I'd get fucking banned by Twitch if I allowed shit like that. And then there's, I don't know. But you've expressed political opinions in here before, and you're 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 just fine. You're sitting pretty. Okay. Do actual passion? No, I get that. I feel like politics is good in Discord. I have to be in a certain mood for politics. I don't mind it sometimes, but it's it's rare. Be verbally bludgeoned by chat. Well, see, here's the thing: is like that even if free speech is a thing and you're allowed to say whatever you want, you have to be willing to own up to like the potential consequences of saying something. Like, if I were to say, okay, well, I have I think that Dark Souls One is the best game of all time, and then people are like, no, fuck you. Ba 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 ba. Like, that that's a shitty example, but you you should be prepared for people uh, people disagreeing with your opinion, even if it's a particularly strong disagreement. Oh fuck! I hate this part. This thing that can't stay on for shit. Uh, yeah, you you can, but I'm mostly talking about Twitch, Rainbow Dash. Um, I don't think I've ever seen you in Discord, but. Twitch's new TOS actually stated that you can you can get banned for some shit uh, off site now. Although I think that's mostly pertaining to your actions rather than what people are doing in your Discord. But really, can, can you can you really tell with Twitch? Okay. All right. Here's what we got so. About to put in the fucking foot. I think I put this on backwards actually. Did I? No, but that looks really weird. Alright, we got the first leg. The leg's complete. Okay. Alright, now I just need to make the, the joint for the one on top. Alright, Pong with or Pong. Penguin, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Serious piece? No, I get that. I understand, but it's like I said. Sometimes Twitch just is unpredictable. I like erring on the side of caution. Although I think it's fine now. I don't think anyone's gotten fucked for like people saying shit in their Discord. But even so, I think uh, I can't really have people raiding other discords and shit like that's one big no-no like i think it like it let's say if my chat were to say not my chat my discord a couple people like let's go and fuck on this streamer for for whatever reason like brigade them then i think i i i could still be held accountable for that even if my discord was the one who decided to do it so that's one of the things that's actually bannable so if you want to get banned you should that you heard of ashen no games you're looking forward to uh now that cry says he wants to play it the english release of double cross uh sounds fun i, I I'm, I'm always down for more monster hunter um because i like like i was telling him last year when we were doing monster hunter 3 U towards the end of the year was it was uh some of the most fun I've had during streaming, like it was really cool. And I would I would like to beat a Monster Hunter game that's not world with them too. That would be nice. So we I think Russ said he was down. Like at one point Russ told me that he wanted to play even if Cry didn't play, so we just need to get Snake on board now. And we'll have the four boys. Okay, hold on. What is this cry? Oh no. It took me a second. Oh no. <laughs> what 
the fuck, dude? How bored are you right now? Like, I know my stream's boring, but Jesus. Fuck, dude. Come on. Use Guild GS again? Maybe. I'm not sure. Might use Dual Blades or something. I haven't decided yet. But I like Guild Grey Sword. What's wrong with Guild Grey Sword, Jail? Hi, right, Bull Cactus. Take it easy, dog. What if someone came to your Discord and posted the 14 words? Mm. I don't know. What the fuck? Dude. This is like the most shoddy piece of armor I've seen on one of these. Like, this thing can barely hold together. This little... I don't even know how to describe it. So you put, all right, so what's happening here is on the ankle, you see those two little parts on the bottom? Those are supposed to hold this. Like these two little things, you, you squeeze it in and they're supposed to hold it in place, but it doesn't really, it's, it's, it's tricky. It's very easy to accidentally move one of them where you're trying to put like a foot on and have the entire thing fucking explode like it just did. There we go. Alright. Now you have both feet. Both legs. Now for size comparison, look at look at the leg compared to the one we, we just made. Maybe not just made at this point, but you can see there's a pretty substantial size difference there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like this is this is turning into a five ten versus six foot uh, art piece. What's going on? Give me image ideas to replace Estes flask. A uh, piss jug. A piss jug. You kicked that Diet Coke can, Sif. Fuck that can. I agree. Mm -mm. All right. So what? What's next? What? What is the little thing gonna tell me to do now? The waste unit. What a waste of time. Alright, I need some drink. I need to go get some tea and some Diet Coke. Sound good? Show us your dog. She's tired. I've, I've put her on camera like fucking seven times tonight. I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to abuse her. Ooh. Making fun of my piss chug. Oh yeah, low tier guy has the piss chug too, huh? I'll be right back. Oh, give me a moment.
Okay. Uh, oh, alright, alright, alright. What the fuck, Toll? What's up? What happened? What? Don't make that noise at me, Steph. <laughs> oh, no! She's yodeling. Ah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Where were we? We're making the waste unit now. Okay. So we need E10, E8, the two E8s, 10 and 11. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oof. I forgot what we were talking about. I'm kind of at that level of being tired where if we talk about something, I'm going to completely forget as soon as we move on. Alright, wait. What's going on? Is your shirt gone? No, it's still up. Later, Cerulean. Take it easy. It's me all the time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sleepy. I'm, I'm going to finish this robot, though. But I'm probably gonna be like dead. I think uh, I'll probably take tomorrow off and do Wrong World next weekend. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll wake up. Maybe it'll be one of those things. Where I'm like, yeah, dude, it's like fucking 10 a.m. I'm gonna sleep for like eight hours. And it's like, wow, you woke up at fucking 1 p.m. Fuck you. Because that happens a lot. That happens more than I would like. So that is definitely within the realm of possibility. Without, without a doubt. Okay. You're getting old? Yeah, I'm a dinosaur. You wanna hear my dinosaur noise, Argark? Alright. Hmm. Okay, so now we smack this together. Sleep schedule's been fucked up lately. See, I feel like look look at this. Like they're flat pieces. It's so hard to show you how I'm actually putting them together. Here's my dinosaur noise. You ready? Like, so if, you, if you're out in the jungle and you hear that shit, you hear stomping, you better be careful. That's all I'm saying. It's a PC-14 and F4. I probably woke at least a couple people up with that one. Just woke up. Fuck the sleeping schedule police. Nice. Nice. Just woke me up. I'm sorry. I apologize. But the, the Argark wanted me to make a dinosaur noise. So I, had, I had to do it for the people. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Alright. Like a balloon when you hold the neck taut. Perfect voice for the thing Cry did. I thought you were going to say that is a perfect voice for Cry. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Cry, yo, dude. Yo, cry, homie. When are we gonna play Monster Prom again? I fucking love that game. What's in the box to the right here? That is actually the box for the robot that's standing on top of it. That's a perfect grade. You, you, you see the size differential there? So this is high grade, the blue one. That's the smallest one. Then you have Master Grade, which I haven't finished, but it's the size of the legs. Then you have Perfect Grade, which is like fucking five foot ten versus six foot. Um, those are the big, big, big ones, uh, that take, like, even, even if you're doing this with, like, out streaming or anything, that probably takes, like, took me, like, 15, 20 hours to do when all was said and done. Um, so it was, a, it was an adventure. Okay. I'm pretty sure the fucking focus of this has shifted quite considerably since I started. I apologize, I'm no good at this sort of thing. That'll just have to do for now. That, that looks fine, I think. Still up since the first mile, like two people. Super deformed. I don't count those. Those are fuck. It's like counting the stupid fucking bears. Like they have these little uh, bear Gundams where it's like there's just these stupid fucking bears. And I think the idea is that you buy one for like your girlfriend to make while you're making a real robot. 
And I did that. I got Amanda a uh, bear, and she liked it. But because Amanda's actually, believe it or not, the one who got me into all this robot shit. Because um, the first time I visited her in California, um, I saw one. And I'm like, oh, that kind of looks neat. And she's like, she's like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get you that. Like, you should do it. And we should do it. I'm like, okay. Okay. And so I did. And like, Amanda's the one who's responsible for all of this shit. I need to stop dropping stuff. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a, I'm a butterfingers. Like that's the main thing about doing this is I have no dexterity whatsoever. I have negative dex. So I apologize for that. Okay. Oh no. Now the bubbles in your tank look on your table. Yeah, I like the reflection on the table. Like people have been like, oh dude, why the fuck don't you have tablecloth? I I like the effect personally. Here's Amanda girlfriend. I, I I don't I don't like calling her my girlfriend because I always thought that's kinda of weird, like you're trying to show her off like a trophy. I've known a couple people who seems like my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. I feel like it's too formal almost. So Amanda's uh my wife. XB. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, this is the piece we're gonna do right here. Check this out. Later, Summer. Have a good night. Look at this little baby dick uh, transparent piece. Right here. What a whopper. Mm, your girlfriend? Yeah, you're not, no, I'm not. That's how I feel like it comes off if you're constantly like, oh, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Ah. Okay. I just think too much, I guess. Like, half of the things I worry about, like, logically, I know literally nobody gives a shit about, but that's just how I am. I'm a stickler for details that nobody could conceivably give a fuck about. I think that's a good way of describing my personality. <laughs> like, I live in a universe where, like, I'm the only one who cares about anything that happens in my life, and I, I'm, I'm egotistical enough to think other people do, and that's my main failing in life, I suppose. <laughs> one of my main failings. Alright. So let's see. I think I got it. What, what the fuck is the point of that piece? First hour of the stream, is you worrying about some minor shit? Well, I mean, I think in that case, it's, it's fine. Because, like, look at it from my perspective. I think a lot of the times, even if it seems silly, if you put yourself in, like, my mindset, it'll seem a lot more logical. Like, this is something, this stream is something that I've been talking about doing for over a year, easily. And... It, it, it the point has gotten to, it feels like no matter how well I did, it would potentially be a disappointment just because it's like a mythical fucking stream. It's a unicorn of a stream. A lot of people didn't think it ever happened. Um, and I think I think even even when I said last month that I'm gonna do it for sure this summer, uh, people didn't think that I was gonna pull through. Even even at the beginning of the stream, I was I was like I had my chat open because I was trying to get everything ready so I could start right after I was done with cry because I knew people were waiting on me. Uh, Vlad Tet's like, Tolo's gonna pussy out. He's gonna flake. And I'm just like, oh my god. So, you know, that's kind of stressful. Like, this is a stream where basically uh, there's a lot of expectation going into it. It's supposed to be like one of the, uh, like, like a stream that's just gonna be really enjoyable, kind of. At least as far as my streams go. Maybe not enjoyable in the grand scheme of things, but it's, it's something that's... It would really fucking suck if this stream was dog shit. Let me just put it that way. That would be, like, the biggest disappointment to my my audience that I think would have ever happened. So, that's kind of stressful. That's kind of stressful. What's going on, Mike? And Coco Loco? 420? I have three Serpe Tetras, five glass catfish, a... Clown Pleco, 
a weather loach, three peacock, gudgeons, and a shrimp. A vampire shrimp. His name's Shrimpathy. Okay, so that, that's pretty much like where I've been. Like I've been honestly like freaking out about this stream. Like, oh my god, how am I actually gonna make this fucking good? Like this is a Gundam stream. I've never used the webcam before. I don't know if this lighting looks worth the fuck. So at the beginning of the stream, I'm like, okay, okay, I gotta I, be nervous, be nervous. Don't let them sense your fear, Tolomeo. And it's like your webcam sucks, lighting fucking shit. And it's like, what the fuck? And it's like, oh my god. I mean, granted, it was a Nana saying that. At least uh, he was one of the people saying that. So this should have been an immediate disregard for me. But it's just like, fuck, dude. I want so bad for the stream to be good that it's just... Uh, I don't know. Like, Inyo Lefty and Ananas are people that I should literally never give a fuck about when they say shit like that. Because they, no matter what I do, like, logically, I know, they'll be like, yo, fuck you. This is bad. Um, whether they... I don't think Ananas means it. I'm not sure about Inyo Lefty, though. And it's just like, fuck, dude, can, can I just have, like, one goddamn stream where, like, people leave me be? Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, yeah, okay, the aspect ratio's messed up. Like, yeah, okay, I can take note of that and fix that next time. But, like, goddamn. Okay. the wrong way? Yeah, I am. Okay. Now, 37. Make it easy on you? You know, it, it, it would be nice. It would be nice to uh, just have a stream where people relax. <laughs> it really would. Although Hollow Knight's been pretty fun for the most part. What's going on, Blacklight? Showing enough cleavage? I'm sorry. I don't know what the web, the the aspect ratio shit's about. Like, it's not a huge deal unless I'm like showing like the diet coke can, and it looks like it it it, it looks like a fucking fat chode. <laughs> it really does. So I didn't really notice that too much because I didn't have myself in the uh, test stream very often. And notice like the really fucking weird proportions. But it, honestly, I don't think that's a huge deal. Is it a little bit jarring once you realize it? Yeah, kind of, but I don't think it has any real effect. Okay, so I need 36 35. Okay. Wait, hold on. What did jail have to say? Four, three. Yeah, I guess that's true, I did. But that like that's something that I just started doing because there are some games that I've been playing recently, but that's pretty much like how you get them to work with widescreen is you just do the transform fit to screen or whatever the fuck. So there's probably one of those things that where I was just too autopilot and I I shouldn't have been. Okay. Think of it like this, if people watching streams for quality wouldn't be here, true enough. Let's, let's do this shit. Put this son of a bitch on. Alright. Legs alone almost as tall as the previous mech. Yup, yup. That's the difference in uh, the grades. Sometimes these instructions piss me off, I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck? Okay. And then I have to smack this on, I think. Alright, so I got part of the little waist thing here. How long have you had this hobby? Uh, about a year and a half-ish. 
What's going on, Terminus? Not, I was just kind of mumbling there. Is he really building virginity to protect? Yeah, look at this son of a bitch. Look at this son of a bitch. Blob tell. If you brought a woman to your house and she saw this thing, she would yeet out of there immediately. <laughs> Alright. I'm not your normal demographic. I'm a 50 year old with two kids. Provide a welcome distraction. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it, dog. Surprised the title doesn't involve you getting hurt. Good night, B. Biju Shukaku. I can't pronounce your fucking name. I'm sorry. Woman enter your house and eat it out because you're Gundams. You don't need her. You're definitely degenerate, but you're total king of degenerates. Not if you stuck it in her ass. Man. Man. Whew. That's, uh... See, if I was on Reddit right now, I'd go, Yikes, dog. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but thankfully, we're not on Reddit. So I'm not going to do that. All right. Okay. How the fuck do I do this shit? I've lost track of like all of my pieces. So when are we all going to go on a Reddit adventure, fellow gamers? When are you guys going to go to Reddit with me? We'll sit there. We'll go to we'll go to Brain Cells. We'll go to... What other? We'll go to Trashy. I like Trashy a lot. Trashy is a funny subreddit. There's also one where it's like... I don't even know what it's called. It's like Hoppus or some shit. Which I thought was a terrorist organization. What it was is actually even worse, though. Okay. New Reddit recap? What is that? Reddit recap? No, probably not. My bad, because I enjoy Reddit. There are some parts of Reddit that are alright. It's just an easy scapegoat. Reddit is the bronies of websites. Like, Reddit is the, uh... Is the brony of the image sharing like fucking meme websites that's how I view it at least All right. so now we got the waste at least a lot of it only seen people dying part of reddit browse reddit with the stream is that actually allowed on twitch though I thought I, I was kind of under the impression that you could get in trouble for shit like that hmm yeah, do it. Okay. I need to get banned eventually. Like, people would be so fucking happy. Like, I'm pretty sure if I were to get, like, permanently banned off of Twitch, like, several people would write that day down in their calendar, and that would be... That would be a holiday for them for the rest of their lives. Maybe not, not for the rest of their lives. Maybe, like, a year or two. Be like a fucking festival. Alright, so we need 38 and 39. Alright. Man. Mm -hmm. Total, do you have the other Virginia protection? What be show Joe? Statues? What the fuck is a Bishoujo statue? Can you explain that to me in a little bit more detail, please? I have no fucking concept as to what you're talking about right now. Not even the faintest idea. I mean, I have a faint idea. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's a, it's a titty statue of some sort, but hopefully not. Okay. Who else would build virgin protectors? There's one person I've seen building. I remember I saw them on livestream fails. They built like a perfect grid and it like fell the fuck down and like shattered into several pieces. Apparently none of it was permanently damaged, but god damn, that is like the leader in boner killer technology. 
I would be so upset. Spend all that time just falls the fuck down. And that's life, right? Uh, thanks for the resub on Solves. Thanks for using that Prime sub on me, homie. How are you? How are the wife and kids? Red is dangerous. True, true. Dragon Swag would know. I'm pretty sure Dragon Swag is one of the leading Redditologists from Tyrannum and the Nosaurus Lex's stream. Now I got a nice little title and everything. Feudal Lord of Reddit. Pretty girl in Japanese. Gotcha. What's going on, Slay Hair? Wife and kids kidnap? Why'd you kidnap your wife and kids, dude? That's kind of fucking weird. I don't know what would motivate you to do that here. Let me turn it a little bit more to the left so you can see. Ooh. Oh, what's good, Skull Candy? Moshi Moshi Rato Desu. I should have got alcohol. Nice hands, thank you. I've been told they're yaoi hands, though. Go to fuck his sleep. I'm not done with my virginity protector. What if a harlot attacks me in my sleep? What the fuck am I gonna do then? Thought about hand modeling? I mean, I'd probably be better at it than I am a streamer if we're gonna be blunt. So maybe if someone, if someone needs a hand model, hit me up, dude. My, my email is uh, tolomiar at gmail.com. Please don't send me wiener pictures. these out okay I didn't know the foreigns what do you mean the foreigns <laughs> I'm a foreign now huh all right need a handy model got some things that need drilling when will you quit streaming and start your career as an anime reviewer. Hopefully fucking never. That would be what what that would be a nightmare job. Like having to fucking watch anime and review it. God damn it. I have green card. I recognize that arm burn, upper rack of an oven. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. I'll give it to you. That's pretty fucking funny. I I thought it was I thought it was too faded to actually see, but yeah, I, I burned my arm doing fucking pizza. <laughs> God damn it! See, some people are fucking crazy. I'm. Is it really that noticeable? The soy boy burn. Just on soft, shut the fuck door. The soy boy burn. The soy boy burn would be on your fucking palm because you fucked yourself trying to twist a goddamn soil and bottle open. You know this. Come on. Okay. What's going on, Saxploitation? You didn't even notice any burn? Dude, I swear to God, it's super faded. Like, it's. Like right here? It's it's somewhere. It's it's very hard to see. I don't know how the fuck you saw it. I really don't. Your desk is blowing bubbles, I like it. Can't even see Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how the fuck did he see that shit? I really don't get like maybe maybe the uh maybe this, like that's not from the fucking oven though. That was a laceration. Uh, but I have one right here. Like, I pulled it out. I had the oven mitt, like, right here. And it, like, hit the lip right around here. And it fucking burned me. And I, it, had, it was, like, bubbling and shit. It was fucked up. Okay. God, look at this skirt. Okay, 
Kind of, yes, installed. I was, I was, I was actually, actually, no, I won't say that joke. I'm not, I don't want to get fucking banned. No. All right. I don't want to get my ass banned. I might be a worthless specimen, but I got a lot to live for. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna put the legs on here. Okay, so that part can suck a fucking penis. Just not mine. Oh, look at these dainty little robot legs. Don't look shit on my ass cheeks when I sat on a cup ramen. What the fuck? Are you serious? A bubbling ass because of ramen. That's like a cautionary tale right there if I've ever heard one. I'm pretty sure you could find a way to spin that to don't watch Naruto. Building some kind of Gundams? Yeah, I'm building the Buster Gundam. The Buster Gundam, I think it was like $40 or some shit. Okay. So we got the legs. Let's, let, me, let me bring them up close so you can see them. Oh, look at this. We got nice, thick calves ready to, ready to go hiking. Long walks on the beach sort of thing. And let's go ahead and put the torso on. This is this is what we got so far. Um, he's uh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Look at look at him. He's already significantly taller than the fucking blue man. Oh, everyone should watch Naruto. I don't agree. I do not agree. I remember one time, my my parents took us to Shreveport. Louisiana for vacation. If you've ever been to Shreveport, Louisiana, you would know that that... God, what, how could I describe it? Going to Shreveport, Louisiana for vacation is like going to a local fucking truck stop for for like a high-class escort experience. It's just, it's stupid. I don't know why you'd ever do that. And like my fucking parents would leave us in the hotel where they went gambling at casinos. And I had to watch fucking TV at the hotel. And the only thing they had was Naruto. So I saw like the first couple of episodes of it. And God. I don't get it. I don't get it. Lot lizards are hot dice. No, they're not. Come on. Let's see if you found another hobby. I mean, I mean, look, look, look right over there. I have a couple hobbies. I'm just not very good at any of them. Oh, look, the gudgeons are out. It's nice. It's good that they're getting more comfortable. That, that's a brave little fish. Holy fuck. That thing's not even as long as the garami's tail, and it's just, like, staring him down. It's impressive, honestly. I remember watching Naruto as a kid with my dad. Octopus is a hobby of mine. I, exactly. Serious about octopuses. The enthusiast club. Okay, so now we have number 12. That's what we need. What do we need to hold to? We need another D20 and another D19. I'm going to pay more attention so I can get them on the first round. The hottest article of clothing a girl can wear? Um, I personally like negligee. I've always been a fan. Okay. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that word right, but it's probably one of those fucked up words where it's like, melelegele, or some shit, and I'm just, I'm the stupid America, America that doesn't know how to, uh, Pronounce it properly. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Remember when I was when I was a young boy, I used to say lingerie instead of lingerie. I fucking hate words like that. I really do. I I, I detest shit like baloney as a word. Shrimpathy revealed himself. Not that I've seen. Like, maybe he's popped out and I haven't noticed him. I really haven't been paying that much attention to the fish tank. But he, he's pretty easy to see. Like, he's a big, fat fucking shrimp, so... 
No, no shrimpathy sightings as far as I'm aware. Okay, now D21 and D22. I need two of each of these. Okay, apron. Actually, that's true too. Like, not to get too into it, but the idea of like coming home from like a long day of work. Not, not that I do that now, but like if I were. Like still doing security or some shit. Or like had had a job that required me to go out, spend all day outside the house. Coming home to like uh, a girl wearing nothing but an apron is just fuck. That you know that image where it's like it's got a button and it's got like a fucking hand, and it's got like a caption over the button. That like imagine my hand over that button with the word nut. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Thanks for the bits, cry bro. I appreciate it, dog. Turtle? Why would I want a turtle, dude? Mm. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me like that. I haven't said anything to you. It's quite rude. Okay. Now, D17 is the one we need. All right. Has Sif ever tried to eat your fish? No, Sif doesn't. If you were here at the beginning of the stream, we had a, a toy at the at the very end of the table over here, and Sif won't even like jump up on the table to get her toy. Like she's very polite, believe it or not. Like I know that's a weird way of describing a dog, but she knows she's not allowed to like jump on shit. And I remember she's only stolen food from me one time. I remember I left her in my room and I left a uh, little Caesar's pizza on the table and I went to go get like a drink or something downstairs and she had opened the box and eaten some pizza but she had only taken one slice just a singular slice and I couldn't help but but uh just kind of chuckle at it she could have eaten the entire thing and slobbered all over it but she just ate one fucking slice she's a funny dog I can't believe she's going to be four fucking years old. That's sad. Her birthday is in December. Alright, good dog. She liked the pizza. Almost as good as Soda Drinker Pro. I'm glad you like it, Snow. What's good, homie? So this is our current project. got the, the chest and the, the legs and the arms, the head and the big, big gun. What kind of dog is Sif? She is a Samoyed. Wouldn't take it on her own? Yeah, that's amazing, right? Want a pup really bad, but I live by myself in a single bedroom apartment. I work 24 hour shifts at a time. That sounds fucking terrible. Holy fuck. 24 hour shifts. God damn. I don't know how you have the fortitude to do that. You're a stronger man than me. <sighs> Fucking, that's a long time, dude. How often do you have to do that? How many times a week? Alright, let's take a six hours. No, this and this. Like This is the second one we're making. Sif is four years old. Yeah, it's, it's sad, right? Only does 24-hour streams when Neo comes out. I The longest stream I ever had is uh, for the Bloodborne DLC. I streamed 23 and a half hours. That's just me, right? Like, I could go 24 and it'd be fine. Like, made it this far. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I don't give a shit. Stop it right here. End the stream. Cut the video. What the fuck? Dude, am I on drugs right now? I think I took too much, fellow gamers. Okay. And now 
I need F3. I don't even think I've taken anything from F. Four. Two, two times a week. Firefighter shifts. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Way away from 24. Man, fuck you. Don't talk shit about me. Alright. So, F. No, I have seen this. What the fuck? The fuck is that iced tea? What? Okay, what the fuck is wrong with this? Is, are you guys gonna attack me about this too? Like, you have too many ice cubes in your fucking your cup. How dare you? What the hell is wrong with you, you subhuman piece of shit? Why would you use a cup like that? Why isn't taking baby sips? You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking. <sighs> Fuck. Hold on. Is there any ice left? No. The specimen using ice like that. Thank you for putting Admiral Pop and Fresh in the cock shed. Now, I read it, Melty Mortal. I just chose not to respond. I read most things. I don't. I don't miss that much. But a lot of time, I just. I, I'll just say, you know what? I'm not even gonna say anything about that. Cause then I'll say like, then I'll put it. I'll do. I'll do what you request, and they'll be like, you did it wrong, you fucking asshole. Fuck you. Oh, what's Cry doing now? Finish modding for this day. <laughs> That's pretty good. Stealing my memes. Stealing my memes, but you used them in a, in a acceptable way. Cry's just the, the thief of fucking memes. Okay. Drinking liquids? Weirdos? Why do you think so low of me? I mean, the thing is, like, at some point... You just get so used to so many people. Like, oh, fuck it, I just got told that, like... I, I just got shit talked for taking baby sips. Like, you just expect people to just find the smallest, my, most minute reason to just give you a hard time, you know? <laughs> like, I have yaoi hands. Um, God, what did, what did Solves call me a soy boy for? I can't even fucking remember. It was something asinine. Oh, yeah, for, for having a burn. Uh, I'm a soy boy. It's just like, come on. Are your ladyboy hands enough to build this machine? Yeah, I think so. This isn't going in for some reason. Let's do it this way. Ooh, want to hear you go? Not a single? I don't know about that. I think you're being far too generous. Because, see, one, one of the things... One of the, uh... One of the downsides... Of having a... A stream where you let people just, like, pretend to be retarded... Is eventually you're gonna... Like, it... Alright, so, let's say 95% of people... Just fuck around. Invariably, you're in, you're inevitably gonna attract a group of people who just don't understand that it's memes and are completely serious about it. If that makes sense, like so, let's say uh, we we all are like, oh, Tolo's a fucking retard. Eventually, if you we keep saying something like that. You're going to attract a group of people who come in and they're like, oh yeah, we this, the point of this streamer is to just fucking like shit talk nonstop. You know what I mean? Like that that's just how that that doesn't actually happen. But I'm giving you an example of like uh, what I'm trying to articulate. I'm not doing a very good job because I'm tired. Why am I mean? What, what did I do? Okay. Slowly turning and no, not quite. It was more like 4chan back in the Bloodborne days. Like that that was when it was fucking wild, but it was wild in a different way. <laughs> it was like Ram Ranch wild. Alright. 
basically what I'm trying to tell you is there is a comic on the internet of some dude slowly transforming into a diaper, a wear diaper, if you will. Wear diapers, you're a wear diaper. So I'm like that, basically, except instead of a diaper, I'm a doormat. <laughs> Although, I don't, the diaper would be, like, what, what possesses a man, or a woman, a human being, a sentient, sapient entity, to make a comic that involves them transforming into a diaper, a wear diaper? Like, why does that happen? See, people are like, they'll always talk about, like, the mysteries of the universe, like, what's under the sea, what's in... What's in the cosmos? I want to know what the fuck is going on in that person's head. Thank you for the sub, Puffle Muff. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the emotes. Okay. Met the chat then. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. Um, why am I not surprised it's a thing? I don't know. Very detailed. Yeah, it's like fucking 50 panels long. Like, you think this is like a, some dumb fucking comic that's four panels long? No, it's actually extremely detailed, the, the process of turning into a, uh, a wear diaper. It's, uh... I'm reminded distinctly of a type of popsicle, like an ice cream beverage that used to exist in Disney. It was a Tarzan one called It's a Caduzzi. The internet is just one big it's a caduzzi to me. Hmm. Okay. Have there been retards like re? Oh, no, no, no. Not really. <laughs> that was funny, though. I'm still waiting for a response from the dude who called me a foreign. Like, I didn't know foreigns like Gundam. Like, I don't know. His name was Kevin, so he's not... I, I'm presuming he's not Japanese. I mean, it makes sense if someone with, like, a Japanese name came in, like, oh, I didn't know foreigners did this shit. But, like, Kevin? What the fuck? I don't get it. Like I said, the world's a weird place. Kevin Kojima. Oh, what's good, Santa Wins? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm fucking blind. I have to. I have to do this one. Get that close to my face. All right. Um, and I get this one. Why aren't you speed running Gundams? I'm not going to pay, like, however fu the fuck much for these and finish them quickly. I want to enjoy it. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Ow, oh, ow. My feet are asleep. Fuck. That hoits. Okay. Put this son of a bitch on. So now we have the basics of the arms right now. Okay, there's more than one wear diaper comic. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. I haven't seen a second one, though. I don't know if I want to. I really don't. Then there's the fucked up one, too. Like, a comic of a dude transforming into a horse. Like, he has clothes on, and, like, his clothes start ripping and shitting as he becomes this degenerate... Horse beast. Are you ever getting up dog? No. What's up dog? <sighs> okay, so I and L. Oh shit, don't come back here. I think this is I down here. Nice little we need two nines. Okay, he's 
snippy snippy. It's like we're uh, it's like we're about to get a vasectomy and get a Nintendo Switch as a reward. Excellent. Horse comics very strange. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. That is putting it lightly. It's like fucked up X-rated animorphs. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. So now we got two fours. Alright, snippy snippy. Later Valk, take it easy. Stream putting together Warhammer? I've never done Warhammer personally. Doing this because you secretly wish you could be aware of Gundam? Secretly? That's that's like the opening statement for my Patreon. Is I, I want a serum that will turn me into a fucking robot. Please give me shekels. I gotta say, one of the funniest fucking nicknames for a person I've ever seen is calling Ice Poseidon the Shekel Goblin. That shit makes me chuckle every single goddamn time. Alright. Fucking Shackle Goblin. Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm just chuckling thinking about it. Why is your Banshee white? What the fuck did you just say to me, you son of a bitch? I have 50 confirmed kills. I, I, I wish I knew that shit by heart. And the shit was so fucking cash one, too. I wonder what Clyde Cash is up to this day, or these days. I wonder if CWC ever strangled that Clyde Cash. That should be the next episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Okay. So we got this. Let me see. Now we need L6. And I won. And with this, we're actually done with the the uh, the, the L rack. Okay. Oh, no, I don't think I will. That sounds terrible. I'm not going to look that up. Gundam existed IO. Would you get your legs amputated for a chance to pilot one for your legs amputated? What the fuck? That sounds pretty shit. It's already painted. No, they come uh, pre-painted, but you can paint them with your own shit if you if you want. I'm just fucking lazy and I don't like painting. Because I would make a mess. I'd be like a toddler. Okay. It's kind of a weird fucking part. Honestly. Is my cat making fucked up degenerate noises again? Yeah, I think he is. Can you guys hear that? I don't know why he does that. Nope, you can't hear? Okay, that's good. He's making some, some weird fucking noises right now. I guess he finally saw the Walmart yodeling kid. That sonnet should not Zeus. Zeus the Goose. I love cats. Cats are cats are good, but they can be weird sometimes. I have a cat. We have two. We have one named Zeus and one named Sonichu. Sonichu is a sweetheart and Zeus is an asshole. I guess the names ended up uh ended up being somewhat prophetic. Mm. Am I on drugs right now? I think I took too much. There we go. See? Kind of? No, 
No, not really. There we go. Goddamn. Okay. So we got his little stumpy arms. We just need the shoulder and the hands, I think. Okay. Yeah. So let's put this here. Damn, that made a nice, satisfying fucking pop. Thank you for the prime sub, Kavala. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And enjoy the emotes. Thank you for using that prime sub on me. Total lives on an arc, which is ironic in a way, because, uh, maybe not ironic, but it's kind of funny because my dad wanted to name me Noah. It would have been very fitting in retrospect. But I'm, I, I don't know if I'd prefer Kyle or Noah. I mean, people people tell me that Kyle is a gay name. So that kind of hurts my feelings sometimes. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the same people would say Noah is a gay name, so... Just because it's my name, it has to be maximum homosexual. It's nothing to do with the actual quality of the given name, you know? Alright. Wait, what the fuck? I'm actually really fucking tired right now. Holy shit. I'm so close. Thanks for the bits, Tyron Wolf. Hunting for you to get another cat? What's good, man? I don't want another cat, personally. But thank you very much. Like, two two cats is enough for me. I Like I said, I don't mind cats, but they're... They're weird. They're strange. I'm not... Two is enough. Ugh. Mm -mm. You taking in cats? No? No, neither of those cats are, are technically mine, by the way. They're, they're the other family members. I don't own a cat. I have no responsibility for a cat. Huh? Ship a box of cats to Tola, please don't. Alright. Was gonna call me Christopher, but I got eight. I like Aiden more personally. Cause then you, you the the thing is, what if you were Christopher? And then you had to share a name with CWC. That would be I, I think that would be distressing. Maybe it's just me. idea what I'm doing right now. At least you're not named Mike Cunt. That'd be dope. I'm gonna if I if I were to ever have a child, I would name him Mike Cunt. Right. I I picked the wrong things. I'm snipping the wrong pieces now. This little bad boy. My middle name's Christian. How dare you? Oh, what's up, CWC? How you doing? You've you been freezing your cummies lately. You're saving for future generations. I've always respected that about you. Mom wanted to call me Matilda. That's, uh... I'm not sure how I feel about that name. I really don't. Okay. Now we, we got our first little hand on this motherfucker. Hold on, let me show you in a second. Ram, you, you guys had to have heard that one. Look at this little beta manlet hand. Virginia protects around 10 years ago. I mean, I'm not selling them now. I'm just making my own. Like, I gotta protect my virginity at all costs. Like, what, what happens if I'm asleep and a fluid druid or a semen demon barges into my uh, my my luxurious, uh, palatious estate? Or estate, not ex-state. That's not a fucking word. Uh, I need the virginity protectors. 
There's no other way. I would be I would be fucked down for the count like Dracula's homies. X hamster, live jasmine, e fuck, black dot com, Christian mingled, farmers daily, and ogrish. That's just not good. Can't be having that. Gaiden. I mean. That's fucked up. But I still like the name Aiden. What the fuck? What am I doing? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna fall asleep. I'm, I'm going to fall asleep on stream. <laughs> it's gonna happen. What's going on, Salty Dima? You only have to be aware of Incubus is not Succubus and the Gundams only attract those. Two middle names. Hopefully it's Jimothy and Gregothy. Aiden, Jimothy, Gregothy. This rolls right off of the dick. Okay. Chippy chop this shit. I still need to move it closer. I'm, I'm doing too much of this off cam. I'm sorry being a bad streamer, but you're probably used to it by now. What is that? I, you know what? I fucking just realized what that smell was. It's not Sif. It's not Sif at all. So, we have a dog. He's a little Shih Tzu. He's got a dumb little fucking top knot. And his name's Mr. Crumpets. I'm pretty sure Mr. Crumpets just lifted his leg and pissed outside of my door. And that's what that god-awful smell is. Fucking Mr. Crumpets makes me so goddamn angry. <laughs> that little asshole. And then I know if I were to, like, catch him in the act and go outside, he would just be wagging his tail at me, like, hey, bro, I just pissed on your door. If you, like, I did it. I did it for you. Are you happy? Can you pet me now? Still cute though. Why do you, all your dogs? Well, I mean, I named them. If they have a title, that means I came up with it. I named Mr. Crumpets. Um, I named Captain Wiggles. His Captain Wiggles. His actual name is Atticus, but we all call him Captain Wiggles. Um, I used to I used to summon Captain Wiggles by just going up the stairs and going, Captain Wiggles on duty, and that fucking dog would come running from like a mile away. Not so much anymore. He's calmed down after his after his stinky grapes got uh, chopped off. But back in the day, it was pretty funny. Thank you for the two month resub, Mr. Mars. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I hope you're doing good, man. Oh shit. Hope you've had lots of opportunities to fornicate. Okay, so how do I do this? Wiggles emo when? Never. Now I need A5. And we're going to have to put stickers on it. Oh, boy. Yeah, fuck that thing. So what? What's going on, Mr. Milch? How are you doing, dude? How are the wife and kids? Oh, man. The shoulders on this thing are actually pretty fucking complicated, surprisingly enough. Usually they're not. Usually shoulders are just whatever. But this one has World of Warcraft shoulders. So I'm going to have to step it up. And actually put a fucking sticker on my robot. Oh, okay. Make the two Gundams kiss. No, not going to do that. All right. So which ones are these? What's good, Jim PR? Okay, so I need 
wiggle with a small thing sticking out of it on the top. Alright, wait, those are kind of big. The stickers are are hell for me. I actually, when Amanda was here, I'd be like, I, I, I was building one. I'd be like, baby, can you do the stickers? Because she has, like, eyelashes and shit. So, like, she's an eyelash technician. So she's, she's good with this precision stuff. I'm not. I can't do this worth a fuck. What's good, Milk Tits, a lot? So I, I wish she was here right now because... <laughs> I can't do it. The stickers are my fucking nemesis. Later said, take it easy, dude. My dog. I can't say dog anymore because the people are like, oh shit, Tolo says dog? He must be uh, either black or pretending to be black. What an asshole. Okay. Not both of the stickers. I need, I need one for each shoulder. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have shaky hands. Mine aren't shaky, but I'm just, I'm not precise with mine. See the little green shits? Those are the stickers. I know it's hard to see, but fuck it. You saw. And if you didn't, then you're asleep anyway, so it's good. It's fine. It's okay. Alright. So now I need 12. These tiny ass manla things? Good God almighty. Alright. Snip this, snip this. Can you put your hand right over the cam so I can pretend to lick it? There you go. I hope that was satisfactory. Ashes as well. And honestly, my eyes start fucking up after hours of it so i commend you for doing this so long my eyes like right now if i switch from like this to the chat it's actually blurry for a second it takes a minute for my eyes to adjust to the screen i don't know if it's because i'm strained from doing this so long or what but it's it's rough you just let a stranger no that's not a stranger that's a twitch chat view this is twitch we're all big fucking family, right? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell just happened? So, I put the piece with a sticker in and it lost the sticker and I have no idea where the fuck it went. I don't have the faintest fucking clue. And I'm kind of upset about that because that's that was an important piece. That piece was gonna was gonna save this business. So God, you, you know what? You know what the irritating thing about stickers is? I don't know where it is now, but I'm gonna be like jacking off later. I'm gonna feel like a sensation on like the the right uh, circumcision scar. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And it's gonna be the sticker. It's gonna be, hey bro, heard you were looking for me. God. Damn it. Fuck you. I don't want you here. You're worthless now. You've lost all of your adhesive properties. Oh, but that's life. You know, that's, that's building Gundams. It's a doggy dog world out there, right? So now we need G5 and D28. Alright. I think this one's five. It's light outside now. I don't like that. Dude, it's fucking seven o'clock. I got a fucking hustle. I think I only have the head, the rest of the shoulders, and the gun left. I should probably put him back up. It looks the stream's kind of weird when the gun was just falling over. Okay. I need 
18. PC7 and D18. Chippy chop these bastards. I wonder how many times I've said a variation of Chippy Chop These Bastards. Probably too many times. I bet people are getting sick of me saying that. Maybe I should think of something new and original to say, like Bazinga. Bazinga, Bazinga, Big Bang, XD. Hello, fellow nerds. It's me. Zimbabwe. Make the blue Gundam and leg scissors. Reminds me when I used to have the hobby RC cars like a lose. That doesn't make you lose. I think that's cool. Fuck it. Don't let people uh, call you a loser because of your hobbies. Just because I like to go to the fucking club and look for diseased condoms to empty into my asshole doesn't make me a loser. Okay? That's just, you know, people have different tastes in life and there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for Jang. Hey, thanks. What's good, Axel? Fuck, people are so judgmental, I don't get it. Alright. Holy. Oh, wait, I need D28. I don't even have that. Where the fuck is D again? I just had it. Gross? Yeah, it's pretty fucking gross. I can't believe bug chasers are a thing. I'm I'm not sure if I think bug chasing or playing Breath of the Wild is weirder. I, I'm kind of uh, at an impasse on that one. Maybe I'll decide in the next couple of hours. Oh no, Cry's making more masterpieces. Why are you still awake, dude? It's fucking... Like, 8 in the morning for you, dog. You've been up playing Xenoblade since, like, what? Fucking two-year time or some shit? <laughs> Good God. Cry, what the fuck? What are you doing? Currently addicted to fucking with modding. It's called Kells. Yeah, we need Kells. Thought Supremacy. I wonder what goes through Kel's mind. I wonder what happened to make Kel's the way they are. It's probably best that I don't think about that for too long. Guy that kept trying to hook Russ Jr. up with his sister? Yeah. Yeah, that was... There are some fun people on the internet. You know, sometimes I look in the mirror and I say, you've been an absolute failure. All of your friends have done better than you. And you're an objectively dog shit person as well as a waste of life. And then, you know, I go on the internet and it's like, yeah, I'm trying to sell my sister to someone on the internet for fucking bits. And it's like... <laughs> you know... Maybe things aren't as bad as I thought. Maybe things are not as bad as I thought. What other shit? I remember one time there was a guy who insisted that Sif was stolen from him. Like Sif, my dog Sif, uh, like he was in cry stream, like screaming at cry apparently while I was on vacation in California that I had abducted his dogs uh he was using it on the internet to get money it's just like and, and you know what my favorite part of the entire fucking thing was is his dog was a dude and Sif's a girl so literally like the dumbest shit imaginable Sometimes, and th this feeling is amplified when I play with Cry, but sometimes I feel like I'm the only sober person in the world. I feel like 
occasionally not i don't always feel like this but there's some moments when like literally everyone except for me is taking fucking crazy pills like how do people live like this i don't get it stole his puffer and cut his dick off yeah something like and that's coming from me. That should be like an eye-opening statement that I'm saying that of all people. Because, like, you hear me talk. You listen to the words I say. Like, I'm just a fucking retard. Just like a dumb motherfucker on the internet who, who thinks, uh, thinks people want to see him do stupid shit. red panel. I think we're about to put the missiles in. Nightman later, Heartless. Hubert. We'll do this again sometime. We'll see. No promises. I'm not I'm not sure how people like it. I'll wait and ask tomorrow to see. Because like I said, right now the people who are still here will probably be, yeah, dude, this was cool. But I have to ask people who saw this and immediately said fuck this shit and left you know okay we're getting the missiles boys these little bastards these wee little fuckers I'm getting more and more clumsy and destructive as time goes on I'm just like banging shit around like a fucking invalid Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just ask Hank. Yeah, see, Hank fucking dipped. Like, Hank came in here and was like, IRL stream, wow, oh, and fucking laughed. Like, if I'm not pleasing to Hank, then what am I fucking doing, dude? Like, Jesus. That That is priority number one. What the fuck is happening right now? Okay, I think this is fine. And then we put missiles here. Hank's getting ready for his stream. Nice. Alright, alright. I got it, I got it. Look, we're doing the shoulder right now. It's using this nice shade of baby shit green coupled with the orange. This looks like my dinner. It's spinach and carrots, the fucking mac. And white mushrooms, too. Like, this is this is seriously like the salad I had the other day. That's fucked up. I don't like this mac anymore. I don't want to fucking build this thing anymore. Later, Pearl. Take it easy. Major stock. Hold it. No, Hank's just a fucking degenerate. Hank is a mere worm. A larva. 160p is great. Nice. Okay. Is that not blue? No. It's like this this evergreen color. It's weird. It's like quite an unusual color. All right. Now I need ten. I'll cut both of these out just for to expedite the building of the neck shoulder. All right, now let's pop my ass over here. Got a fucking twerk for the people. I still think they should have made a Dark Souls DLC where Vort of the Boreal Valley finally achieves his lifelong goal of becoming champion of the, the Drang Lake Twerk Squad. Drang Lake's the wrong fucking area. I don't remember what it's called in Dark Souls 3. Lordran. Is it Lordran? I don't even fucking remember. I don't. <laughs> I don't fucking care. The, the Dark Souls 3 world. It's all the same to me. God. And then let's, let's chip this off. We're almost done with the first shoulder fella. Man, so yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to wake up in time to stream during the day today. Wait, what's going on? Alright. 
fish names, uh, Jimothy, one through seven. I have Cockfuck. I have a shrimp named Shrimpathy. I have a Weatherloach named Gobbler. And I have a big, fat, blue Garami named Fat Princess. Mm -mm. Oh, what's good, Flame God? Flan, long time no see, dude. How have you been? Good to see you, fellow gamer. How you been? Don't be a stranger. Ah, fuck, I can't believe I've done this. Wiggle this in. Fuck you. I'm having trouble right now. Uh oh, we did it. Okay. Here we go. We got the shoulder for him. I'm not I'm not gonna put it on until I have two shoulders. So I didn't know his shoulder was like spiked like that. It's kind of neat. Let me see. Where, where's the box? Oh yeah, okay, this dude has dope shoulders. He's got like World of Warcraft shoulders. He's gonna look sick as hell. Hope you and Sif are good. Yup, we're chilling. We're hanging out. I just woke her up actually looking for the box. Blue eyes, white garami. You sound like a Red Dead Redemption NPC. Okay. I don't know if that's an insult or a compliment, but I'll take it because that means that I sound like I've been professionally voice acted and hopefully made money off of it so you know you gotta take what you can which you can get sometimes right i choose to take that as a compliment you know what? i'm just gonna choose to take everything as a compliment next time someone calls me a retard it's gonna be like those people where when you back back when we were all young and people would call each other gays and insult they'd be like, that just means i'm happy <laughs> i'm gonna be that fucker what's going on pio nero Okay. <laughs> just... You ever know that guy? That one dude who always just be like, gay means happy, asshole. Fuck you. Okay, now I need the back one. Where, where the shit? What the shit? That suit? Oh, this is the last piece in this one. Alright. Should voice act anime. Yeah, alright, we'll check this out. Oh, hi, yo, gozaimasu! Nissan! Oh, hi, yo! Oh, hi, yo! Kawaii desu, ichiban! Oh, hi, yo! Nissan! Oh, hi, yo! I'm good, right? Like, I can do anime, yeah? I think I'd be fucking fantastic. Like fucking making bang. Going up in that bitch. That respectable female and making hella weeb shackles. Okay, we can just throw that one away because we're done with it. And this one? Get that ass band, you worthless specimen. There's probably like one part that I still needed on that, and I'm gonna have to go and dig it up. Pretty much guarantee you. Alright, alright. Lost my hearing. Oh, what's going on, night? Knight? Mm. Okie dokie. Let's put this shit here. This is probably out of all of the, the virginity protectors that I've made in my time, and I've made quite a few. I have not had too many with shoulders this complicated. This is an interesting one to build because some of the parts that normally wouldn't really be any anything uh, substantial are kind of the bigger pains in the asses. Okay. dropping the spaghetti. This is a class 5 pasta drop. Okay. Wasting my day. I should have watched Cry Xeno Vods. Yeah, probably. Better than watching this shit. People now watch that royal wedding shit going on right now. We were talking about that earlier. I don't get weddings. Like, weddings in particular are just not fun. Remember one time I went... 
I went to a friend's wedding and I pretty much got voluntold into being the best man. Not because anyone gave a shit about me and wanted me to be the best man, but because uh, because pretty much everyone else dipped and didn't want to do it. So I was like the de facto, I guess. And yeah, I got voluntold into dancing with some like fucking underage chick. Like I'm sitting there and like, Tolomeo, you need to dance. And I'm like, I don't know how to fucking dance. Shut the fuck up. And then some little fucking girl like, let's dance. And like, what am I going to do? Say fucking no. So that was an experience. And, and then I, I'm, I'm sitting there looking awkward as fuck. Just like having this, this little fucking sprite teaching me how to dance. And then I just look and everyone was taking fucking photos. I turn around and it's big smile. I'm like, oh my fucking god! So somewhere out there, those pictures exist. That that terrifies the fuck out of me. Called you Tolomia? No, my real name's Kyle. I just say that because I'm an asshole. Still married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I'm aware, I haven't like. The thing is. There was, like, this one year where I pretty much lost all of the... Maybe not lost them, but I, I lost contact with basically every friend that I had. Um, that was the same year as the wedding, because basically... Um, my my old man had died, and I pretty much was just despondent and didn't uh, talk to anybody. And then I started streaming. <laughs> and then, pretty much, now I'm at a point where I'm a, I'm a fucking recluse. I just sit here and play fucking video games. Now I'm friends with Cry. And he fucking sits here in my goddamn chat and may and replaces all of the little stands for the items in Dark Souls with DSP's face. Life is strange. Life is certainly uh full of surprises. Fuck. I think I have to go back and get G. I think I threw him overboard when I needed a piece from him. Okay. Alright. I can't let you see my face. Why do you call them virginity protectors? Because, like, if you see, if a girl sees these in your house, you're never getting laid, homie. It's never gonna happen. There we go. Can't let you be seeing my face. That's a no go. That's a party foul. You shit talk. Well, I mean, it's it's. See, I'm not shit talking you though. Oh, you mean like the the first time, like when I was shit talking you, in my sister's room. I thought you meant like the little jabs I had at you, but you, you know I love you, dog. You just know that I'm also a fucking dick and that I have a tendency to talk hella shit. Even if I don't really mean it, I'm just I'm just an asshole. You know that. Alright. Okie dokie. So let's see. Um I need this one right here. Bar, and then this guy right here. I'll put these little fucking missiles back here. Oh, what's going on, Puzzle Wings? Long time no see, dude. There's a lot of people in here for the fucking Gundam stream. That's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Just strange. I feel like I'm being judged right now. I feel like I'm, 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 I'm some sort of lab rat. Okay. All right. So now I got both of the shoulders, and now we can. Uh, why are you not being judged? I suppose that's fair. Most people get judged constantly. That's that's just. That, that's why it kind of makes me chuckle when you see like a like a status on social media like only fucking God can judge me, and it's like, are you high? What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah shit, Sif, give me that back. Your second Gundam that I built tonight, yeah, not second overall though. Okay, so I'm gonna try. 
to actually get the uh, putting the fucking thing together part on camera. Alright, so now we go cha cha cha. Holy shit, look at that shoulder. What a fucking man dingo warrior. Alright. Let's see. looking at this figurine and feeling a lot more secure about myself. You realize that you're here on a Saturday morning watching another man build a figurine though, right? Like I don't I don't really see at what point in that equation that that makes you feel secure. That's kind of uh hmm. Alright. So let's see, now we got the head. Want that Rajang? Nice. It's, uh, I got it from one of those little fucking random boxes. Like, they give you a random one. Random monster from Master Hunter. Okay. So, now we need PC. And Saturday night? Not for me. It's okay that my Virginia won't be stolen. Nice. We gotta keep our virginity protected, Puzzle Wings. God would be very upset with us if we let any foul semen demons, harlots, fluid druids, any of that sort of filth take our, our, our strongest power. Because you, you know you're gonna be a wizard with me, right? We're gonna get to 30 years of age without any fuck, and we're gonna be casting magic missiles in that bitch. We gotta put this little fucking thing in here. Which Gundam should I watch? I don't know. I don't watch shit. Dark spot on the wall behind the tank. Still streaming. I managed to take a shower, go shopping, and come back. Yeah. Does that bother you? Okay, so now we need Jay. Jay from the Ocean Sunfish Supercut. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. It's definitely more enjoyable to watch than this shit. <laughs> Like, that shit's actually funny. Jay, Jay, Jay. Well, actually, I I still have this thing where I'm afraid to show people things I find funny because they might be like, hey, Tulum, you're a fucking piece of shit. The shit you link is not funny and you should step on a goddamn landmine. Oh, what's good, S-Man? Astolfo? Okay, so A24. Chippity chop. This shit. Landmine, at least it isn't a Lego. True, true. You're absolutely right. Why even care what others think, especially strangers? Mm, because the thing. Here's the thing, right? I think that it is an incredibly negative trait to not care at all what other people think. Now, it's a negative trait to, to care too much about what people think, and perhaps I fall victim to that at times. But especially something like, for example, streaming, right? If you really just disregard what other people think, or that, that, I think that's a bad thing. I think that's a bad thing. Because, like, when strangers come in here, my goal as a streamer is to try to have someone come in here and go, hey, this guy's fucking retarded. I want to laugh at him some more and hit the follow button. You know? <laughs> so, that's just, and, and even outside of streaming, like, it's a bad thing in my opinion to just not care at all what others think about you. Even if they are strangers. Just don't care too much. Okay? Alright. Reminds me of plane modeling back in childhood. Okay, so what the fuck was I saying? Oh, I have to do uh, the eyeball stickers. Now I have to do this dumb shit and like slap this thing on a fucking small ass piece. Exactly, puzzle blings. Like you got, you got to give people what they want. You got to have people say, okay, I like that. I'm gonna come back. 
So that's why we're playing RuneScape tomorrow. We're going to completely ruin all of that. Um, we're going to go ahead and just commit career suicide. And But even, it's, it's like I said, even even if you didn't do something that relied on like uh, just like an audience of people being pleased with your actions, um, it's anecdotal. But most of the people I've known who go around saying like, oh, I don't care what people think i don't care i don't care are just really trying to convince everyone especially themselves that they don't care when they really care quite a lot it's perfectly healthy and acceptable to care what other people think about you it's like i said don't just don't let it get out of hand this is then that's a do as i say not as i do thing i suppose What's good, Smiling Apple? Started playing PoE. Am I fucked? Yeah, probably. Although maybe not because the game starts really slowly, so you might get bored before you actually get to the addicting part. That's what saved Cry's ass. Cry's little candy butt. God. I'm still waiting for my fucking shrimp to show up. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again. I think he's a lost boy now. Okay. Care too much what other people think about me, so I try not to go out too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't let it be crippling you like that. Because that's not good. You can't be like a complete slave to like, oh no, maybe someone thinks I'm fucking ugly. Or oh no, maybe someone thinks I'm retarded. You have to be immune to that shit. Especially if you want to be a streamer. fuck is going on here? I can't... I, I guess I, I did this in the wrong order. Give me a second. Alright. So. Now I put this shit here. Alright. So now... We've got his little face. I know it's hard to see because my camera doesn't focus very well up close. But we got his dumb little mask. Ever seen Shrimpathy again? I saw him yesterday. He was out chilling a lot yesterday. People judge me because I watch anime. Oh, well, that's perfectly acceptable. Fuck people who watch anime. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I'm not serious. Drop the gun. Don't fucking shoot me. I love, I love during uh, Cinco de Mayo, one of my favorite traditions sitting the good old family down and watching a boku no pico de gallo it's you know it, it's family bonded and judged on my skin color that sucks you're gonna get judged for something some just don't worry about people who judge you based on things you can't control um judging people Based on things they can control is different. But if you're someone who disregards another person based on something that's entirely outside of their control, then that's it's not good. Like if you if you have let's say me, I'm like a pasty white retard. Um Don't judge me on the pasty white retard part. Judge me because I eat hot Cheetos for breakfast. Because there, there are some things that are valid to, to shit on, and others maybe not so much. Okay. Now we got J7. Is being fat in your control? I would argue most of the time, yes. There are, there are cases where you have, like, a legitimate disorder that fucks you over, but I, I do not think that is as frequent as some people make it out to be. However, I would also argue... That even if you get judged for it, if you are personally happy with being fat and you do not mind the the risks that it entails, then who gives a fuck? You do you. I'm getting fat. I'm fucking 5'10". I weigh 180 goddamn pounds now. I'm pretty much, like, you can just call me, call me, uh, wait, what the fuck? Made a fucky wucky. Right. 
Only shit on the parts that are detrimental to the person you're shitting on. Is Cry not sleeping on purpose? I'm not sure. Later, Melty Mortal. Alright, so apparently, I made a real fuck o boingo. And his head is a little bit skewed. Man, this. It's really hard to see this shit. Camera will not focus, I'm sorry. self-destructive i do that too like i have this thing where i'm like man i really need to sleep so i can stream and do shit that's actually worth effort but i'm like no nah, i'm gonna play more more stupid video games and just not do that and just be fucking worthless I, I i find like what essentially amounts to voluntary self-destructive behavior to be fascinating I gotta redo the sticker on the eyes because he's looking a little, uh, he's looking, he's looking like a little bug-eyed freak. Okay. Should have gone to sleep seven hours ago. Yeah, same, dude. I'm right there with you. Alright. Now I can get back to it because... Made a little fucky wucky and had to take it. It's kind of the par. Alright, now I need A17. We're in the home stretch, I think. On a game I like today, I'm happy putting all my time. Wait, what game? Enlighten me, fellow gamer. I'm getting the distinct that there are going to be a lot of pieces that are not be used for this one. Wait, what the fuck? Am I on drugs again? Where's 17? It's 14, 15, and then there's fucking beads out of there. Oh, here it is. God, these pieces are fucking minuscule. Alright, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at those fucking pieces. 17 and 16. Look at how tiny those fucking things are. That's retarded. Like, the entire thing is, like, uh, large-sized pieces. And then it just gives you, like, this little piece the size of my dick. And, like, I don't know how to deal with this. Like, come on. Thankfully, I don't have to put stickers on them. Like, when you have to put stickers on small-ass pieces like that, it's suffering incarnate. Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel game. Interesting. Papadap is a real gamer girl. Um, Papadap is a lot of things. I'm not sure that real gamer girl is how I would describe it. Sorry for being quiet for a second. I gotta, gotta try to get this small ass piece in his head. Proving to be quite difficult. Cry add, has me added on a friend on Switch. Thought about changing my name to Cry Stinks. Oh man, dude, that's fucking epic. That'd be so funny. Like and then and then people would be watching his stream and it'd be like, Cry stinks, just come on lawn and they go <laughs> And it would it would be just absolutely epic fellow brother. What's going on, Nuge? I know I would LMFAL immediately. Man, I can't fucking get this piece in. Holy shit. Which one is this? This is seventeen. Where does seventeen go? Bless you, Sif. God damn. They're making fucking whale noises. It sounds like you just surfaced and your blowhole went off or something. I, I think I'm going to spend like the next 15 minutes on these small ass pieces. I apologize. Found a game I enjoy. It's called Hyrule Warriors. Ew. I want to play Tales of Magial. They just came out with a new expansion for that game, but 
it's been so long since I played it that I'm just gonna be like complete dog shit at it. And then, ugh. okay, these pieces are very, very, very annoying. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to go about slapping this thing inside of the robot. Like I'm, I'm pressing the button. Okay, finally got the first one. God damn it. I look at this shit. Dark Souls Remastered planned. Um, no. Dark Souls 1 is planned, but the remaster? No thank you. It's been a while since I played Dark Souls 1, so I have... Uh... At least a little bit of desire to go back and play, like, some of the challenge mods and shit that I may have missed. I completely dropped the fucking piece, by the way. I have no idea. But I'm not, I'm not gonna fork over money for this shitty fucking remaster. <laughs> that's, uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. So, I will be playing Dark Souls 1, just not the remaster. Oh, it seems like a waste of time and effort. Alright, so, this is gonna be a fun fucking five minutes looking for this little orange micro piece. Presumably somewhere on my floor. It, it's gonna look goddamn near identical to just like a little speck of hot Cheeto, which is unfortunate. Oh, fuck. I don't think I'm gonna look for it. I'm not gonna be able to find that. It's too small. Alright, so he only has one cheek. He has a singular cheek. DS1 enemy rando, yeah, and like the prepare to die again mod, etc. Okay. I think I can probably look for it after I'm done, but right now, I don't know where it went, because it like got flicked off. It got launched in a direction that I am not entirely aware of. So if it's like on my bed, my sheets are red, so it would be difficult to find. Okay, so we fucking choked at the finish line. He was only, he's only got, I guess I could just have the holes there. Okay, it's in the T. That would be some shit. Okay. So, now let's do A23. Pieces next to the stickers you will find later. Maybe. Make your own piece from the extra plaques. That would be hard, though. Because that piece is really small, and it has to have, like, a little... A little thing to go into that hole, and it would be... It would be bad. Show your face. You can go to www... Uh, Twitter dot com slash telomium underscore r. I want to see my face. What's going on, Slash? This long time no see. All right. So now we're putting on his little gladiator helmet shit. Oh, thanks for the, the sub, Cogitus. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Enjoy the best fucking emotes on the goddamn website or else. Or else I'm going to do nothing at all. I'm gonna say you too I want to see no no I'm not showing anyone shit I've, I've met I, I have the angle set up to where it's actually oh hold on is this the fucking piece or is this a hot Cheeto I can't fucking tell <laughs> Fuck! Alright. I missed the new Vegas streams. I'm sorry, dude. Um, I want to eventually maybe play Fallout 3 again, but it's hard to get that shit working on Windows. 
uh, Windows 10, that is. So, because I, I tried playing it once on Windows 7 on my old computer, and it fucked up. And then I and then I played Fallout 4, and I just, I hate that game. Coconut Go Go to Sleep, yeah, she's sleeping right now. Okay. So, let's see. Also, what's good on Clave? How you been, man? Need a mirror against the tank? No, nope, no. Nope. Fall three can fuck right off, man. No. Remember me? I'm a lurker. I remember everything. I remember everything. I remember that one time that I went in to Christ chat and I said, "Hello." Fellow gamers, it is I, Tolomeo. And they said, fuck you, nobody likes you. Get the hell out and kill yourself. And I'm like, oh, okay. I also remember that, that never happened. And I, I just have like a weird memory. I remember people. I remember a lot of stupid shit too. Like I remember every single fucking embarrassing moment I have. From drifting off into the sweet abyss of sleep, I can think about it. Toll called me out for taking away the C from my name the minute I did. He has the best memory on Twitch. He really cares about his chatters. Okay, you can't just fucking slander me like that and say I care about my chatters. Like a great Redditor? Okay, fine. You know, I admit, alright? I go I, I go to the fucking Brony subreddit. You got me. Hand to God. But you can't just say I care about my chatters like that. What the fuck, dude? That's fucked up. Fuck, you can't believe the audacity. Yeah, I remember his name is Craddock. He's a piece of, uh, piece of work. I also remember when there was that one time where all of the fucking viewbot services on Twitch got fucked. And all the people who viewbotted... Uh, couldn't stream. They magically developed like fucking TT sleeping sickness or some shit. But not me, because I didn't fucking view bot and I streamed and then he started sucking my dick because he knew he was wrong and I got him into a Discord chat and like, and he admitted everything. He said, man, I would fucking, I'm just, you know, blah, 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 It sounded like he was gargling marbles and fucking pisses me off. Alright, but we got the head though. Don't have the cheek. Look, he's got a little hickey on his cheek. Because I lost the other fucking orange part. Man, I can't believe that shit. That's like the most depressing shit in the world. Losing the little, the little tiny detail piece. On the most important part of the fucking Mac. God damn it. That's like... Imagine you're... Oh, imagine you're out in the fucking African savannah with the hottest woman in the fucking world and you manage to fucking like misplace your condom and she's the hottest woman in the world but do you really want kids in the African savannah? No, not really. You gotta protect like a pregnant woman from lions and hyenas and shit. It's gonna be fucking impossible and you're gonna die. It's fucking bullshit. How can you forget something like that and lose something? like that i don't understand i have a special talent in life for snatching defeat from the jaws of victory okay. but you know it's uh it's some shit are you okay yeah i'm good clocking has to be strong there's oral sex day you saw the discord call with the best streamer in the world yeah you could eat the baby, but the baby... Oh, God, you would eat a fucking baby? Absolutely harambe, fellow 2017 kids. Oh, no, look at this. Fuck. I'm making fucky wuckies. Alright, there we go. Look at this stupid shit. We did it. 
He's ready to fuck your mom. He's got one orange cheek. Disgusting. I fucking hate this robot. Bullshit. Now I need to make his big ass gun, though. Okay, I'm sorry, Michael Monroe. I apologize. That was that was that was not a good Christian thing of me to do, and I, I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize for being a stumbling block for you and your relationship with the Lord. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Okay. Chad Gundam Link Tolo, dude, I'm at a fucking desk right now, Sniper Man. I can't I don't have a keyboard. You want me to get up and walk over and find that video? Just just message me when when I'm done and I'll send it to you, alright? Sorry, but I can't right now. What gun is he building? I'm doing Buster Gundam. I need his gun now. But you wanna see the saddest story in the world? Get ready, get your fucking violins ready. I've done this. For the last couple of hours, and look at his face. I lost the second Dorito. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna take the other one off. The the fucking weird assholes don't look that bad, I guess. I'm gonna have to remove his head. I'm gonna have to be a. I'm gonna have to be like a fucked up black widow or praying mantis, and I broke his chin. I'm just gonna fucking smash this gun to fuck you. This is bullshit. Seed. I don't even know what this is from. I just know it has a big gun, and that's hot. I love robots with big guns. Okay. Alright. Now let me put this back on. gonna lose the other Dorito? No, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I don't have both Doritos, right? Thank you for the 16-month resub, McKees. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much for the continued support, homie. Okay, there we go. Look at this shit. So now he's got, he's got, he's got little holes. He's got little uh, craters from picking his acne, but he doesn't look all lopsided and fucking weird like he just finished eating a bag of Doritos or some shit. Alright. You got a healthy amount of salt in you, bro. Not cancerous like other streamers. Well, okay, thanks. I appreciate that. I guess. I mean, I'm a salty son of a bitch sometimes. When something like that happens, when I'm putting in... uh, When I'm sitting in a chair for five hours doing hard work, like sitting in a chair and playing with children's toys, and I lose the piece that's supposed to make it look kawaii desu ichiban at the very end... That, that's like, that reminds me of back in the day when my, with my fucking Mutta and losing my chicken tendies because some stupid fucking seagull swooped out of the air and grabbed that shit. This is not acceptable. It's utterly unacceptable. Okay. Played Dark Souls today? Yeah, we did. You know the... No, I have no idea what that movie is. Sexploitation. I have... Why you make those things separate pieces? Sometimes they're just like really small pieces on these things. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's just like, that's how they like to roll. Okay, so I need two of the eights. There are four of these, so that shouldn't be a problem. I'm sorry, I, I keep accidentally taking the, the plastic out of the frame like an asshole. Big sorry. Seagulls are such assholes. Oh, absolutely. Seagulls are like the worst fucking bird out there, for sure. You know what's weird? You can see seagulls really far away from the ocean, too. Like they're, sometimes we see seagulls up where I live, and I live in central fucking Texas. Those things just have dominion over the land. Total been streaming about nine hours so far. 
my Bionicles because I lost a connector piece. That sucks. That's just how it goes, right? See, that's why I, I love building jigsaw puzzles, actually. Like, that was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. So there's like a, uh, there's like a certain level of nostalgia for me there, but I can't do it. Like, I cannot do physical jigsaw puzzles because Sith always eats a piece, no matter what. No matter what. It does not matter how careful I am. She will find a way to just, like, take a piece off the table when I'm not looking and just... I don't know why, because usually she's really good about that sort of thing. Usually she's not particularly uh, keen on just eating random shit, but she fucking hates Jigsaw puzzles. She must have, when she was a baby, they must have shown her like the Saw movie and she got really scared or something and it just vowed vengeance. Like Zoids? Mmm, I did when I was younger. I haven't messed with Zoids since I was a fucking wee little bastard, though. I I had the Scorpion, the giant fucking Donkey Kong, and the Spinosaurus thing. And a lot of the little ones, too. Is Cry gonna stream Gundam Versus? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think either of us have actively thought about that game in... God knows how long, really. Because, like, the thing about that game, like, I can't even... I don't even think we could play that game, even if we wanted to at this point. Because the thing about that game is when we played, there was no real way to play against other people. Uh, like, a matchmaking system with... Um, with homies. Like, you had to do, like, solo queue or some shit. And if you did, like, the custom matches, the pool of people you could potentially get paired against was virtually non-existent. So it was just, it was not the most fulfilling multiplayer experience, honestly. Like, I, I like the gameplay of it. I don't have a problem with the actual game itself, but just the way they handled, like, the, the matchmaking rank system, whatever the hell, was less than desirable. Okay, so now we're making the big dick gun. The BBC low-tier god cannon. Perhaps one of the most influential weapons of our time. I read something really fucking silly on on Twitter or some shit. Like every time I go on that on that website, I lose a little bit of faith in humanity. I, I read like some comment on some stupid shit that basically said that like, some white dude just randomly had shit thrown at him for some innocuous reason that I don't remember. And one of the commenters was like, if you were a white man, uh, you, deser you deserve to get shit, th shit thrown at you at least once in your life. I'm like... You fucking serious? Putting any RG kits? I have a couple. Um... I'm not sure about stream. I don't know if I'm going to stream this again, this sort of thing. I haven't decided yet. I'm not entirely sure um, if this is something that people actually want to see or if tonight was just good because it's like a novel thing. What's good, Overdose? Uhuru Quiet, y'all. The new Monster Hunter for Switch. If Cry and them play, yeah, and Cry said he was going to. But the thing you need to uh, thing you remember about the new one from the Switch is that it's Double Cross, which is the one I played a fuck ton of last year. That's just an English version of Double Cross. So, so keep that in mind. That's right, so between seven and nine. White. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's always been a thing. One of my favorite. Actually, you know what? I won't go too far into it, but I, I distinctly remember there was like some sort of uh, like shooting case, and the man in question was Hispanic, but he was... I, I, I guess some people use the term white passing, in that uh, it, it would be relatively easy to mistake him for uh, a white person, I guess, because he kind of looked like it, but he was, he was Hispanic, and it's like, this fucking white man's a piece of shit. It's just, you know, 
The world's an interesting place. Okay. Alright. So this is what we got now. This is this is a gun. It kinda looks like a dragon build though. But I can assure you it's a gun. It's a firearm. Get your minds out of the gutter. Okay, so now we're gonna. Apparently I put it in here, but having difficulties. Okay. I need K10. Don't worry, dogs. We're almost done. We're on the home stretch. This, all we have to do is make the gun, and the uh, Gundam stream is over. You're, you're, you will be dismissed soon. Spend one hundred fifty dollars on Gundam. Nice, dude. Mine likes being in the gutter. Five more minutes. Maybe not five more minutes. This is a little bit more involved than I guess the average weapon for one of these because it's like it's the entire purpose of this is to have like a big like a stupidly large gun I don't know alright now I have the the H's to do special order that piece from Bad Dragon absolutely never had the patience for Gundams it's not too bad you just gotta get into the mix you gotta, you gotta get into it and just jump in, and then it's really not as bad as it seems. And if you, if patience is still an issue, just do it a little bit at a time. Make like a leg, or make make an arm one day, and then do do the crotch the next day. Okay. Now the patience thing comes when you want to do like all of the decals, because if you get one of the more expensive ones, you just get like fucking sheets of these things. You get you get like sticker sheets that are absolute units. Like let me show you this one. This is a medium sized sheet. This isn't huge, but this is about average for a robot of this size. Like every single one of those bars is a different sticker. So that can take a long fucking time. That's when patience really starts to wear thin for me, is doing that shit. I pretty much never do it during the same time where I actually build the thing, because it's, it's too much. It's too much. Warhammer 40k models, but the painting aspect? Yeah, I don't like painting. About doing any custom builds? No, not really. I just like chilling and just building. I don't think I have the talent to do something like a custom build. Okay, I'm trying not to slam the fucking thing this time, because I've done that a few times, just slamming the clippers down like an asshole. Okay. I I'm going to be honest, I'm very ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm very tired at this point. I'm fumbling with this thing. Alright. Where's the other one? Okay, how much do I need to invest to protect my virginity? Like $10, maybe? It's not too bad. And your virginity is protected for life. No no harlot, semen demon, fluid druid, or any other such uh, unscrupulous and unsavory beast will come after you if you've got a virginity protector. Okay. Trust me, I'm an expert on this. Damn, I don't even... Okay, I kind of get what that piece is for now. Alright. Oh my god, there's so much for this fucking gun. Holy shit. Alright. So this is, this is our first gun that we have. This is a thing where you build two guns and fucking connect them. Which is weird. It's strange and unusual. So we need H and J right now. We need J14 and 11. I'm pretty sure we're going to need the other one in here too. So we'll cut that one out as well. Nice dildo. Oh, thanks, man. 
Whew, it's been a long fucking night. I've been, I'm going on uh, nine hours now. The next stream, it'll be Tuomio. Never does long streams. It's never happened. Maybe, maybe once every two months he'll do a stream longer than an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna be the man. Fuck you. Remember the Gundam stream? That was nine hours. Check and made atheist. Suck on my goddamn uh, famalama ding dong. Old Tolomeo stream, true. Thank you for the raid, Mr. Deck. I hope you had a good stream, homie. Uh, how are you doing? How are the wife and kids? How's the how's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Russian invasion. Yup, yup, yup. Getting invaded by by the uh, the gulag elementals. Quite horrifying, honestly. I don't I don't want to go. I don't want to go to the Kremlin. Fuck. Where's Jay, though? Right now, Jay is the one I'm looking for, and I can't find any to sippy. Mm -mm. Alright. It's a Russian streamer. Yup. I'm feeling sick. Hey, dude, do you have AIDS or something? Like, what the fuck's up with that, dude? It's a dude like 50 times. I'm sorry. But, have you gone to a doctor? Because you, you shouldn't be getting sick like that it's not good near Kremlin this shit's not very impressive don't call it Virginia Protector I have a friend who collect on him he's not married I have one beautiful daughter well d okay now I have a question though there's there's one important piece missing from this jigsaw puzzle does he have a Nintendo Switch Taking too much crocodile? I think so too. I think so too. Just overall stress and tiredness. Uh, shit, dude. I hope that works out for you, my man. Must be. I'm not. I'm not gonna pry. But that must be some, some dog shit situations. If it's bad enough to make you sick. Okay. They don't work if you also find a girl who collects Gundams. What fucking... What is this heresy that you're talking about? A girl that collects Gundams? Next you're gonna tell me about a white dude who has a dick bigger than five inches. Hey, come on. You can't just say things like that. Like now, now we're just entering the land of fairy tales. You have an Xbox? So, all right, all right. Fair enough. Come on. And it's okay. As you can see, I'm white, so I can make that joke. I know from experience on that one, fellow gamers, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Man, so... I'm kind of disappointed I haven't seen Shrimpathy this entire stream. I was hoping he'd come out and uh, expose himself to you guys. He's got a riveting personality, I can tell you that much. Way more so than me, at the very least. Not that the bar is particularly high on that front. Alright. I'm just, I'm just nipping this shit. Oh, now I'm too high. I just never keep this shit in view of camera. I'm very bad at it. Thank you for being so patient with that. I guess most people at this point are probably taking the big snooze. Right. Bigger than one fifth inch even a thing? No. Seen a white dude with a massive cockanoose? What? Are you not telling me something, dog? Have you been alright? Do you need a Matt Damon in your life? Where where are you finding these white dudes with massive dongs? Like how do you how do you know of these things? Hot glue the figures when they're done no hot glue sounds like it would hurt do you huh do you think that there are people who sniff hot glue alright 
Yes. Never know if that Gundam Collector father has a Nintendo Switch. No, he said, uh, he, Yuki responded saying that the answer was no, but they had an Xbox. You see, I was going to make an absolutely hysterical joke. Perhaps the funniest joke any of you have ever heard. Where basically, I was going to imply that because they owned a Nintendo Switch, they were actually a cuckold. Yes, yes, I know, I know. You might be thinking, holy shit, that is some highbrow uh, memory. How do you come up with this shit, T-Dog? That's probably the smartest, most witty thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Actually, it's hot glue and figurines will melt them, right? Or do you mean, or do you mean like actually like fucking coming on like a, like an anime titty figurine? Because yeah, that's fucked up. Like I'm pretty sure that's one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Like you can't just do that. All right. Put your finished Gundams in jars. Yeah, and I come on them too. I call it the Gundam Cum Jar Project. The gum jar project for so for short. Nintendo Switch, yeah, I do, but I bought it myself. I didn't have it bought by by uh, uh, a bull or my wife's boyfriend. That's the key difference. All right, so I'm. Oh, I see. Ooh, it's like the old 4chan post. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were referencing. We, I remember one time, Cry was like, Yo, Tolomeo, you know what would be great? If we did a Monster Hunter video together. And so we did, and I talked about pony com jars, and then the YouTube comments, oh, This is disgusting. Tolo has zero redeeming qualities at all. I don't know why Cry hangs out with them. And basically, some... Yeah, you know it was some fucking brony who heard about the pony gum jar thing and was like fucking bum mad. That's I, that's the only thing I can think of that would provoke a response like that. So it, it was kind of funny. Also kind of sad that people are that dumb. That's coming from me, a Texan. Hello, Kazatov. What's good, my friendly rat friend? How are you? Let's do nine now. We're almost done, I promise, fellow gamers. Cry is the purest special snowflake. That's not how I describe him. Hello, Xbox. I got get why you hang out with Cry. Cry's my fucking dog. My homie. My stomach's making weird noises. Oh, dude, you know what I just realized? I have leftover chicken from Golden Chick. I can eat that as soon as I'm done. Holy shit. That's fucking amazing. Now I need H2 and 7. Alright. Shitty cam, I'm sorry. H2. Mm -hmm. Leftover chicken equals death. No, fuck you. I don't give a shit. That would be a blessing. Can you imagine? There would be parades in the street if I ate chicken and died. And be like, holy fuck. Finally, it's about goddamn time. It would be... You'd have people out in the streets singing Raining Men. It would just... It, it would be jubilation for all. It would be fantastic. Okay. Now... Fucking put this shit right here. I'd fly to Texas to celebrate. See, exactly. 
Stream yourself sleeping? I'm not a narcissist, right? I'm not gonna do that shit. Good morning, Third World Weed. And good night, Sniper Knife. 100% of people that ate leftover chicken died? Damn. That's impressive. Alright. Let me get this one. I'm just gonna try to rush through this shit. I need 29 and 32. Guess I'm dead then? Do people actually stream themselves sleeping? Yeah, they have before. It's really fucking weird. People have streamed themselves doing a variety of strange things, like building virginity protectors. I wonder if... Like, I remember one time on Facebook streaming, I think, some dude was, like, streaming himself going around and shooting people, which was fucking horrible. Remember, I, I think I actually watched a little bit of it, and he just went up to, like, this fucking dude, he just out of the blue, was like, yeah, hey, yo, what up, dog? And just, just fucking shot him. So, the, the world's a scary place these days. Like, you got, you got people shooting up schools, you got people going on, like, random fucking, like, Facebook shooting sprees and you got bronies. So, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's America or literally anywhere that has a gun. <laughs> Disabled kid? Yeah, yeah, there's all sorts of fucked up shit. Can you say literally? Literally. Those are definitely virginity protectors. Absolutely. Ow. Oh fuck. I've been i I've been sitting on my legs too long. Holy shit, I think I'm gonna get deep vein thrombosis or something at this rate. Man, this is uh, I gotta be uh I gotta be honest. I think that the worst part of building these fucking things are the weapons. I can't stand making the guns and shit. It is definitely my least favorite part of the process. Funnily enough, despite being a gun-toting American, it's not a big fan. I don't even own a gun, no. Alright. Remember a guy who bought wallpaper and John Cena to watch an anime girl sleep all the time? You fucking serious? Was his name Hansel? Because I think I might know that dude. Get chlamydia from licking too many windows? Nice. Alright, so I'm ha- these, these parts are like soylent bottles. I'm gonna break my, li my fragile little manlet hands trying to fucking stick these shits in alright his name's Bleeding Barry I've been going all night yeah, I've been going about 9 hours now the, the first and final Gundam stream alright one night only ok so now I need H4 for, and from now on, we're going to be streaming nothing but Dark Souls 3 for the rest of my life. I hope you're all very excited. Alright. And RuneScape. Of course, you can't forget RuneScape. Oh, an LSD simulator. That's a, that's a good one, too. have the, this little fucked up gun arm, I guess. Why the fuck can't I see anyone's games on Steam? I don't know. That's a weird complaint. You stalking other people? You stalking me, bro? You wanna fucking go? 
So what? I play a game called Furry for 10 minutes. It doesn't mean I want to fuck animals. It means I wanted stream content because I'm fucking boring and I need fun games to carry my stupid ass. Slice this little one off. I think all I have to do is make these arms and assemble it, and we are we are good to go. What about DS2? God, that makes me want to vomit. DS2 is like a game where... God, fucking damn it. Just the, the movement mechanics in that game are heretical to me like dark souls 2 is like a game where the longer i stay away from it typically the the more rose colored my perception of it becomes and then i go back and play it and i remember just how fucking bad the movement mechanics in that game are and i seriously just i'm like i'm the i'm the little vomiting anime girl from that one stupid fucking meme image What's going on, Hakilla? About nine hours. What's good, dog? Long time no see. How you been, man? I'm about to finish this and sign off for the weekend. I'm gonna go on my yacht. I'm gonna go uh, swim with the fucking seahorses. It's gonna be dope. Nothing wrong with DS2. You know what? You right. You right. I'm not this is one of those things where it's like arguing with a flat earther. It's just it's not worth the effort. Your brain will turn into like this sludge just for th thinking about arguing about it. It's just it's not good. It's not okay. And my brain's already sludge and I'm averse to that prospect, so that should really tell you a lot. First Souls game is Bloodborne. I played DS2 after that shit was rough. Yeah, I would probably fucking stop playing. If that were me, if I had started Bloodborne and gone to DS2, I'd be like, yo, fuck Dark Souls. And never play that shit again. That would probably be my reaction. Okay. An inverse donut shape. Epic. Okay, so now appear to have finished these little arms. I don't know what they're used for yet, though. Tolo is an African American. The amount of people who have said that tonight has been quite disconcerting. What? Why do so many people think I'm uh, African American? Oh, I see what these are for. I didn't even need these. These are just little, little arms for the gun. What the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm I'm gonna give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna He's an albino because your voice isn't white? How can a voice have color? That's fucked up. This is discriminatory towards my people. My voice isn't white. Then what the fuck is my voice? Explain that. Okay, so apparently I missed this piece like a jackass, so give me a second. Voice isn't your fucking prompt stress? God damn it. Mine is, though. Okay. Robot voice, we are watching Tolo's hands, absolutely. 
Hello, dude. Well, seriously, what the fuck? I'm not even joking. Like, why? Why do you guys think that? And not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's just so weird to me that people think I'm, I'm a gentleman of African American descent. Look at this fucking gun. Are you kidding me? Look at this shit. This doesn't even make fucking sense to me. How the hell can you even hold this thing? <laughs> what the fuck? Look at this. L look at how tall this is compared to the robot. It's like twice his size. God, how am I even going to fucking have him hold this shit? Um, oh my god. Alright, you know what? Check this out. Check this out, dude. We did it. Look at him. He's ready to fuck. He's ready to go. He's gonna fight the bad guys. <laughs> he's ready. He's ready to do battle. disassemble this shit um, for now I think I'm gonna just give him the little fucking weird ass arms and call it a day maybe one day I will uh, I will try to wait, wait what the fuck I'm so confused how does that go in exactly Wait, what the fuck? Hmm? Alright. Make your new Gundam boys kiss? Alright, check this shit out, dude. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Alright, I'm gonna call this the stankiest leg. It's gonna be really hot. Watch this. Right angle. Check this out. Check this out, dude. Isn't that the most beautiful thing? You've ever seen something fell off? Yeah, his little his little ankle fell off. Can't do that on stream. I am the law, dude. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Um, what the fuck? This thing's just, it's, it's, it's raining men on this Gundam right now. This is bullshit. Is that a monster on a figure? You're goddamn right it is. That's Rajangalang. My favorite K-pop member. Um, so I'm actually moderately confused as to how this shit is actually supposed to attach to the robot. I don't know. This shit's just fucking weird. I guess I get the general idea, but... It's just strange to me. It's strange and confusing. I don't get it. Okay. TFW, no shrimp. Put the Gundams into the fish tank. No, see, he doesn't like that idea. He wants to go to bed. He's tired. He says, no, mama, that's not okay. Pass the fuck out before I lose my mind. We're done anyways. I just had to put the guns on him. I have to figure this shit out. It's a fucking Herculean task, apparently. Alright, I think I got it. This here, I suppose. We got like this little, this little nub. There we go. And there's the, there's the other gun. Okay. And 
smack this shit in. The Gundam's vibrating? Hell yeah. Sleep with your Gundams? No, that's... I can't get consent from a fucking Gundam. Okay. There we are. Finished both of these fucking assholes tonight. We did a, an HG and the MG. So we fucking did it. We did it all in one night. It only took nine and a half hours. Woo! All right. So there you go. There's the virginity protector. You can you can tell that no woman is coming in within 300 miles of me. It's guaranteed. All right. So. What I'm going to do is Sif. Alright, hold on. If you guys think this took a long time, let me show you something. Let me let me show you this shit. Right. Look at how thick this box is. And look at look at how big this box is. This was the for the one we just built, it took the lion's share of the time. Small box, right? At least relatively small. Hold on. Come on, stand up. The box doesn't want to stand up. God damn it. Okay, well, you, you get the idea. Now. Look at this fucking thing. I have this in my fucking room. <laughs> Look at this son of a bitch. Look at how thick the box is. Look at this shit. I'm gonna turn it over on its side. No one's getting my virginity, dog. It's unassailable. What's good, Slash Shine and Chibi Super Kami Guru? Okay. 16 hour. Oh, it would be longer than that for sure. Okay, Sif. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sif, it's time to say goodnight, BB. It's time to say goodnight to all the people who watch this build virginity protectors for 10 hours. Who's your good girl? Who's your good doggy? Is it you? Is it me? Ah. Okay, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun. I know, I know that the camera sucked. My commentary was awful. I'm fucking stupid, and that robots are gay. But. That being said, hopefully you got a couple of chuckles out of my stupidity. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, I'm probably not streaming Saturday night, Saturday day. Maybe I'll wake up in like five hours to stream, but I, I, I doubt it. Okay. Uh, take it easy. Don't drop the spaghetti. Now I have to use my left hand to fucking close the stream. That's going to be impossible. Okay. I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. Hold on. Okay, bye.